today is the last day for Group B. Things here are heating up, and we are very close to meet the A teams who go to the manager. Are you guys ready for some action today? You know, I'm ready. Let's get it going here. Day number two. I mean, we are all ready, but the question is, are our dear NHP players ready? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back, welcome back. Falcon already qualified for main event. Bet. They're about to pull up 140 points. Hello guys. NHP players are ready, yeah? I don't know. We'll see. Two, two push-ups per kills for me today. So, I'd love to do 100 push-ups today in a stream. But the thing is, can they get those kills and the dub? <laughs> today, they would need at least three chickens with 10 plus Illum. That's going to be really hard, to be honest, against this kind of lobby. When you have Falcon, Zebra Masters in the team, in the lobby. Now nah, we are great to three per one kill, bro. You're killing me. Let's make it two, make it two. You was waiting for my stream? Yeah, I'm alive now. I mean, the official J the PM Joe, the match is just alive. Yesterday, Bedan was getting knocked a lot. Uh, I person personally, I felt that. I seriously thought they could be like, you know, more ready for the PMGO. But like, just by watching yesterday, I feel like they weren't as prepared as I thought. You saw Sixers doing the watch party too? Was Sixers alive yesterday? It was like he was getting over aggression without info and they were playing. What do you say? Uh, we went over the VOD reviews and stuff. I feel like... I think the nerves. I think playing a global tournament like this, the nerves kind of... In the lane event, I think the nerves kind of got to the players, to be honest. Because they made a lot of communication errors. They made a lot of, like, rookie mistakes that they wouldn't make in while playing in the in the scrims or whatever in the tournaments and stuff but it's a land i think like playing in the land like definitely like affects affected them a bit how much will be the cutoff 70 yeah 70 i feel like 70 would be the cutoff Wait, is DX and NGX in the same group? DX. Wait, which one is DX? Which logo is DX, guys? I'm confused. Oh, DX. DX is with us. So, Group A is actually sitting out today. What the casters are talking about. They are, they are actually sitting out. They are not playing. You think the cutoff will be at least 80 points for 18 matches? Hello, Shiva. I'm from Tibet. How are you, bro? Welcome. Did they any drop clashes with NHP? No. The plan was to avoid drop clashes at all costs. Sound the problem? Is my mic fine? They started they really good, even though they had bad matches. That was okay for them because they are even more confident to start the next day. So, is everything is okay for them? 
And if you play with those numbers, they might be sweaty. What do you guys have prepared for the second game? I think because you said the no really got you there. Confidence. So what you guys have set on mind for this second day of competition? Nós queremos saber o que, que vocês prepararam para o segundo dia de competição, já que você falou que você está confiante, o time de vocês estão confiantes. É, nós queremos buscar o top 1, ou o mais próximo disso, para chegar no terceiro dia, que nós não jogamos, mais tranquilos. Ok, that was a good answer, actually, because they want to reach the top, they want to lead the standings in the first place, of course, because they want to be in the third day of uh, the PLM stage, they want to be chill, they want to be relaxed because they won't Officials the change the slot. So now, PMG winner will be good to the slot in so BMWC. Yeah. I wish you guys a good luck. Thank you. Yeah, Horror Esports is playing. A lot of you are rooting for Horror Esports. So let's see how Horror Esports players are performing today. Standings. This is where they stand for now, but we're going to see them shake up at the end of the day big time, Seven. It's always good to hear from Zebra Master because these Bro, guys this is going to be so hard. Pressure going on them today because this is their last day that they're going to be playing in the prelim, Seven. It is going to be their last day, and that's what we're looking at their placement points there. 18 placement points. That means that they got a good chunk of the placement points from the first game of yesterday when they ended up getting that win. I hope they are at close in the stream. Are there? Here because they ended up with a lot of Do we have at close? 16 place finishes with, with zero elements. Let me check. In 11 place with four elements. So I, I want to see a little bit more consistency out of them, DK. Yeah, the consistency is going to be absolutely key here for them today. But, you know, looking at their position on that leaderboard, there is definitely going to be an opportunity to catch up. As we know, today we are going to be focusing in on Group B and Group C. So Do, we have, do I have echo see, in the uh, stream, guys? Let me know. The death moves and, of course, Rural are going to be bringing in. So quite a performance from them. All the way back in the qualifiers, too. 100%. They're going to be stepping in and being strong. But the advantage that they're going to have is that they're going to play tomorrow. So they'll know how many points they need to get into that top eight. The problem is Group B. We're talking about Smoke Gaming, Insanity, Zebra Master, Team Liquid, and Hyper. Bird Pro, of course, Nexria, and Xavier. This is their last day. They need to put up such a massive point buffer that nobody even thinks about having the seven so uh they're gonna have a totally different mindset coming into today yeah i'm gonna be looking at what uh and hyper is gonna be doing right we were kind of giving i was giving them a little bit of a break yesterday and they were giving me some good points in the first half of the day and then after the first half it was just a complete fall off for that team i want to see how they're gonna be reacting keep in mind that it is a, it is a fairly new team so i don't want to be too harsh on them i felt like they were maybe dropped into this pmgo without fully being prepared for it but if we can get a nice response here out of N Hyper, set themselves up for, to possibly qualify, even though they're not going to be playing tomorrow, it'll be interesting what this team can do under pressure. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we've seen in the past when we have like these different kind of groups, we've seen teams that have sat in sixth place get overtaken, fourth place overtaken. So uh, that is definitely not a position that you want to be in here. As we take a look here at the squad rosters, these are the big names, and we're going to see some... We need to see some all-star players here, DK. We need to see some guys just shine up, put that backpack on, and carry their teams all the way to the main event. I mean, what I like about this, Jukes, is, like, nobody is safe Actually, on the leaderboard. Even welcome Falcons back. up in full position. Even being a fan of this stream, be safe, right? Your Everybody's going to be hunting. We have a lot of people waiting for the mod. Top 8 so is going to be the, the way to go. So, Sam and I think um, uh, there's going to be a little bit of pressure. Just stay, as we've stay already, with me in those streams. Like, Today's the once I saw your name, like, constantly really in the chat, and the you were helping the people... No, yeah, it helping is. the viewers uh, and they answer the, questions. The good thing, right, you know, is going to be that I'll coming be adding tomorrow the for all those teams that are in Group A, Group A that are not playing today, they're going to know exactly what they need to do. And out of all these teams, there's one team I'm looking specially at for today for okay. Group C, and it's going to be none your other name, than Vampire Your name is on the squash, you find? Yes. was just... I, I'm sorry, Vampire I mean, Esports, I'm about to do this to you, but I, you, you know I have to. It was an absolute let down when it came down to pmgc and leon welcome welcome a little bit more out of them trying to prove a point yeah they need to big time but we got a quick little video for you guys and we're going to be right back well i actually wanted to go to the amazon who is the best pubg mobile esports team in brazil Pô, não tem nem o que falar, né? É o melhor time tá aqui, ó. Team Liquid. Bom, eu acredito que o nosso time seja o melhor. É... Em colocação de mundiais, a gente sempre vai bem. Best food in Brazil. Feijoada. Porque é muito bom, muito saboroso. Ah? Mistura com arroz e... A top. Então, a farofa também. What is that? Is that even good? É, eu sou gaúcho. Desde que nem comendo churrasco. O dia inteiro. E... Eu lembro que tem bons momentos. Like barbecue or something? Uh, what would the first, what would the first food they recommend? 
Uh, Steak with a B on fries? Name one Brazilian sports icon. Um, one of my favorite Brazilian players is Ronaldinho. Well, I like him because he's killed and I used to watch him a lot when I was a kid. Can you share a favorite Brazilian tradition or celebration that holds special meaning for you? I uh, love the Natal. Eu gosto bastante do Natal e do Novo ali, a véspera do Natal do Novo, porque passa com a família, depois do ano todo ali trabalhando. Wait, Ferrell has been gaining some weight. While I'm losing weight, Ferrell has been gaining some weight. And if you come back today, I'm not going to even talk about it. Do you feel a strong connection to? And why? Bom, acho que lugares no Brasil, eu sou do time do frio. Então, eu prefiro ir mais pra Gramado, Carreiro? que é no sul do Brasil, tomar ali um chocolate quente, pegar aquela época de inverno ali, que chega até nevar em algumas regiões. Thank you, Clown. Só que não dá pra deixar de fora Vampire did many PM, 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 Ó, vou te falar, todo fim de semana, se eu tiver a oportunidade de ir pra praia, eu iria pegar um calorzinho ali, de vez em quando é bom, tomar aquela aguinha de coco. É... É sem, sem dúvida... Loving the Brazil vibe. What's your best thing about Brazil? I would love to go to the Amazon forest because I love forest and I would like to try a new thing. A coisa mais legal do Brasil, bom, acredito que a coisa mais legal do Brasil seja o futebol, que é o país do futebol, onde todo mundo acompanha, todo mundo torce para algum time, e é sempre bom estar ali acompanhando seu time de coração. Hello, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Wait, do I have echoes or not? Guys, let me know. Do I have echoes or not? Amazon Forest? The Lord, best what do you of die Brazil. Brazil. You love to see that right Why? there, man. Why do you These say guys that? are turning up, ready to go. And I'll tell you what, Why I no, saw when DJ nobody's playing, talking, nobody talking, and we saw the them talking stage. about, hey, you know what, the people of Brazil are so friendly, the food is good. They better stop these hot drops, though, otherwise they ain't gonna be there for very long. So uh, that's gonna be something they gotta keep in mind. Uh, but we got another interview coming right up. Ah, uh, you know what? We're schedule. gonna go into the schedule. It, it, it's all right, bro. It's all right. We were thinking too much about that steak, and also we found that that it gets cold and it possibly snows in Brazil. News flash to me, but nonetheless, we're gonna be starting off hot, baby. We're gonna be going into Sanha for match one. You can see at the top there is Yo, Lele, thank you for the super chat. Go into we We're rooting for you guys, boys. The fighting whole time. Sanhok, man, I, 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 I'm, I'm so afraid to talk about my, today, uh, DK, my team. Because with what they did yesterday, how proactive they were within that match team. I feel like mm -hmm. if this team wants a chance at maybe making it to the main event, oh, they need to take it's not looking too good. Again. I think better is very tired. I think we're going to be seeing an absolutely phenomenal performance Kapri coming through from the tired. Zebra Masters. But, uh, God knows, you know, like, these two about players, the team, what did they do players. in the hotel room with, be into with interview. each other? And we are here with Cunha, the player for Smoke Gaming. And they are in the second place. Come on, start the game, bro. Stop doing in interviews. Jesus. Day. So, welcome. First of all, welcome. And we want to know how was the first day for you guys in the... One kill, stage. two push-ups. So that's all what I will say. Everything, uh, your feelings and your thoughts. So, did you guys uh, see me doing? The first day can, was could you guys like so see me doing push-ups? Like I did a push-up there. Max, we are, yes, um, like we didn't yesterday in Australia. Did what, what we have to do. So uh, three push-ups, two, 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 two points two, two, two. on these two mats, and the next three, we, I don't know how to say. I'm, I'm if just, they, I'm very if they somehow managed to get the seven points today, I will start to well, do three push-ups per kill. And one two mats, one top two, and the last one we yeah, lost. Yeah, NHP not playing tomorrow. So they have to be at least top three. Get so Bro, much that's points like zero. Aaron. That's like kind of possible with, we'll have to study with Zebra Master and, and to Falcons, to like all the teams. Okay, perfect. She hasn't changed you her dress. Why does she need to change her dress so though? I think it was pretty well, but we want to know the expectations for the second day. We are ready. We have to be because uh, it is what it is. Uh, we are qualified from the online uh, online stage and preliminaries before the this one and we are here fighting for for the top and we want this top one so we will go for it perfect thank you so much for the interview thank which you. team will dominate today guys let me know and you can even see it in his face right these guys want two chicken dinners and they're thinking that man we should have done better because they know what they're on the top of the MV really four MV got invited directly to the they grand know they finals. Need to put up some massive points. Even though they had two chicken dinners today, DK. They're still thinking like, man, we need to put a lot more points on the board.
I mean, it was not only just two chicken winner dinners, they also got a second place all the way back in game number four. So, I mean, they had a phenomenal day, and if, if they stress in, you got to know that there's quite a bit that is going to be coming through here today. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what the, the Group C teams are going to be bringing out on the battlefield. Have I mean, you been in the players' ass yesterday? The today, will they perform? I definitely banned them. I think seven, the coach did too. Fighting, potentially just but in terms of, like, can they hold, can they hold on the pressure I mean, and play you know good? What? I, yeah. I That's another story. San Hawk. I used to be super excited about it, like I, like I said yesterday. <laughs> but it, it, we'll, we'll give him a break. Let's get him off ready, you know? Get him ready with all the madness that's going to happen in San You think Hawk. Vampire will but, be performing? Like, yes, earlier, okay, I Vampire will perform? I think definitely top three today. Also, I feel want to like. see what Team Castle is going to be doing because this is not the exact same team that we've seen from last year. It is going to be three brand new players within that team. And I'm interested to see what the order is going to be between them with Malkin, M2M, and Milos coming into that team a anything can happen right it could be a completely different team castle could be an exciting team castle and we got a chance to see vampire esports there on the screen as well tony k uh one, a guy that absolutely destroyed last year when it came Ooh. to the pmwi and this is what i was mentioning that there were just such a big disappointment during pmgc that i feel like jukes they're they're wanting to make themselves look good again even though it's not an invitational tournament yeah, you could just see it on his face, right? You could just see the weight of those expectations for sure. Because, you know, I remember after PMWI, it was such a legendary performance. I, I immediately went to some of the top coaches. Before I used to have a chance to put stop some of trolling these other squads, And I was like, dude, what do you guys think about Tony K, his performance? They were so shocked that their only response among all of them was just like, I don't know. All I could say is that he got lucky because it was just so unreal, you know? And unfortunately, I mean, I was like, no, it couldn't be luck. I mean, that, that's too consistent. But then you look at the performance in the global championship and it makes you question, right? So yeah. I think he's definitely coming into this tournament with a lot of expectations that could be good or could be bad because you know what they say, you know, uh, pressure makes diamonds, DK. Ooh, but there's only going to be one way to figure out how that pressure is going to play out, right? We got to see what all the action is going to be bringing in. But I think we're in for there quite a bit real of a ride here today. I mean, you guys were talking about the Death Wolf stepping out onto the battlefield you, Lord here. Family. I just it's want to fine, remind you of that soul the clutch up they brought in the final match of the qualifiers to kind of steal away a bit of a position, right? Just bringing in an absolutely insane match right when it mattered the most. So, I mean, they showed quite a bit of capability. So I want to see what their approach is, right? How are they going to be looking to play this one? And just looking at the team on screen there, they just seem to be super chilled, super relaxed. And I think that's kind of the mentality to take moving into the first game here, Dukes. 100%. That's another team right here that we got our eyes on here, Seven. is Team Liquid. This is one of those teams. It's their final day playing today. And, um, I mean, let me ask you this. If you are the coach, right, going into today, what place do you think that you would be telling your team you need to aim for at least this, right, going into tomorrow if you want to feel safe? Uh, for a team that was, especially with Team Liquid, for a team that was able to finish with only 28 points, I'm going to be telling them, hey, boys, we, we need to try to get up there. We need to definitely pass Falcons because Falcons currently has 79 points and they're not even going to be playing today. They're going to be coming Oof. back tomorrow and know exactly what they need to do. And Team Liquid, keep in mind, this this was the team from last year that ended up getting 12 plays at the PMGC. So there was a lot of a bit of high expectations, at least from my end, when it came down to Team Liquid. And they just haven't been able to deliver. They ended up with a nice fourth place finish in one of the Erin Gills and seven eliminations. But besides that, we haven't really seen that much consistency in regards to those placement points. We know this team can definitely get the eliminations that they showed in Sandhawk, being able to get eight plays, but still put up seven elims. I feel like we need to see more of that fragging power. I feel like they need to find that nice little marriage between those placement points, go for the wins. And you know what? I would like to see them, even though I, I highly doubt it's going to happen. I would like to see them there finish at least within the first place after today, because we know coming in tomorrow, Team Falcons is going to be on another level. I mean, you're totally right. I mean, they're going to have, they have 79 points already. Uh, that means that Team Liquid needs to triple the points that they did yesterday, pretty much if they even want to stand a chance because we're going to see Team Falcons coming in playing six games. You know they're going to pass them yeah, up. Yeah, and they should so, play that. I mean, if you're talking about having a couple Start bad games, the game. all of the bad games that Team Liquid could afford were yesterday, right? So they literally need to go off 
from the start here, uh, DK. And it's going to be a big task considering that there's so many new teams, you know, different strategies, drop locations. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a pretty tough two days still ahead for a lot of these teams. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not Team Liquid can pick up that pacing and really look to accomplish what they set out to lock in. But another team, I think, that, that could also potentially really do with quite a bit of a step up oh, here let's and start. we've been speaking I saw it. about them a little bit earlier on as well is are we going to brazil or not like, no I mean, we're like the performance that i'm not through uh, back in the BMGC, i'm not going to brazil it was so surprising PMGO. to see them having a completely different kind of uh result stepping out onto the battlefield yesterday what do you think about that seven well, what, i actually want to know dk why were you so so surprised about it because i mean with them they just kept hot dropping they weren't willing to give it up and then we were kind of making jokes about it too we're like okay you know what now it's gonna be the end whenever they stop hot dropping when we finish erin and we go into the first miramar and then same thing they end up starting to hot drop as well <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird because I mean they had a they had a really good start, right? Sanok looked good, fourth place, five Elams, and then it was uh, you know time to play hot potato, but play it on the same spot with the same team match. Do you match work or just a YouTuber? And I don't know. It's not what I was expecting. I'm to come from the side of the Xavier. I was expecting them to really hone in and focus. I'm on a the player equation, myself, and, and the also managing of, you know, my team, trying to see and I'm also doing anyway. content. Yeah. I don't understand. I could not get it. I mean, the only theory okay, that YouTube, I could come up so. with at the time was that, okay, the Xavier were trying to secure that location because they were so confident that they were going to make it into the main event. But it happened so many times, and it really it crippled their points entirely to the point to where now, I mean, we could have teams today make sure that they don't make it into the main event. That's how bad it is. So um, they weren't able to turn it around yesterday. But you know, as you mentioned, why Sony's still like low this, compared you have with to try other to get that short term I memory it going. I can turn it off. Bit. You got to come in today saying, now? hey, we got to avoid the Who's hot the drops IGL at all costs. It's a new lobby, so we got to pretend like it's day one and just. What go time are they going to start? I think they're going to start like talking about short term one or two minutes. I'm hoping that even the teams that didn't end up doing well yesterday from Group B, literally, then they just go watch the raid. They kind of watch the like the completely new different. Go to sleep. You know what? Let's reset the leaderboard in our minds, and I'm talking about smoke gaming because what do you do for a living? You heard her from the player too in the interview. They weren't happy oh, with like some of the performances, and, and I'm up there with them, That's and I'm glad that we're, that we're kind of able to take accountability for that, too, because the first matches, I was hoping that they should be qualified for grand final, so you guys that. couldn't make yes, it. Yes, they were able sports. to do yeah. really good there within those three that matches in the middle, and then in the last one, zero points. As FS is a grenade god. So far, I see zero grenade It is going to be completely different teams, too, so you're not going to know what to expect. If I do OF for a living, I wish. There was at least four or five hot drops. I'm going to be expecting about the same here today in the first game with some of these teams seeing each other for the first time. And I'm going to be expecting a lot of the Brazilian teams continuing to be aggressive, continuing to push that envelope because I think at one point yesterday, out of all the wins that the teams were getting, Brazil had more than 50% of it, more than 60% I of it. Don't have I, a I don't see that changing. Yeah, I don't see it either. I don't see it either. It's going to be tough. I, I do like the oh, fact that playing. we did see that I didn't get a Brazil visa gaming, in time. That if I heard him saying, like, oh, yeah, Fireflux going to dominate today? Place, I would have been worried 100% because <laughs> Pick like, your they two have teams to realize today, that, mine, man, you know like, and we're not going to be playing tomorrow and that that we're in trouble like we're really big in trouble so i like the fact that even Wait, though do you guys want the stream the volume place, to be louder you know, or lower i i kind of like, don't understand you know, we had like a some of you said it's lower it's very low it some some of you said like not gonna be enough lower so, the voice um, or if they're able to which team are you managing at a minimum i think you have to at a minimum match what they did yesterday but definitely uh, take it up a couple no, games Falcons for sure not. dk if they want to feel comfortable Lower? I mean, on average, if you look at their performance yesterday, they brought in about nine eliminations per match, right? They had 28 eliminations in total. My mic is low. Three games, that brings us down to about 29 eliminations it better now? per game. So if they can kind of pick up that same kind of pacing, that same kind of momentum, bring it into today, there's a really good chance that we could see Smoke Gaming 
to get a, a, a very predominant position on that ranking. Hello, spot. Tap Tap. So, yeah, I'm curious and very excited to Welcome see what they're going to be bringing out. But as we know, uh, it's not going to be an easy lobby, right? They're going up against a few big names coming through from that group C. So, Rain retired from PUBG Mobile Competitive. Increase my sound. I think I think my sound is already loud. I think there, there's, there's a restart. That's why, like, they are back to a lobby. Oh my god. Increase my mic. Is it still low? I think it's good. You know, we, we're going to see some teams bust out those 15. Oh, ladies on chicken dinners. In a and with IT industry with clients in the US. Yes, nice, Lele. That's more points than what the wealthy, wealthy team Lele. yesterday. Yeah, and the thing is, yesterday we we're actually getting a bit of a, of a some sponge points, right? When we came to certain matches, because we did have two teams winning four out of the six chicken six games that we ended up playing yesterday. So both you your sound that, and the caster sound is loud today. Boy, it's gonna make it like, really you guys hard for seriously are teams. confusing. I think a lot of the other teams are gonna be. I'm hoping they're gonna start focusing a little bit more towards that end game. Not focus so much on those early fights. Position oh, here comes the FS. That Team Falcons was just doing so well whenever they did end up getting those chicken dinners. Thinking about their positioning, making sure that they send the self out for those fights, and then willing to take risk. I, I feel like that's even though Team Falcons is not here today, I feel like that's something that we definitely need to expand on a little bit. Mike more. test, Mike test. Team is Falcons, it good? We is it good? see a team that's being very dominant. They have a very, oh. very good position. But what Falcons was able to do is they were willing to come on in the risk, face. And we saw that perfectly in the last Myanmar match where they ended up taking the fight down in a position that it wasn't going to help them out. They made sure they cleared that team. And right away, they knew that their good position was going to try to be taken over by Enigma Galaxy. And the way they reacted to that was just so beautiful. I think we just need to start seeing more proactiveness like that, more aggressiveness, and also just being able to flip that switch from some of these teams today. 100%, 100%, yeah, you know, Team Falcons are going to be just, they're watching this, like, like Falcons, literally, right? They're going to be keeping an eye on, figuring out exactly what teams that they need to pass, and since they did so well yesterday, 79 points is, is insane, right? They're going to be- Not very, guy very looks like you, who, star? So, uh, with that performance, I think every team here needs to realize, all right, there's no longer eight spots remaining. There's for sure going to be only better. Seven, is one right? sexy so guy. He would be more play, sexy uh, if you can big, uh, get like 15 there. kills and today. That's brand for you, seven. Yeah, it is. It well, is. Lily, thank you, you for the thank you for the membership. Teams, DK that are coming in from group C. Which one is the one that you're, you're thank you, Lily. really think they're going to have a great performance here? I would love to say Fire Flux. Right. Mm. Okay. I would love to say Fireflux are going to be having a phenomenal day here. I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I'm just really leaning in that direction. I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to be bringing through. And congratulations I mean, to those of you who got the membership from Lele. I think that's kind of to be expected. I think Fireflux. Lele, big they clutch. Bring a little bit of extra onto the battlefield here today. And yourself, what do you think? For me, it's going to have to be Influence Rage. I mean, these are the champions of Americas from full split last year so i i, I want to see more out of this team they they had definitely had a disappointing a bit of a disappointing pmgc and for their being on their home, home turf knowing that alpha 7 is already qualified to the main event knowing that they want to be able to be there as well and challenge them because they have always been compared to like their their little brother to alpha 7 i, I feel like that's gonna be hurting their the ego of the players a little bit and we know the ego that some of these Brazilian players have. We know that the passion that they carry to just be the best in the region. So I feel like Influence Rage, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, and I'm, I'm hoping it actually happens. Who's an HP Caprizi? Here today. Caprizi is the new player for us. He's, this is his first official PUBG Mobile tournament. I think Tony K, you know, just after that performance at PMWI, I want to see him kind of have that crazy, crazy pop off game. I think that'll make things interesting. If I were to pick I swear, I ate though, Doctor. Like, you literally I mean, missed around maybe a hundred gifted subs right? from Lele already. A ton Man. of the qualifying teams pop Like, off. for real. Yeah, way more than I think that any of us expected, DK, right? But I think that's the beauty of it, right? Because Caprizi I mean, is a we Ukraine. were looking at the qualifying teams. We were like, you know, they played a good game, but we were Even did you see the Xiaomi new SUV car? Yeah, I saw it. The Su-7 or something. It's like, um, our they have a really good marketing, I feel like. They, they basically copied the Porsche design. Uh, Death Wolves, 
they might also be bringing in quite a bit of the action here. And as I already mentioned, right, they were able to clutch it up in the qualifiers coming to the end of that. So I think there's so much potential for these teams to really surprise us with how they're going to be reading the, Come zone, on, reading the, game, the match please. and even reading the opposition. So Seven, I mean, looking at this, I think Sanok is going to be a pretty hot one, maybe even hotter than what we had yesterday. Oh, for sure, for sure. And you know what? I'm going to be looking. We're, we're talking about teams that we're expecting to do well. We're talking about wild cards. Let's talk about the teams that didn't do so well yesterday. Insanity, okay. right? Insanity Sports, absolutely horrible day. They ended up in last place with those those, those 12 points. Virtuous Pro, luckily for them, they were kind of able to save face there on the last match with the second place finish for eliminations. Because if not, if they would have had a, a, a whole donut Are they again, still not starting? They would have ended up with just what this? Day, which is Jesus, just absolutely can they just start the, the game? I'm trying to mention this. Teams towards the bottom from Group B of yesterday, like in Hyper DX. Even though DX has 23 points, I still consider them. They're just pretty much towards the bottom at this point. They need to be careful because if they fall into this uh, pattern that they so much end delay, up I don't know, man. Two matches. Guess what? Those teams that are yeah. What we do? Teams, so teams back when it, back when we played points, back when I played the PMGC, the like there was a one game that's taking forever to start. Day. So players start, start to like sending all the random lives. messages like, like okay, in the uh, in the room chat. Let's see if maybe we can cut them off, surprise them, and get those extra points because we know they're currently getting into the head because they're just having bad matches over and over again and then towards the bottom as well. Well, guys, thank Start the you game, so please, much for I wish. being so patient with us. We're about to get started here in Come just on. a second. Let's go ahead and take a quick video. No video. Start the game. Jesus. Bro, which team you played the PMGC? NHP Shifan, thanks always streaming PER. I don't watch your live stream, but I always see them later and love the English commentary. Make it make you day. Please don't miss out or disappear like a Zute. I want, I want, I want, I want to disappear like a Zute, man. <laughs> You're just waiting to get into that play path Hello, Benny. Welcome to the, the chat. Final thing to be done is to get into that play path, get into our first match of the day here for PMGC here in Istanbul. Maybe we're getting that trifecta split every single time, but here we are in the plane. Continues to move along the wall, and Racy steps in, and it's a one ball penalize. But they find that they will lose in the sidelines, and more start to fall as well. F2G, keep it going. Today's uh, game, the best of tennis was this 2 Revo is here as well and Dino will go down Alpha 7 sweep on through they will stand up for the performance and Revo gets another challenge and it will not be she found best of PL streamer come on PL should have sponsored my channel bro feeling good but it's just the first match if we're gonna try to if you stay like that let's go let's go let's go oh that was my oh that's, that was not our group this is like highlights from PMGC yes Wait, who won PMGC last year? IHC. No eliminations needed. We'll take the second place. Oh, I met I met a Genchi. He's the coach for the Korean team. We exchanged the jerseys as well. Two times this dream, bro. I already two timed it. This is already like the fastest. Yeah, the real PMGC for me begins tomorrow. Yes. Because it's about the prep work you do tonight. 
for the next day of matches. It's about the review, it's about the VODs, it's about figuring out what to do with your team. And obviously, you just played six matches back to back. Your day's not done. <sighs> I'm gonna mute myself. All right. You Sweet just one. found out NHP really is the abbreviation from the Wild Hyper Esports. Between group B He's actually in Hyper Esports, but yeah, Nova you Hyper Esports works. Oh god, thank god the match starts. In in <sighs> well, guess what? Now it's Let's time go. To actually see them perform here in the hot and absolute madness on Sen Hawk that has to offer. And you know what? I'm gonna be looking DK at uh, seeing if we have any hot drops to start off the day with. Ooh, I mean it's it's understandable, right? To see it in the first game store, I gotta agree with NHP? you. NHP, Ruin? Have any of that coming Do they have company? It doesn't necessarily seem like uh, anyone's gonna be swinging in hot. And I'm, I'm also gonna, like kind of wondering where the point of contention is gonna be in this game. Oh, what buffering? No. Right, are we gonna see it over in Finan? Is it gonna be boot camp? Is it gonna be over towards paradise or maybe even shift over okay. towards that north west? We're with ourselves. Yeah, we'll have to wait. Wait, why the lag? Wait a second. What? Where the point of contention is gonna be in this game, right? Are we gonna see it over in Finan? Is it gonna be boot camp? Is it gonna be over towards paradise or maybe even shift over towards that northwestern island? Yeah, we'll have to wait. Able to cast of it, so give me a pay cave finish. I, I, I'll like the match. Cave finish? Let, like, Shut up, seven. No cave, bro. No cave, no cave finish. Okay, expected. Fire flux. I, I, this is more of what we were expecting. Oh, fire flux. We do have a bit of a, versus of TQ. Semi hot drop there as fire flux is gonna be found by TQ. Oh, soul K. First swing out in the lobby. To see how they were gonna be performing, DK, not how they want to start off the day losing one player right away. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a bumpy ride, but let's see. Maybe they can pick up the pacing. Maybe follow through with a beautiful play coming in at some point. Point, but I gotta say, like it, it's also interesting seeing the zone taking a nice bit of a shift over on towards that western side. So we have western side. Is this a ruin of zone? The zone. So I think at this Come on, point, shoot the zone. Nine could definitely start to heat up because it's gonna be part of that funnel, like leading the teams over on towards the western front. Yeah, and for sign on for this, you know what? Let's look at the at the map here and uh, teams that could end up benefiting out of this is Team Queso. I will maybe they're going to be able to readjust themselves and go up to that top of that mountain because if the zone does end up going their way we've always seen the zone? top of the mountain is not only going to be able to go for that chicken dinner but they NHP end up with a lot of eliminations because they just see so much of the map they're able to third party fights they're able to just stop people from even being able to bro if they can't hold this and down by ruins we noticed that in hyper was by if then if well. and hyper can't hold this zone needs those points as a team that's currently bottom they're not gonna be playing tomorrow i'll be so I'll, I'll literally i'll be supporting hora of their day here today yeah i gotta agree with you we were talking about the teams we instead of nhp a bit of an after this game and, uh, yeah and hyper definitely could do can't initially like cuckoo with this zone. zone. Can they Maybe actually the they let me do push-ups, uh, bro? You know, sixth place, eighth place finish in the first My arms are ready to do 20 push-ups. <sighs> I think this is their first time. This is their first time without hot drop and, 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 and got zone. Everything back together and and get zone. A really dominating performance. And I mean, we said a very similar thing about the Xavier, but now influence. This could be well, they could go get served. <laughs> I don't know, karaoke. I don't know. Oh, influence. They knew. They knew. Fireflux lost the one. Now they're grouping up. Ill boy. And now we start in the front. Are they gonna leave or what? They heard him definitely. Oh, I'm not sure about the driving though. Oh, he headshot him. Oh, they're running for their lives. Fireflux not looking for good for them in the first game. That's another team that they necessarily don't have to worry about. And for everybody, this lobby is kind of easy for NHP. Let's see what they can do. Shut up, alien, bro. Stop cursing them. Jesus, this is not an easy lobby, bro. This is not an easy lobby. Oh, Caprizi got two knocks out. AGG. Is that some of the teams that Fast got one? Oh. Are part of group a two kills be playing here today as we are gonna be looking at all glory two kills two going up against n hyper oh here we go got them got them 
Nice! So all glory now having a good <gasps> opportunity here. Oh, well they had an opportunity, but N Hyper said thank you so much for coming. Uh, we'll take that one right then and there. So N Hyper is showing four kills, really good eight push-ups. Do I do it now or after the match, guys? Do I do it now or after the matches? But now they gotta go above and beyond, right? They have to go beyond the top if they are gonna be looking to secure those points here. They definitely need to go beyond the top here for in Hyper. Yesterday in Sandhawk, they were able to finish off with four eliminations. <laughs> you, you, know what? you guys want me to do, that up want me to do push ups, bro. We can possibly do better <laughs> Shut up! Those four eliminations. Don't make you guys want it now or after? That. Okay, we got four. We can actually get eliminated now because that's not going to end up working out for you guys. We do have a now? here from Team Liquid. Are you all right, all right. I'm not going to do it now, bro. Next, Ruya, Jesus. Next, Ruya, a team that finished in fifth place yesterday. With 42 points, he's going to be able to get a knock. Okay. That's going to be sending a message there to his teammates. As now they have to start backing up. Here comes the vehicles. He's going to be able to hear that. And guess what? That is going to be an easy point. Well played there by Ayala with that nade knock and the finish. And then making sure he relays the information to his team. Bro, NHP needs to die out. now, bro. NHP needs to go out now, bro. I can't do much Ayala more. I can't do more push-ups. Yesterday, right? We did see quite a few plays coming through from team liquid but so far and like facing, stop killing up. people kind of shut up that or not that they got in the last game yesterday they want to start the day on a big big number so did that first get the kill oh no not yet them, hopefully and of course uh, team castle right another team their first day out on the battlefield here today can, can we change it to one kill one push up I mean, please no but i'm gonna act within our no team. and of course they are going to be reaching all the way across just reminding the players here from yes yes cover fire cover fire please cover fire yeah and hyper thinking they were safe oh. but th that's not gonna be the case though but team Kesto needs to be careful because I it's not only in hyper here fire flux remember we saw them getting pushed out by influence rage and they are gonna be very close by and on top of that you're gonna have next through as well that they team this team's can, can we change it to one kill one push up so they're gonna probably two is too much guys a little bit more team case is gonna see if they can make him made the push and i was talking about it and guess what it's gonna if i'm very push-ups push more, more than the team Kesso, with all the noise that they for sure oh this could be good for nhp possibly the eliminations for fire flux that you've been wanting to see dk <laughs> i mean storm out here fishing right just uh hooking some big catches but let's see whether or not storm and the rest of Five Flux can now close this one up. Lux taking up a nice little bit of an ambush position here. You can see that spread. I mean, a really good uh, positioning overall from Five Flux. Good read, but let's see. Can they now follow through? So, gotta watch out for next Rhea also hanging in the way. Caprizi, wing. stop. A, a square of despair, but now starting to build it. Caprizi, calm down. This is your first, this is your first pop to mobile yeah, tournament. My biggest worry here for stop killing people. So we're getting a little bit too too much freedom there with N Hyper taking Play like a newbie, bro. Trying to do that damage, but with wow, time, what a so Norse high. shift. Everything Holy so shit, by. they gotta swim now, bro. And you are just gonna be NHP, go cross it now. Guess who's gonna be looking good? Oh, look at Hiku. Hiku, they are all swimming back. South Island, and they're gonna be like, you know what? Let's play a little bit safer here. Let's slow down our game. Shut up, Caprizi! Like Smoke Gaming was able to do yesterday with a lot of those teams, and see what is gonna be happening at some of these teams are gonna continue to fight with Fire Flux and Hyper and Team Castle close by. No, the zone. Well, and Hyper in a good spot. Just gotta lock it down. But now it's. It's not me, guys. It's not me. It's an English stream. It is, it is. That's, uh, to be completely honest, it's a stream. we need to see what's going to be happening. I'm currently looking at the map feed. There. It's not me. I'm currently looking at the map feed. There's really not much, not much huh? going on on my end. So I have no idea what this team is going to be doing or what's currently being shown on the screen. All we know is that... Yo, this is not me. This is something wrong with the official. North. They did end up doing what I thought they were going to be doing, which is Come on. down that play. And now we go over to an end hyper, trying to get that different position, trying to see... Well, Caprizi got knocked. Here, as next re is close by. There you go. End hyper. Being able to knock another player and able to get even more eliminations than no star yesterday this is what in hyper needs to do but they need to be careful because now you've got team liquid starting to take some shots at them they're exposing themselves a little bit too much and fireflux is going to be possibly able to get some shots down the line too as team cast two knocks on having to in the street a team that was already in that north island they decided to push south guess what the oh i've just got knocked the two what? that might not end up working out for you let's send you guys back to the north uh, I gotta, you just gotta love all the action that we see happening right here. I mean, the last one. Right, we said they needed to go beyond the top, then it seems like that is exactly what they're looking to do here. 
quick match up coming through but why are they going too aggressive they're over the over aggression is costing them also just looking to establish themselves on either side of the island we do have Stodge and Capri though they need to get picked up so hopefully that was like literally a brain dead push exactly that but Things seem to be quieting down ever so slightly. Teams are gonna like coming from the so south side. Like it's no, like the, you should prioritize rotation instead of going for kills. It's just yeah, that especially that like, and Hyper did end up losing three like is gonna be coming at this compound and this area of the map. For his team as he was actually able to rotate Bro. towards that North Island after he saw that circle. I really That's literally a brain that push doing team liquid. from MHP. They're going to have to push at some point. They know that there was going to be somebody in this compound. The way they, they were able to push and make sure that they clear it, even though in hyper was already long gone. That's what we want to see out of this team. You still need to do put two push-ups? I was mentioning earlier. Oh yes, my god, if they all cross it, that would be a so good zone for them. The team that definitely needs the points, DX, is going to be able to find some of those players snaking in the grass, getting those eliminations. The only problem is I'm seeing where these teams are currently fighting, and it's a little bit too far away. It's once again with DX taking those fights in the blue zone. DX, they need to start focusing more a little bit on the end match. Yes, you got those eliminations. Now let's see if we can maybe try to make it to the circle before all those other teams set themselves up on top of the mountain. On the on the island towards the west end, then it's gonna be a lot harder, DK. I just wanna start chanting, right? I just wanna start like you know picking a T name and chanting, but I feel like I might be cursing them at the same time. So maybe I won't do that just yet. But in the meanwhile, we are gonna be looking at the zone now, just shifting even more over towards that wow. center, oh, to the western side though, centering up beautifully on uh, well at least what we've got left of N Hyper. Just bro. Over in that slight corner, vampires still moving in from the north, but we do see insanity. Still At least no more push ups. All the way out but over to the far western side. They can get away. They, they, they literally can get away with the six kills and have the full squad in the center. I did enjoy how much Stop doing over aggression here. things. It sounds like Jesus. DX might be listening to me or might be listening to us or something's going on here because they, they actually decided to back off from that fight that they were having. To be honest, zone, I was kind of tired game, at least before starting the stream. And, and since now I've already done 12 push-ups, now it's like I got some blood in my like brain already. We do have somehow. Team Kessel was able to survive the madness that was going on earlier when they were when they had to swim back. And now you have Team Liquid trying to take some shots there to fire flux. Team Liquid is a team that I'm intrigued to see how they're gonna be making the push if the circle does end up going to that North Island. Bro, this could be there like 20 kills chicken like Jesus. Got, uh, With that kind of zone if they are swimming or cross. Influence. Rage getting ready for a little bit of a showdown here on the edge of zone. I mean, this is a good position for Foot Chaos, right? They do have the opportunity here to really defend and kind of prevent influence rage from getting a foothold here. But it is going to be a pretty tough play between either of them. I like that high ground coming through from influence. But now it's just a numbers game, right? Look and see if you can get the angle. No, I did 12 already. So Nothing really changing up too much, at least not for now. Yeah, and the way they're able to slow down the play here, you know what, get them off guard, we do have three players now, they went, okay, we got enough intel that we needed to get, let's use this smoke to our advantage, but they need to be careful, because Foot is going to be cooking up those grenades, they are going to be getting ready, but at least I feel like, see some potentially, they can probably got like, from foot. And you know what, I'll just shut up. By influence rage. They're going to be clearing everything together, and they're just making wow, influence up more and more and more. And look at the angle that Federal is going to be trying to get here on some of the other players, too. They need to be careful, though, because Doku Machine is nearby. <laughs> and he's laying down, and he's waiting just for a chance to strike. I mean, it, you could almost say that that foot was put on the back foot, but instead they put their foot down, right? They're going to hold their ground, and they're going to try and defend uh -oh. it. Ooh, Malik! Trying to sneak on up a little bit of that hoorah play now. Just <laughs> moving up the hillside. I love the third party angle. I think that was from Fireflux that actually connected up with them. Now it's going to be a little boy here from Influence. Trying to see if they can maybe get him. Shivan, how about tomorrow? Angle, Falcon like one kill said, equals to two push up, bro. You, you literally. Just you just. In the wing, ready to let loose. It is waiting you to just give me that. Guess what, Hora? We saw what. Oh, able to do. wow! Vampire center. Got caught off a little bit. That got told to slow down. 
by fire and flux and now they're just gonna be waiting for these two teams fighting towards the top foot influence rate there you go foot finally being able to get some of those knocks law is gonna be able to spot somebody there from foot is he gonna be able to knock him he's not he's very low he needs to connect with one there you go there goes the knock make sure to confirm that into elimination because it's gonna be so tough for this teams to just go on there he's gonna be able to spot huh? the other player and you know what you're gonna stay with that guy I'm gonna lagging sure or something back to the lobby uh influence rage laying down the law but i mean it could be a little bit short lived because oh look at this it's gonna be we're on now pushing up as well no fear coming through with oh the jump shots. dbs hora let's go hora a lot of you guys are supporting hora very nice clean third party it was hora is for set through the window through the wall you know what you go back to the lobby too buddy because it's over for you great push there actually you guys were talking about this was a team from qualifiers a team that was able to actually make it from there they've been playing we saw what qualifiers teams were able to do yesterday especially at the start of the day they were able to do really really good and Hora esports taking the chance there to third party making sure they eliminate influence rates a team that they definitely don't want to have to worry about towards the later circles meanwhile zebra master is being able to connect there with the team kessel player and now trying to figure out where everything is going on and with the circle that we're currently seeing here vampire esports is going to be looking really really good especially with what we saw earlier vampire esports being able to gather a lot of that west map west west area of the map yeah i mean west is best this time around at least for for vampire they've Ooh. got quite a bit of a spread there but oh. look at this just a full send the death is now gonna be looking to pick up a few of the plays but a lot of missed shot oh dwg got wiped Oh, it's DW. It's not it DWG. Is, and that is the end of the road for the Death Wolves. Hora Esports. And if you're still alive, do everything. Third party, check. Being able to push a team, only lose one player, check. They're gonna be able to do a full reset here, as now they're gonna have to th start worrying a little bit more because DX is very close by. But with that spot there, that Hora got, they might actually be looking good. They might be able to third party some of the other teams if for some reason they are able to fully reset i don't think they're gonna be able to fully reset we did saw a player getting eliminated so it's just gonna be two players there from from who are esports i'm curious to see what zebra master are gonna be doing with their current positioning over on towards this eastern side of zone beautiful angles that they've got down over on towards five flux we can see luck now getting met with quite a bit of aggression here but i mean five flux right trying to get themselves in zebra master they're just starting to build up that momentum and we saw yesterday if Zebra Master gets it going, oh, it better needs to... to really stop that play from unfolding. And now next Rhea also oh, testing their hand, but Zebra just staying solid in the compound. And those shots that we saw earlier from Zebra Masters is what made the difference for them yesterday when we were talking about their performance in Sandhawk. If they found a compound, they weren't being passive. They weren't letting all the teams get around. Even if they weren't pushing towards them, they were making sure they made any team that ended up picking pay. And that's currently what they're doing it here with Nexruya, earlier with Fireflux, and any team that's going to be coming by as everything does slow down a little bit more now. The Madness of Sandhawk takes a bit of a chill pill as Zebra Masters does know one player from Nexruya is going to be Echo around stream. the corner. It's gonna be who can hit their shots. M4 Let me use M4. M4. I believe who is <coughs> gonna be the better one with it. And next, Ruya, the player is gonna be looking a little bit tougher for him, a bit more. Is this still echoey? As now, they do have to worry about the blues. Hey, I'm using earbud now. I mean, at this point, this should right, be, fights is one should thing, be good on you guys' end. With a big bad blue zone, it's a fight that you're not gonna be able to win, as we did see kind of now fall into the blue. The mentor, uh, uh, Diminor, Bro, right, he just phrased. Just laser focus down towards that. <laughs> Not even like. Waiting to see what is going to be happening, but, uh, you know, such what? a challenging play that we've been having so far. It has been, and now we go to Hori Esports. This was the team that I was wondering what they were going to be able to do. No more echo, it's fine now. Earlier, that beautiful push okay, okay. that they were able to clutch out. By the way, it was, a, it was an absolute madness of a push there by Hori Esports, and I'm glad he ended up working out for them. They're going to have two players. They're inside this zone. And if I'm not mistaken, if they can just better and please survive longer up inch by inch, this team could end up with the <laughs> game crash. And I feel like it, the spectator may crashed as Baton Vampire Esports. Uh, look how proactive Vampire Esports to being able to get those angles, making sure that nobody tries to surprise them. DX is still in the mix. This is what can happen when DX decides not to take those fights in the blue zone and instead prioritize towards the later of the game. This is the DX that we've been wanting to see. <laughs> Oh, let's see. 
I mean, Bojan and the rest of the crew just trying to get a little bit of foothold. I like the fact that Nave has uh, gone for that that white positioning over on towards the western side. But let's see if that play is indeed going to be paying off. They do seem to be gatekeeping Hura from getting themselves positioned, getting a position, getting an angle in. But Baton still in the mix. Oh, Beautiful. oh better! Oh my god, one more push up for me now. Better! Oh, better! Oh! But if that would have happened, boy, that would have been a play of a lifetime for him. Being able to jump over that car, do a quick 180, and make sure you hit those shots with the DBS. Ah, ah, the, what, what could have? What could have <laughs> happened there? The amazing clip that we would have seen out of that. And now we have DX, the player, Perigin, making his way up to Hora as some of his teammates does end up getting knocked and end up getting eliminated. He's getting spotted. He needs to throw that nade quickly. He's going to be able to throw it right before he gets knocked. Can he actually connect? He's not going to be able to connect. And now Hora Esports is able to move up a little bit closer towards that circle. But boy, it's going to be tough considering that Vampire Esports and one more player from DX is truly on the hunt for them. I mean, but this is such an interesting position that we find ourselves in, right? We got two of our qualified teams in here. We got two of the partnership program teams going toe to toe. And now it's going to be 30k with a quick opening up onto Vitin there on the edge. Quick nade. This could definitely close up the play at least for Zebra as Neil Zada does take a little bit of damage. Sony not done with their fruit just yet. They got to keep on rolling. But DX instead is going to be the team to lead the way on through. And we're down to the final two squads now. Final two squads. Vampire Esports, the way they position themselves, the way they rotated, the way they were able to hold all these angles is truly making wonders. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That oh, game, first Vampire game, Vampire. Esports, they said, oh, oh, you guys have been mocking us for how we did in PMGC? <laughs> well, guess what? It's a brand new year of PUBG Mobile Esports, and we're coming for everything. I mean, it's good to see Vampires Esports not being scared of the sun, right? In fact, it just powered them up even more so. Stepped it over into Santa, bringing in such a dominating performance. And I mean, what a way to close it out. They only got six eliminations, but they were still able to pack 1108 damage into this performance. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm completely fine with that because the way that they were able to position themselves there towards the north hold a lot of those angles control a lot of the area between them it was absolutely beautiful and on top of that you had a lot of the other teams having to fight towards that north circle once the circle did end up shifting overall great performance there hijacked by vampire esports Ooh, i mean it's about time bro right? like I mean, sorry we for the typing but uh I'm, i was just like talking with the coach talking about them and they did not disappoint so it's so good to be able to see vampire start off so strong and it's also good to you. see was that oh well Sounds you know amazing what, it's what you're saying good to see. but i cannot hear you <laughs> well, and you know what let's go straight into the highlights here of what we just saw happen in none other than Senhawk team okay so this was this was what we're talking about that first player from fireflux just got a little bit too overextended there dk oh it was close it was uh you know it's a it's a risky risky play uh, Fruit, they also tried quite a few plays. I love these uh, jump shot window angles that we had coming through. I mean, it was just such a performance. But Keeping their five minutes Hura, delay. No I think there's a delay yeah, between the players the and the, the uh... What a spicy, spicy play. So let me, let me rewind the stream. Oh, yes, Guys, let me... Put it in that work. Sorry for not checking, but let me rewind the stream. I want to see work. if they can cross the bridge right away. The, when that circle the shifts. Now they're gonna be... My biggest worry here for Team K, so they were getting a little bit too too much freedom. So the five flux. Can see can they now follow <coughs> through? So gonna watch out for next Rhea also hanging in the wing. So right the, here, uh, Caprizi knock a player. And he, now he knows, for example, this player is team one, right? They know team one on the edge was knocked. Seven. Yeah, and I heard here for Team K, so they people a bit fighting too, too much freedom there with at the right side of the bridge. Shots, trying to do that damage, but with Sandhawk, it's so tight. Like, Everything is so close by. Everybody's going to hear those shots, and you are just going to be making yourself a big target. And with this zone shift, guess who's going to be looking good? Vampire Esports truly hasn't had to rotate all the way to this. But let's see, can they now fall? Taking up a nice little bit of an amp. Have they knocked the TQ players before? 
Did they knock a TQ player before or better was knocked by the TQ? I think, right? Yes, better. Better got knocked by TQ player, so they knew the 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 team holding the bridge is like whatever. For example, team one, right? They knew team one is holding the bridge, and before right before the circle close, right before the circle close. What is gonna start happening? Fire Another team one player got knocked with all the noise that they were making. and I'm pretty sure they can hear the M4 sounds is coming from this compound this area because they were you know literally the other side of the bridge so they knew team one got knocked so one knock from team one and now Caprizi knock another TQ guy literally all the way down there. He now starting to build. It was four teams holding on the edge of the bridge. Seven. I feel like the play would be smoke the bridge, use all the vehicle, and just full send across the bridge. To be honest. Coach for the team, and we are gonna talk about this last. What do you guys stage. think? So actually, first of all, I would like to. Based on you know the information they gathered, right? Obviously, they, they do not have the map stream, but based on the information we just saw, do you think it's fair that they can just you know smoke the bridge and just fall in the bridge? They do have vehicles. They have at least two vehicles. I feel like. Perfect. And what can we expect from your team today? We wanna do. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think you could third party there because you know you didn't know their locations and plus you're literally at the bridge like there's gonna be team coming from the south you are not be able you're you won't be able to fight like at the south side of the bridge because they are there that's where the majority of the teams are coming you will get like third party the fourth party you know just like they did there awesome Thanks so much for the interview and good luck in the next match. Always good to see the legendary coach there for Vampire Esports coming in saying that he was watching yesterday. But you know what? Sky said, hey, I was watching as well and I'm ready to put in some work. He's going to lead the MVP here for game number one, DK. I mean, what a Let good me talk play to the that coach. was, though. But as we know, Vampire Esports, they locked in on targets, getting their their claws in on that winner, winner chicken dinner. The first one for the day done and dusted. But, Seven, this is where I think the big question comes in now, is how are the teams going to respond moving towards game number two? Because as we know, uh, things don't necessarily always go the same after the opening match. Yeah, this is when I'm going to be looking at some of those teams uh, like DX. But you know what? We'll expand on that a little bit more. This is what I'm interested about. Overall standings. And even though they didn't even play this match, even though they, they're they not going to be playing for the whole day, Team Falcons holding on to that first place. And now as we move here towards the second page, just like that, with one game in, one oh. chicken dinner down, Vampire Esports pushes all themselves up to 15th place. And guess what? It's going to be looking closer and closer for them to pass up all these other teams. Yeah, these leaderboards you just cannot trust right now, guys, because we got, you know, teams that played six matches yesterday, and we have a new group coming in that has not played at all. And yeah, like you said, it's so crazy to see Vampire in match number one pass up one of the teams that played six matches yesterday, DK. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say like I'm super shocked because we know what this team could do. I'm glad they didn't disappoint here. Uh, but, you know, all these other teams that played those six matches yesterday, we're talking about Group B, they need to look at these leaderboards with a different kind of glasses on. They need to just not trust them at all. And I, I'm looking at you, D. Xavier, right? D. Xavier need to go crazy if they want to make it into the main event. Yeah, I mean, 10 points in HP this other match, other but they need to at least get 10 points every other match too. Stay yeah. in the running here. They're going to have to up that gameplay. They're going to have to pull a move similar to what we saw Smoke Gaming do yesterday. So mm. there is going to be that pressure stepping into the latter part of this day. So quite a bit on the table here. 100%. Well, guys, go ahead and check out the Anniversary Crate Surprise Lot. Some of the best skins in the game. I know you guys have been looking to get that full M4, all that kind of good stuff. You have until the end of the month to try to get your hands on it. Or who knows? It could be the last time. So go check it out. Also, you got uh, the first pull. Every single day is only 30 UC. So, hey, get in there. Get your hands on it. And if you do, 
make sure you go ahead and send us a tweet so we can go ahead and get that nice little retweet easy retweet guys also of course we got a big shout out to real me guys the 12 pro plus elevates your photography experience with 120x super zoom and performance in game go check it out today how to be a portrait master Loading game sound was better? Is it is it good now? Is this in game, game sound low? Can you find chill bro? NHP needs to do chill yet as well. They needs to do chill. I chill or not. Uh one second. Everybody here to the PMGO Brazil prelims. It's day number two, and it's the last day. For she finds day chill like action. So that's who my eyes are gonna be on. Here. I mean, players, you they know, have well, no, like I'm stake. like really. This is their last day to excited and their or... last chance to put up points to hopefully hold on, and it's gonna be brutal tomorrow. Seven. These teams and players, coaches, fans are gonna be just working <sighs> their nails, hoping that their team doesn't get passed up on the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about DX Xavier earlier. You know what? Let's continue talking about DX a little bit because they did, in my eyes, a lot better. Decision making. <coughs> I mean, but like at least they got some kills, the so they shouldn't be feel like too nervous. Like I felt like we wanted them to be right. The urgency that we wanted to see, but I did enjoy them willing to back off from a fight in the blue, backing up from a fight that wasn't en gonna end up benefiting in any way. Yeah, you. If you end up winning, you do get those extra illin points. But then you set yourself up horribly if some of the other teams are set up. They decided to, you know what, get that knock, confirm the elimination on Smoke Gaming, and absolutely back off from that fight. And that was, that's exactly what we want to see out of DX. Now, going into Erangel, it's going to be a completely different story. Are we going to see possibly hot drops again between DX and a different team from Group C? I'm hoping if there is a hot drop, DX gets in a car. And folks more zone like Vampire. Running away from that fight. I was about to say, I really hope not for D Xavier's sake here because, you know, yesterday it was nothing but hot drops. They were stuck for so long, you know, in the blue zone. They couldn't play their game at all, DK. And we know that if this team can, you know, just get into the, the latter half of the game with their full squad up, we know these guys can shred, but they didn't even get that chance yesterday. I think the only bonus that they really have, you know, uh, silver lining is the fact that these are new teams they're going against right i mean yeah they're going against some of the same but the fact that there are new squads coming in here might lighten things up but do you think that it's possible we could see some teams try to take them out the way I mean, the way you were reacting it seems like they died with zero kills sandhawk is unpredictable because the the, the reason why like i was too like not like you know 
concern was because you don't get a lot of zone blasts in 12 matches. So that was one of the zone blasts the match for NHP and they got the zone, got early kills. So that could be the game to put them, to put them in a slightly comfortable position when it comes to the qualification to top eight but they kind of missed that i think the mistake they did there was went to the shack and trying trying to thirst the player they knocked and that was like a huge mistake coming from the team considering how if they all crossed the bridge they could at least survive with the three coming into this and with three players in Nazo, they could put up a fight with Zebra Master. And that could be the game they got top three and got even more kills. If you guys get what I'm saying. Like, it's good that they have like 10 plus kids, 10 plus points in that match. But consider the poor, extremely poor performance from yesterday. Overall, these points are not enough. That for the second place finish, you have Hura Esports and a new team from Group C. That's exactly the performance <clears> that you want to have. If any of those two these points were not enough, that's why I was like too maybe a little bit excited now, or like yes, you know trying to figure out what went wrong and stuff. If they continue to do well, that's if they want to qualify, but if for some reason they, they every single point count, but the points in the shack, not so point you cannot get. If, can make their life a if you're trying to get the points, cost you two players, and that's what NHP, NHP did. They went for the thirst on the shack, on the guy they knocked in the shack. They went there, they die. Cost two players, and resulting us have a solo better in player. Day. In uh, there, be right? Because, you know, we got such crazy and Jax will play tomorrow. I think that if I was in, you know, D Xavier or any of the teams in Group B shoes, seeing Vampire Esports get match number one with 16 points, DK, I think that would definitely get my boots to shade a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I could see the team sitting there going like, you know what? Oh, we wanted to do that, but we still have five more maps left, so there will be opportunity for teams to try and contest, try and see if they can play that catch-up game. We only have five map. We only have five more matches. There are seriously, there are a lot of pressure on NHP players when it comes to the qualification to top eight. That evolution comes through, but the big question is moving into Erangel, right? Are we gonna have somebody drop? up in <laughs> alongside dx or do you think dx is going to be having that spot to themselves seven um you know what we talk about dx way too much already i'm gonna wait and see because <laughs> the, all the hypotheticals here i'm just getting a little uh. bit nervous for what could happen with dx <laughs> i'm gonna be looking at some of the other teams that maybe didn't have one of the best performances from group c even though they were able to showcase some some flashes of greatness there okay <laughs> we saw what they were able to do right not only fending off some of the other players <clears throat> here in the map but also winning the fights when it mattered the most and then sadly for them the team that ended up in second place or esports ended up third partying them influence rage I feel you were probably yell yelling, yelling them well. yesterday so no i didn't yell them at all guys i didn't yell them at them at all i didn't put any pressure on the players at all gaming. we didn't even get a chance to see them i don't I, that i can possibly remember dk i don't even think we got nhp needs to top eight screen. A team and NHP needs 70 points at least. Points that is not 70 points. Day, considering that, has, that is a team from group How many points do they have right now? Yeah, I mean, just, is it 30 just, something just or 20 something? Out, right? It was that. It was, they were gone. They were gone. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Dukes, hopefully, I hope, I'm hoping that we can see a little bit of that BBA, right? To bounce back ability. So, in 60 a points in five matches. Yeah, 100%. There's a bunch of other teams here that need to have a great... 27 27 um, okay team liquid right team liquid they've already played seven matches today and they only have 34 points they're currently sitting in 43 in points remember, they need a fo 43 points in five matches team, or they go home six more matches tomorrow or they go home cut up with the shifa liquid need to step it up and hyper is another one of those teams they only have 27 points on the board and you know unfortunately i think it's pretty much I, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the nail in the coffin already for Virtus Pro and Insanity Esports. I mean, they've played seven matches so far. Virtus with 16 points and Insanity with 13. They, these guys have got to be not feeling too good here. Go back. 
Yeah, and it kind of goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of the show, too. We it kind of comes down to how this team is going to be able to react when we end up getting to uh, to that third match of the day, to that second Aaron Gill. If they also have a bad game here on this Aaron Gill, not only is the morale going to be down for that team, knowing that it's over right now, there maybe there is a slight chance of hope, even though deep down they probably know that it's not, right? With what Along the lines of what you were saying, Hajuk. But if they continue to do bad, all those other teams are going to recognize it. They're going to be looking to see if they can maybe stop the rotation, surprise them. Or if they do see them on the elimination feed, try to third party that fight because they know it might be a little bit easier to get those points. So that's something that these teams that are towards the bottom from Group B now playing on their second day are going to have to start worrying about. 100%. You can already see right there, you know, D. Xavier, you looked at the... You look at the players, you can see these guys have a good idea of where everybody's dropping. You know what I'm saying? They want to avoid those hot drops at all costs. So hopefully we don't see that situation happen with these teams. But yeah, if you're a team like Insanity, right? If you're a team like Virtus Pro, you have to start adjusting your gameplay. Just like we saw in the qualifiers, right? You got to look at your situation and make a change Shivan, are you the owner of nhp no i'm not i'm just a player and manager we got and content creator for dinners. the like, organization I mean. and and we they can't just be regular chicken dinners we need double digit elimination chicken dinners right so if you can't do that in honestly this match here you it's gonna be tough it's gonna be really really hard for them dk and uh one other thing that we didn't really mention what you were talking about seven right is yeah, teams can definitely hunt them down and try to get those. I think around seven points, points in the average will be perfect. Again, when these teams have nothing to lose, they could decide to just hot drop some top squads and make things hard for them as well. I mean, it's a it's a tough lineup that they have to uh, a tough choice rather. I would say that the teams will have five to matches to go, game. fifteen Dude, points per match, bro. Fifteen players. person per match, bro. Shivan we'll will be. Laughing in the bathroom oh, while fighting here. demons, bro. Yes, yeah, we get ready for match number two. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on in here and run this one with you here, Seven. Let's get it going as we see a nice little plane path right down the center. Easy. You couldn't ask. Why you remove kindness and ahoy? Because we Whatever. are having an English speaking go roster for NA this for year. I was We're not gonna use Chinese players. Letting that talk or a players who cannot body. really speak they English at all. I can be a little bit more toxic. I want to see like a southern plane and then maybe Is there any good teams in NA? Really, no, really, really tough here for the first Aaron Gill. So when we get to the later, no one, good teams in NA. Possibly it's a little bit easier, but what if that can the compete in the global stage? Ooh. Ooh, why don't I just go ahead and take it to Millie off the rip, huh? Let's, uh, let's keep that energy. You know what I'm saying? An HP, let's yeah, we did try and change our drop spot here. Or maybe even the legendary Zarki circle. You know, I heard you. I heard you. But uh, Zebra Master is That's super close legendary. with us. And Aaron Gale, for me, it's Zarki. I've only seen it in my entire PUBG Mobile career, I think, twice. Yeah, I think we saw one. I, I saw possibly my first one last year. So <laughs> if we can get that, I mean, I, I won't be against it. You know, I won't be against it. I'm going to be looking at DX, though. They are currently landing. Not going to lie, guys. This is, this is super hard. If any of the other teams are going to be landing near them, you can see Team Castle there towards the top in Severn. You're going to have a lot to work with. And boy, we're talking one. This Koi left the PUBG. Circle. No, he has not. not. He's uh, he's playing for in super lazy circle. reflex. A semi pro <laughs> Chinese team in NA. Same as kindness. You know, pretty tried and true so far. No hot drops that I've noticed yet. So that's very good for these teams because they need to really avoid Where the hack did you know, we BP go? Trying, you know, I was kind of like, you know, hinting at maybe the boss. Wait, hold on. Let me see the shots. Can we see? Can we get it done? Oop. Trying to be able to get that knock from all the way from prison. Not able to hit those shots. So that is. Hello, Zaraki. Welcome back. Is 4 and right invited there. team? Yes, they are. By prison. Interesting. You, you always see assaulting scrims. Yeah. Can you imagine if he actually would have hit that shot in your Virtus, bro? Trying to change your day around. Trying to make sure it's a completely different day. Hopefully, you can do enough to possibly make it into the top 27. Then you need like another 10 plus points. Flying, like, 10 okay, plus game. 10 plus points game. Side, you're like, oh. Okay, I'm knocked. Never mind. We're, we're one down, boys. One down. I'm not even gonna lie. Just hearing those those shots whiz past my ear while I'm in a parachute, I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you know, like, that is not the energy that you're looking to have here. But you can see the standings, everybody. Remember, uh, they are quite skewed on the fact that we have 
you know, teams that played six more matches than a lot of these squads here. So uh, it's it's crazy for me to see Vampire already in 15. Does NHB have a coach or an analyst uh, list? Yes, we do have a coach. We have a... Climb up more and more and more we have a PL coach. Yeah, the fact that they, they were even... He was the... He was the head coach for TC that yesterday. last year. That just talks about how bad... <laughs> NHP budget only enough to buy one zone? <laughs> for real. Just make a change, and we're talking about teams that definitely needed to make a change. DX, we got a chance to talk about them for a long time. We finally get to see that okay, they're gonna have enough time. There's here also a Turkish team, yeah. Position themselves, they are. Pochinkin, nobody's gonna be pressuring them. Also, with this circle that we are currently getting, they're gonna be able to take their time and figure out where they might want to rotate. Possibly have enough time to scout and see what's gonna end up happening. And now we're looking here at a. Is there any chance for NHP SPAC? They're more than likely gonna have to rotate. They're more than to be honest, SPAC is three one three of the first player I first reached out when we open when we like back then when we were recruiting players. I mean, we're still recruiting players now, by the way, guys. Um, and we tried out SPAC for several weeks actually. But the the performance was not like as we right as the coach would like well so we didn't go with spy spec back then plays out here in just a few minutes you know when it comes to team liquid 34 points on the board definitely not going to be enough like in the tryouts I see from some of these teams that are um better and caprizi i think they need a hunt uh, third party kind of outshine the spec in the tryouts they need to try to get that's why we didn't eliminations but go for you know spec maybe try to avoid like literally he's the first player you know, like I approached a third party, when we like when when points, when like the management said, okay, we're getting a new roster no for an uh, English speaking one, right? End, you need to get to end game and try forming a lineup there, the Shifan. So I was like, sure. Well. And the first player if I can I think of was teams, back. I think that trying to loot very quickly, you know, try yep. to get some of those early game third parties going is going to be absolutely essential. Yeah, possibly trying to get teams on the rotation. And, and I love how you put that there safely on those third parties because, boy, you can definitely do a third party safely and then you can do one where it completely ends up backfiring and possibly you end up getting third party. So a lot of the scouting is going to have to be done too. In Sanity Sports, this is a team, honestly... How do you I'm find your players? They didn't know what to expect out of this team. Through some connections and, and through some, you know, by looking at my previous player stats in Pro League. Source contention. And that's another team. We're talking about Virtus Pro. We're talking about... Uh, some of the other teams that just weren't performing that well in Sanity Sports at the moment. For me, the rule of thumb is having a total of, if uh, of 13 we trial players like good I guess top, top 10. Needs to be able to turn it around. If that's your stats is like top 10, and they will probably really try it out. If you're playing for other regions which is, and you got like top top 20 or 25, or 25 we'll we'll, we'll also try out. And if you do, then start positioning yourself. But if you're like, but they definitely need the points. If you rank like and that's why I, I, I stress on trying to get out of like early, top because, you know, 20 you or like 30 in a one or zone number two, we don't even like the coach didn't even bother to try it. There is so much space. You have teams kind of like separated. So what do you think of FS? FS is a new player. He's, he's lacking like competitive work, experience, even though this so is his second, I guess, global tournament. The very first one, he's he's kind of like a Caprizi to be honest. Caprizi PMGO is Caprizi's first PUBG Mobile official tournament. For FS, like PMGC was his first official. Like he's he remains as a starters from the end, start to the end. So FS and the Caprizi are kind of like in terms of their experience. At least for me. Yeah, when you were saying earlier how I, I was trying to be positive and saying, okay, you know what, maybe they can kind of end up positioning themselves, and then you hit me with the truth bomb of possibly they need to have three chicken dinners for Virtuous Pro and those other teams that are towards the bottom. I was like, okay, you know what, you, you, you sway me. They're definitely not going to make it to the top eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it's those, possible. Uh, chicken dinners. Yeah, it's possible, right? But it has to happen now. And that's what I, I stress on because, you know, I hate to see teams and, you know, IGLs and coaches just say, hey, just play your game. Play the same thing, you know? Um, you have to be you have to look at reality. Like, hey, we had a terrible day one. It's still possible, but in Did order you to try YKG up players? For the bad performance we had in day one, we have to go insane in day two, right? Stick true to the We wanted to try Joy. So, um I wanna see that. And and honestly, I will be But Joy retired. 
of insanity. And as for and other players, that, I saying that they're clips to the coach, right? if they try to make, push the issue, but a coach didn't give me a off, response, okay. so but I assume that you know, he thinks the ones we were trying out one is better, I'm which is better in a cup crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm 100 with you on that one, and the thing is that they actually do have. I don't start the rank started from two, three, five. Well. So that's the overall yeah. ranking I mean, um, out of these 24 teams. So Zebra Master, the first placing, they are actually ranked number two in a team that in the in these 24 teams. So NHP, if you look at it, NHP is ranking at 11. It's gonna be but they do have six game. more matches I mean, played. Oh so my god, what a zone. NHP once again. Themselves, not only guarantee in a way themselves that they're going to make it to the top eight by how they perform today, but possibly... One of the, the furthest the team from the zone. Challenge team Falcons, although Team Falcons still has one whole day to Let's play. see how are they going to play this. Start performing well if they break the pattern that we saw yesterday. What a hardship. Jeez. Being they can't catch a break. For this team, we could see a much, much better smoking. Yeah, hundred percent. Remember, yeah, Smoke Gaming are not gonna be playing tomorrow, so they need to go crazy. They need to challenge all these teams. Or maybe acquire more than one coach. Uh, I don't think coach coach can definitely help, but like getting multiple coach won't help you that well. At the end of the day, there is only one head of coach who makes all the calls about the strategies and everything. Like hire hiring multiple coach won't dramatically improve your team's rotation. Like you know, in an instant, it just doesn't. Work. PUBG Mobile esports doesn't work like that. Death Wolves as well. Hiring well, more people won't work. With this kind of it's more about the players. Yeah, teams might DX, up one the of the DX got taken out so by like Zebra Master. Bridge. And yeah, I see what you're saying now, and that's because one of the DX players does end up getting eliminated. I was going to give him props earlier. They didn't end up losing anybody. They were having a little bit of freedom. But Zebra Master is a team that is just so proactive. Looking around, seeing and if he's don't fucked again, they're able to spot a player there from DX. Maybe it's I mean, the zones were pretty fucked up for them like yesterday. I think they're used to it. Welcome to the PUBG Mobile Esports and welcome to global tournaments where the zone always hot shifts. I mean, a good team, no matter if the zone hardships shifts or not, you will always find a way to entry into the zone or take on the fights and win the fights, right? So, I mean, zone luck matters, but at the same time, like for example, Falcons, why? Are they still dominating right no matter which lobby they play because they're they can adapt to every single zone no matter it's hard shift or not if you're gonna beat a team so a good team should not just count out in the zone to be honest if an hp wants to qualify they gotta prove themselves prove them they have let's get this easy point and loot and that's exactly what they did they have the skills, we right, to work in different control, situations. Possibly start partying fights. Well, guess what? They're currently positioning themselves here to gatekeep Vampire Esports, uh, which is easier, <laughs> easier said than done. <laughs> and then on top of that, they had DX very close by. And what I actually enjoy, they're virtuous pro just taking those shots, even though they more than likely weren't going to be able to connect and fully finish, eliminate that, that player, still taking the shots, showing that they're still confident. They're wanting to take those fights. And letting them know, hey, just one NHP line not change after PMGO. Let's see how they perform. Oh, yeah. Virtus Pro, I like oh, NHP wrapped, wrapped, wrapped all the way to the north. Oh, what a zone shift for NHP. Oh, okay. Oh, hurry up, boys. Go all the way down to the south to gatekeep on the bridge. Hurry up. Possibly catch Team Liquid on the way in. That's where you can see there on the bottom left. So Team Liquid's in trouble. But now that's actually a really nice wraparound do we keep from an HP going, try to get these points or do we leave and go to circle seven? What do you think they should do? Or death walls, I rotate as soon as possible because there's yep. just going to be so much. So many other teams are dude. The fights are going to be more than very unlikely at that point because they're more more than likely wanting to focus towards that end of the match in team liquid. I mean, yeah, you'll get some solid points here, but it kind of goes with what we've been talking about DX this whole time. Just focus towards the later games where you're more than likely going to be able to get easier points and they're just going to be coming towards you. But I mean, like at this, this point, stage, they're, they're I back. feel like they're wanting to stay. I'm not sure what they're wanting to do here as Team Liquid just took a little bit too long there in the south and they are 
I do care if they qualify to top eight, but like even if they don't qualify, at least I want them to show me something that, as a team, they've been training for three to four months, right? We gotta see some hopes and potential in the lineup. If they still if today they still play like yesterday, and I would say there's like literally zero hope for the lineup. But like if they're showing us something. Would it have you know, them even further. show Not what they were training for, and you know, show so, uh, the results they've been training. They able to get out when they could. Even so if they don't make it top eight, able to make it into this next I think that we, so us as like you know viewers, will still appreciate the work they put out. On the edges, it's fine. Just don't put up like the first day show. performance, I mean, you know, and actually. <laughs> just in simple words, don't play like noobs. To be honest. Always and that, off that tire. if we can nice. achieve that, All right. I will be satisfied. And then on top of that, you oh, to Vampire. Oh, almost. Oh, so He's cool. one shot. And they should be wrap around, rotated all the way to the north. They're at the mansion area right now. And the zone shifts to the north side. This is going to be a very, very bad spot. Let's not stop there. Let's send it back towards where we were. And Schweppes just causing a lot of damage and just a lot of confusion here for the team. As Cyber Masters is now currently looking to hunt down one player from DX, and that's going to be it. Oh, poor DX got, a, got chasing down by Zebra Masters. This is just so tough. These guys Coops secretly played the Zebra Masters, you know, to chase down DX. Where they're able so to get into late game uh, with all their players up. So uh, when you have something like that happen so consistently, it kind of alters your brain chemistry of just the how this tournament oh, is. It scared me for a sec. So I thought it's NHP oh, getting knocked by NR. I literally am having nightmares oh, for NR. Oh, oh my god, a north shift again. Five. And the star actually went out to scout. For the potential hard shift, nice work, Star. I see you. And what a split! This is actually a really good circle for by NHP at the north side. Have so much space to work with there. So okay, so this so is actually something we want to see. We don't want to see them, you know, just dying and dying and dying. We want to see them actually doing something, even if they don't win the game, right? At least they tried, and if we can see them. They tried. A little bit gonna be making a push. Death Wolves. Remember that was a team that decided to stop with the bridge camp, and it's gonna be working out wonders for them. At least they're now within the circle. They're not gonna be super handicapped. Old Glory Gaming losing some players and Perigene currently trying to figure out if he can possibly get inside this buggy and get away with it. He needs to put this team on his back at this point. Like they desperately need points in game number oh, one. NR. Oh, NR. Zebra Master. Oh my god. Zebra Master. Once again. Wipe the teams left and right. Third party potential? Oh, uh, I was about to say. Fire flux. Once you start third party, you can instantly get that fourth party going, and that's exactly what happened. What will you do if you were in this position? Hold the split. And make sure to shoot every team who's trying to approach you away. Shoot every team away and control the whole north side. They literally have the whole north side themselves. So all they need to do right now is to hold the split and hold the north side. Don't let anyone force in them. As who they have the high ground. Sure that they make them back off. Death wolves on the horizon too. These teams need to be careful because they could end up exposing themselves. And we just saw what happened there between Next Ruya and some of the other teams like Zebra Master. That was a scary rotation for Virtus Pro. I did not like it at all. These guys need to be fighting and trying to get the points rather than trying to risk a crazy rotation. They did get one player knocked. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to get that res off because they need it. They need all four players up. And again, in my eyes, a chicken dinner with double digit eliminations if we want to even see them have a chance as they do get a beautiful. Oh, knockdown. FS got a knock on VP. Oh, that is one of the teams that is you got two push ups for me. They need Can you get the confirm? The FS, are knocked. they're so separated. It's not looking good. Where did he knock the VS player though? Not so far. Now, trying to make sure they are possibly going to be able to. Oh, I think he can potentially get a confirm on the Milky Way player. Third player for FS. I guess that's two push up for me. Interesting too, as we're looking at some of the teams fighting. Is I'm keeping an eye on the leader. Okay, Caprizi got a confirm. Next, Ria, Team Liquid, DX, all those teams that are towards the top of this current leaderboard. Guys, I'm so hurt. And I'm looking at this. If I'm one of the teams like in hyper needing the extra points, trying to make that extra push to the top. I'm going to be so happy seeing that as Hura Esports is able to destroy another player there from Death Wolves.
Hundred percent. It's a, it's the doors opening now for a team like in Hyper that they have to take advantage of it here. Meanwhile, for esports, I was seeing a whole bunch of their fans in the chat cheering them on. My Not chest is hurting, guys. Team. They only have two players up. Could be a big nade here. Got to hit it. Nice little heads up play though. DBS is out. Goes through the smoke. Oh, now finally gets a good idea of where he is, but goes down in the process. Death Wolves, last player up for them. Gonna have to pop in the vehicle. Oh, it's on fire though. This is risky. Yep, he said, never mind. <laughs> he thought about it. <laughs> he thought about it. He was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not oh, we have zone. We have zone. They can position. Oh my god, they gotta put more defense on the smoke, smoking, smoke gaming side. I'm just afraid smoke gaming would like full send them. Once they saw them splitting. This terrain to maybe start third party in some fights. Old Glory Gaming, a team that we didn't get to see much in the first match, still alive. Currently with zero eliminations though, but if they do end up surviving a little bit more and they don't get any limbs, they are at least going to be able to clutch up some points in regards to placement points. Insanity is still alive as well, and Vampire Esports just learning. They're trying to see if they can go back to back as Virtuous Pros get eliminated. Yeah, that's, that's it for them here. So uh, in my eyes, the one of the teams from Group B that could still have a chance is insanity it's a very slim one but they need to win this, this game. they won't get a better zone than this yes i feel like it the they won't get a better zone this pressing up onto them right now is none other than vampire esports you see tony k he's got you remember the same zone from bmgc which team win locked and loaded and ready to go they're on the south side they're outside of the circle they have two minutes though so you can see them right now this is just all intel gathering they're just trying to figure out where's the next spot we're gonna go they're looking for trees they're looking for rocks and uh, there's not a lot of options here, but they're going to have to get there with that M4 on their back. Meanwhile, Insanity, nice spin out. That's what you got to do. You got to shoot those tires. If you do, it's an easy elimination. Don't spill your game if Coach tells you. That is huge. No, they Coach, every single one they can get. Coach doesn't oh, talk man, with me love whenever they actually go during matches. We only talk with each other after the game. You know the, the reason why I was talking to them because I was mad that they didn't that they didn't prioritize, or prioritize or rotation and wasted the good sandhog zone. Oh, oh, he's fast. No smoke gaming went to the tip. Nice. Then NHB still have the whole north. Taking a look here towards Vampire. Vampire Esports, a team that just won that Vampire last match. Vampire is dead. Vampire, that position, Vampire is dead. Gets knocked as well. It's not looking good as Insanity Sports is going to be seen. If they can reposition Are they not pushing? Are they not pushing Vampire? Don't let them breed. That's for sure, though. I, I said it earlier. Vampire did not have a lot of options when it came to real estate. And it doesn't matter if you're one of the best teams in the world. If you're stuck out in the open, you're going down. And we're starting to see teams take advantage of it big time as... We have fire oh, the run over! Oh my god! Run over and doing it oh, Smoke gave me make it look. That nade, that make it so easy! Smoke gave me look. Make it look so easy! The party from NHP? This nade from Miyaki might get it done. But definitely in big trouble. Let's see if that nade is gonna end up hitting the players moving around. It's only one player standing from foot. Can he survive? And he's able to lay down just oh no i've got tagging down be careful here because they are going to be very exposed they could don't get too aggressive better go now one one knock two downs for smoke gaming three down two down for smoke gaming fs is dead one of the smoke players does end up getting caught and he ends up getting eliminated now smoke from what something that could see so promising i think they got a little bit too hyped up and they end up losing two players oh they didn't see fs can they get the res on fs that's tough because sometimes press press vision on that hard press on them better, better. hard press on smoke gaming prioritize clearing out your back okay better got a one we'll, we'll, we'll do the push-ups after the game great timing here they have all four players up they're playing the edge we need full can they get that fast aggression from them here they need to is in zone though everybody in this lobby and win this game and another team that's in that same boat is in hyper bro that's shoot from smoke bro here if they want to shoot it from smoke alive smoke gaming you know, had some good points on the board, so they Shoot their smoke. afford to go out in this situation. But these teams are full on. I think FS is dead. It's so crazy to see Vampire still alive. They have two players up, and these guys are dangerous. Oh, and they have two really good players as we see oh this is good. If Vampire, to if Tony K can get his knock on uh, INS player, that's going to be good for NHP. A lot of pressure relief. FS goes down. Three man. NHP three man now. 
swords are just oh crazy. vampire can knock things dead ends up getting knocked noosey still alive though can noosey possibly end up picking him up and maybe confirm on some of the nations the dbz is gonna be coming out dbs is gonna be coming out can he connect there goes one player tony k gone insanity sports do top what six what situation you want them to do dude making sure that they go for those eliminations and who who would you we still have a full squad of ff and a full squad of ff is in the lobby don't want to have to worry about towards the end well they're not i don't yet. believe so nhp has a zone to figure out what in the north here now finally getting a little bit of support from their teammate here they go and they get him done with so insanity clutching it up ff ff is nothing zone for performance Silencing some of the biggest names in the lobby here with four Bro. eliminations. Look, Silence literally is this doing the prone shot like to keep his team harsh scoping out FS. FF. FF. Why don't you Not FS. Stupid F team. FS. Died. An elimination and he's gonna be doing just that. I wonder if this three man would cost an HP in this game. Seven eliminations and Bro, all the teams can you show the map? I want to see where is the NHP. So much, just such a great NHP players are not taking damage, so, which means they have a cover. We're talking about more gaming those caprizi is gonna be so exposed they're gonna have to use the that's too short vehicles nice caprizi beautiful it does end up covering an give you give you a kiss kiss elimination as they this is a very dominating position for F caprizi but be careful the right side what they need to do and be careful nf though eliminations as well so let's see who's gonna end up on top here is two teams from group b are fighting it out to try and keep their tournament alive Oh, I thought it's FS going down. Nice fight, please. I left. Third party, then please. Give an HP a chance. Influence reach. We haven't even talked about this squad. They've just been waiting. In the water, Get the kills, boys! Oh no, Farrell! Farrell! No! Please! Farrell! Caprizi, no! Some of this team, Federal, trying to oh! Shots. Who's in the smoke? Is it better? He knows that one player is going to be pushing him. He's going to take out that shotty and see if he's going to push out of that smoke and make it... No, he's punished me! Now has to hit better! Knock Federal! Nice! Influence rage for the longest time when he hear them do absolutely anything. Better. Ball, but he's currently going. It's, it's currently oh, he almost turned a little boy. And Hyper was no. Boy's gonna be able to confirm that elimination, and they still have to worry about one more player here from. Oh, Hyper, nice sweeper! Let's go, Caprizi! Let's go! That's a wipe! So huge, and that is it for Influence Rage. It is now insanity versus N Hyper. Two of the teams that is it two versus two? Needed these points the most. Yes. And double digit eliminations. They got it. Can they get the chicken dinner now? That's the question for insanity. And it's it's a pretty even fight here. And Hyper with seven eliminations as well, looking solid in anyone's game. Seven. A bit of a slowdown there. Influence Rage with the biggest surprise, but don't get knocked for them as this terrain was just so exciting. star. You I'm begging you. Some trees. you barely have Five only fans so giveaway you after this dub. Star to you, bro. And you start fighting people. You Do not get knocked. They're very exposed in standing. Caprizi. Such a great angles. Now it's gonna come down to a two v two. Capri knows that there's gonna be a player from standing over there, but he needs to be careful because Silence is gonna be snaking around. He's gonna be trying to get that off angle, and it's all about those off angles. They still have two players from. And Hyper, where is the other player? Where is Star's gonna be at? Right behind them, still in the vehicle, driving around. Is he gonna try to the same strategy? Do they know there's a guy? Silence the with six kills, ten eliminations. Oh, that is gonna be so risky. I think he's trying to just get a little bit more intel here. It's still only stage seven, and the reason why we see so many teams gone is because of this zone. It is dead out in the open, and we just saw an outlaw war happen. I like those offensive smokes there. You knew the there guys behind the tree. Hyper, is he out of ammo? Vision, Does he? So they can push is he out of ammo? Oh no, the, the mate! So spread out. It's gonna be really down to who gets this first knock. Go back, go back, Caprizi. Nice, nice. Wrap around. Don't get naded. Right now with stars is that he is staying a little bit further back to the point where they're not able to see insanity sports is not able to see him and he's just driving around trying to see if he can spot anything along the way bro this Possibly is gonna be silence they have a such a good control for our is now with this distraction that silence was the zone the next zone throwing some nades to kind of throw them off we need to go north what well, the zone go north two seconds two seconds one second zero oh my god the zone send this up and hp needs to push up as you were mentioning, uh, NHP needs to push up. To make this push to they do have a guy in a tree, though. With how split they are. 
Hundred percent. Yeah. The problem is, is that if they literally have the perfect si light, uh, anything, setup for NHP. So Neither of them can afford a knock in this situation. And Hyper, if one gets knocked, Insanity's pushing too. So it really does go either way. The thing about and Hyper has an advantage. Oh, can you see the guy actually pulling out? The res, but it's gonna be Kabizzi, take a look. Response. Take a peek. Take no a peek. Stars, I guarantee you this guy is just whistling right now. While take a peek. Donuts. He's just big, chilling, just saying, oh, I know. I think he's M4. He's out of ammo. Once we hit stage nine, though, this but they don't know, though. Like, they didn't know. NHP players didn't know. If he gets to that hill, Insanity's gonna have a really big advantage here. Romo Lowe's then just inching closer and closer to more cover, and this is definitely what they have a nice. Nice. Silence to use all of his nades. I think if Silence should like at least save one nade. Towards that side and causing those players to get a little bit more confused. And now you have that player in that buggy moving around trying to see if anybody. Be careful the gas though. I feel like Star is gonna run up running out of gas. Show us exactly where you're at because right now in hyper still thinks that the player is behind the tree. You can see Capri looking around. Silence is gonna be Knock him. Bob. He's gonna be trying to take some shots. He takes the bait, but luckily for him, he's Star. hitting enough to the point where they're not gonna be able is to. Is he out of ammo too? Silence is out of ammo too. He gets some it's a DPS! <laughs> it's a DPS too the two have a DPS only. Oh, nice! Nice! They saved the nades. That was it. That was. That would be it. Is that? Is it gonna be it? It's good. It's good. And now Oh, he has a hair drop. Towards this crate. He has an air drop. Three gear. What does he grab? Oh, he's an EMR. He's an EMR. In a you too. Okay, you were snaking earlier. Let's see what you can do now. But they gotta, they gotta be careful though. Remember, I think they gotta be careful though. That's the DBS though. In hyper, he's gonna try to reposition himself. And if play slow. Has any of those grenades available? I think the first place that save one more nades. Save one more nades. Oh, he got, he got MK. He got MK. Okay, now the chances. He got MK. MK DBS versus two players of NHP. The ball barker. The two best CQC weapons in the game. He's got the MK14 and the DBS. And Hyper has to focus on range here. They, he don't does. get knocked. Silence knows where he's at because of that. Come on, that got knocked. shoot yourself. Oh, he stepped up a little bit. That could be in trouble. Nice, come on, you saw him. Nice. Oh, I thought he had the shot, but Ed Hyper clutched up the chicken dinner. And I'll tell you what, Seven, this was a massive game for Ed Hyper. Job's not done yet, though. They got a lot more left to go. That's a big sigh of relief for them, though. And Hyper, that's what we want to see from the new NA host because this is a completely new team with FS still being there from last season. But he was a sub getting the chance to shine. At How many push ups do I need to do, guys? To take that chicken dinner, add those points, and for a team that even wants to get a chance. How many push ups? How many push ups? I'm coming back, Jukes. This is our chance. Day two is the time. Oh my god. Dude, start, start breathing. I'll tell you what, that breathing is just like. What a game. A sigh of relief because, man, to be able to get that game under their belt, <laughs> these guys are so excited here. 20 push ups? It's going to be insanity. Can I see you guys tomorrow? I'm ending the stream now, guys. I'm ending the stream now. I will see you guys tomorrow. I will be back with pre MGO prelim day three. Top three, at least double digit eliminations. And uh, they got it here, DK. Oh, I mean, talk about a wake up, right? I do a such an insane play. I mean, it was good to see Insanity. Oh my and, god. Uh, the players here from N Hyper having a phenomenal, phenomenal run. But just look <sighs> at how we got here. It was good to see All Glory Gaming also starting to do. A Wait, do I need to do push ups for their chickens too? A little bit more airtime on their end. So, gotta say, phenomenal. Game number two coming in here. Game turned when they wiped the NF, bro. That's a, such a beautiful wipe. What we had happened in yesterday's groups. Oh, absolutely. Vampire had a great game under their belts as well. I mean, they were doing a good job. Just this circle, right? Wide out in the open. So few spots available. We saw them try to take a central location. Maybe just a couple. That spots. almost turned on you, boy. And it was really because they had no other choice, right? That was the only place. They the run over from Caprizi is crucial. We saw them is crucial, bro. As well. And Hyper, really good at using those buggies here, Seven. Honestly, for N Hyper to be able to survive this, for N Hyper to even be able to win this, nice. Press, man, because I was seeing them towards the north, and the more I started seeing nine them, kills, I I did it, I I did two push-ups already, so that's set, so that's eight kills, okay? So 
and they end up with nine eliminations, but we've been talking about it. Insanity Sports, they didn't win the match like Hajjuks was saying, but they did end up... Can you guys give him a discount, please? Can I get a discount, please? Guys, can I get a discount? Esports pushing it to Fireflex as well. So big team that we wanted to see. And then How about I give you the sub? How about I do 20, give you the sub, and you guys give me a discount? What do you guys say? expecting to see in Pochinki. They only end up with just two points, and that's just not gonna be enough for DX. Mm, man, I remember the days where <laughs> the best team in the world was just like Pachinki is the place. And the more I see it, it's starting to make me question things because teams have. Oh my god! Now, and you know, I can't buy you guys. The second that zone shifted, we saw Zebra Master just like, all right, with this zone coming, we know a team's coming okay. from Pachinki. I will try my best. Okay, let let, let me see the. That's exactly uh, let me see the scoreboard first, okay? Before I, I do push-ups. Pretty, pretty Bro, push my chest, the Jesus. Like, this is the kind of play that I was hoping to see from in hyper. Right? So 19. I, mean, I, I was, I was nearly convinced that it was gonna lean towards the side of insanity, but in hyper, scam. Stepping up, clutching it out of pushy for team. Uh, I'll do 16. In on towards this Irango, uh, Irango, but. Oh okay, my I god. Sixteen? Really looking forward to it. No, twenty six? Well, but before we keep we, getting going, I we agreed on I agreed on guys. let's go ahead and take it to the main stage. I, and the second chicken Okay. Let's watch this. Let's watch this first. Esports, and I have here with me e stars. They play e star for the any hyper esports. Welcome and congrats on this chicken dinner. So in the last stage of the game, the last two players of Insanity, they were very spread apart. Do you think that helped you getting the chicken dinner? Well, we know their exact positions, so I was driving around trying to find them. But yes, we basically killed them one by one. Awesome. <laughs> Is there a specific team that you guys have studied before today matches? Not really, to be honest. We kind of studied all the teams. Okay, so they are very prepared for today. Congrats on this chicken dinner once again, and thanks for the interview. Thank you, and it's comeback day. Thank you, and it's comeback day. Oh, it's comeback day. Miss it, it's comeback day. Okay, okay. It's comeback day, baby. Let's All go. Right. I like the fact Push that he said he's like, oh man, we we studied some other teams, which makes sense because <laughs> there are some monster squads in here. But you know what? If Insanity keeps playing the way like they have so far, they're gonna be a team that uh, needs a little bit more more eyes on them here. Seven. Yeah. Uh let me keep the train going a little bit there on in hyper right 10 points to start off the day 19 points now if i'm not Let's mistaken go. i think they ended up with 17 points yesterday total for the day so in one match they're able to just uh pretty much get what they did yesterday in six matches that's exactly what we want to see out of this team okay. we want to continue to see six. a little bit more as we are looking now the six more Aringale once again let me take a rest who's it gonna be is six it gonna more. be one of those teams from group b that definitely need the points or is it group c gonna be starting to stand up it's comeback day. It's comeback day, baby. Let's go. Let's see it hyper ride this train. You know, we see good old stars. You know, once a uh, starlight before this guy really made it happen. I like the fact that he told he, he told Carol that he was just you know riding that bus around trying to get some of that one information, more. and we see them move up five places up to six. Do but remember push-ups. These are proper push-ups. Or bro. the ranking doesn't matter right now, DK. What matters is how many points you have going into tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so there's a, a good opportunity for a lot of teams still to go farming, you know, get some points secured, get everything backed in nice and snugly. <laughs> you do the I, game, I do missed it. That I'm going to have six more. I have six more, bro. Maybe continue with the bit of a momentum that they were building up in this last match. But if we look a little bit further down the board, I mean, do reverse push ups? Bro, if you guys trying to get that engine started, trying to bring in you know, another like push ups a, in the air or something, a, a bit of a play, right? Because I mean, we're almost in game number three, right? So if they're looking to do something here today, we're starting to run out of time. So whatever surprises they I have literally just went to gym the and do some like, to did it, some training around my chest. So like mm, literally okay, before sooner, I agree to you guys, seven, like I think it's gotta the push ups. Be Right, this game here, it needs to I'm happen, like, right? my chest was already very yeah, sore. Yeah, I mean, with some of the way that the teams from Group B are starting Cut to up stand for up, top a, I feel like at least 70, at least 70 the points. The teams from Group C are going to be reacting tomorrow when they end up playing a completely different group in Group A, and then you're going to have Team Falcons on top too. By the way, Team Falcons, two matches done today, and they're still on the lead. They're still chilling. Oof. They're still saying, uh, okay, all right, I mean, uh, keep, 
keep on, keep on guys, doing so I'm not, I'm not keep professional on athlete. Mode gaming. Can I? Not having the, the best start here, I think, I feel like if we do have another interview there with Kunhei, can you guys, like, you okay, know, the first just bear with me with, the, with, with my, you know, improper push-ups? It's not good enough. We need to, we need to go back to it. And I wonder what's going to happen here with Smoke Gaming if for some reason they aren't able to match the chicken dinners that we saw out of them yesterday. Because besides those chicken dinners, besides those three games towards the middle of the of the day yesterday, they really weren't able to do much. It, it was quite inconsistent for them in regards to their placement and also in regards to their elimination points. Well, guys, we got a lot Thumbs more Thumbs only push-ups? Let's on go. Up. Will we see Neptura. Ruby? Hold on. I hope Neptura. so. I We're cannot find do out that. right after this break. But I do see the preference for Neptora now. So, ne Neptora... likes men do man who can do fingers push-ups okay so if you guys you know <laughs> she finds a professional push-up athlete bro i'm literally okay so yesterday after the stream i was literally making the video for like like this but like when I see their pro tips, I was like, bro. Their pro tips is like for, I don't know, beginners. To be honest, I see I've seen other pros do the pro tips series for like esports, PUBG Mobile, but these tips, these tips, are like. It's like, these tips are like very, very basic tips. Like just use your nade or don't throw your nade too high or too low. And that's a pro tip, bro. I expect a better pro tip from those pros, bro. You can't just tell your viewers like use your, use grenade and you can use grenade to knock people. Like that's not, that's not called pro tips, bro. everybody i'm hot Jukes here with the 7wg and hopefully they are not getting too overconfident and, and they got killed pretty by over aggression here, as for those you i can see the confidence the coming from time. star a quick little recap right but so, uh don't get uh, over too confident don't get overconfident though left in the prelims and it's all about getting into that <clears> top <throat> eight top eight goes to that main event and competes for that big prize pool the problem is is that this is the last day to play for group Chief, are you a fan of nhp because and managing you know, nhp the, worst feeling the team in the and also i'm a player myself to have to sit and also i'm a kind of and just pray that your points are enough it's to hold a secret. on Pearls and never your dreams are still secrets. able to continue here nah i do it's rough man it is so so rough so my channel is made uh, to review pro e, players i mean they've got limited time left to make as much of an impact as they can because as you said right come tomorrow's matches whatever they weren't able to accomplish today they gotta be 46 is still not enough their nails chewing their fingers to figure 46 out is not or enough they're guys. Gonna be making it up into the top eight or whether or not, well, whether they're going to be part of the audience. So, yeah, a lot of pressure coming in on them here. Yes, sir, indeed. And, yeah, you know, just to remind everybody, Group B is Smoke Gaming, Insanity, Zebra Master, Team Liquid, and Hyper, Virtus Pro, uh, Next Rhea, and D Xavier 7. Now, for for the side of Virtus Pro, I think it's nail in the coffin at this point. Um, when it comes to insanity, though, right? We saw that little guys, bit if you of guys a, want me to do, a sign of you life. Got, if you guys a little bit, a good sign want to watch me do push-ups, like the stream. Let's Even make it a 400 likes. Even then, it might be enough, though. So they need to continue here <laughs> with another performance just like we saw in the last one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this needs 30 points more. We're talking about yes. consistency. We just want to be able to see that consistency. How are you going to be able to follow through? The only thing, too, for, for that team, for insanity, is that I really enjoyed that they were taking the fights to people, man. I really enjoyed that they were willing to just go after a lot of those other teams. And not only being able to do that, they did end up with 10 elimination points. If oh, I'm yeah, we have, oh, we have, the last wait, match. we have four games. So or... we know the fragment. Oh, yeah, we have four here. games. They okay, just okay. We have still have four like games. That, they could definitely end up positioning themselves in a big way for tomorrow when they're not going to be playing to just biting those, no way, bro. those nails. Saying, Chief, oh, I, I did a 10 already. Or I did a 10 push-ups already. 
Yeah. I have six more I left. Remember, you know, there's top eight. Six They're more left. I'll do it before the like, next match starts. Place. Let me. And we got six teams playing rest a little bit. more games, but it's time oh for my another God. match. Come on. As Why the match so Airedale soon? For match number three. Boys, take it away. And who is going to be end up winning this nah. Aaron Gill 2 of the day? <laughs> day two of the PUBG Mobile Global and Open Brazil prelims because boy oh boy oh hey we get an we get a nice plane path here once again dk anybody can take it with this plane path wherever you want to land you can do it yeah pick a spot get it and i mean i was happy to see that we had a decent spade coming through into the first year angle uh, airing that we had here so i'm curious to see what this airing is going to be doing are we going to be having a decent zone to accompany a flight path like this because that would be such a nice play to make. But yeah, the big one is here. The pressure is on. I'm expecting Insanity to maybe try when to replicate wanted, a little bit of the The official takes more time to start a match. You know, the they started the right away. I mean, Sevens, they also going to be looking when to When we up, waited, right? like, the yeah, game, Eagle, you want them to start, I mean, you, were you know, about right away, rage. That's taking them forever. That, yeah, they were able to put up uh, some good points in that last match in regards to placement points. But we just haven't seen that fragging power, right? With a team that I expect a lot more when it comes to to those elimination points, I want to start seeing that. Where is that influence rage How tall that you? I've been expecting? And some of the other teams as well, like All Glory Gaming B2, but uh, you got Team Queso in there too. We really oh. haven't gotten a chance to see Zebra is still on us. Team. So maybe if to be honest, the Zebra can do any random things. Oh my god, I hate the right zone, Team Queso is not gonna have to rotate. I feel like we play the worst. Inside this we circle. play the, the worst. Well, I like this zone though. Zones. I mean, regardless of whether it stays <clears> up north, if it goes down south, we've got both the bridges in play here, so we could have a little bit of that uh, camp action comes through right uh, the bridge stick ups that we could be having but in the meanwhile it's gonna be uh looting stage right we've got the death wolves all the way down in novo and they're sharing the island here with uh, the place coming through from team liquid it doesn't seem like we have any major hot drops uh maybe up close towards rozok up and around right, let's school be area clear. got the fire i only do push-ups for their kills okay if they get that check out i want to push up a little bit of well, it seems like even if I promise you guys I will do push up, I won't be able to achieve those. Plays that could be having their way through with influence ten push -ups. Rage hanging in the wing. And a plus two yeah, push ups for kills. Rage is going to be trying to make their move here towards maybe just Naya, as they're used to go be going there, but they're going to have to be careful. But you know what? We're going to be looking at Smoke Gaming. This is a team that I was kind of talking about. They had such a great day one in regards to those three matches where they were actually able to perform really well. And then a bit of a drop off, a bit of an inconsistency there out of this team. There are what now? I think it's how many not, teams are qualifying in the finals from behind Berlin? Team Falcons, but they need uh, to start okay. doing more. And this is when they were able to turn it up yesterday. Hopefully, this is when they're going to be able to turn it up today as well. And for Team Liquid, I'm hoping that with Bro, this circle that we're up the working with, they're going to be able to load as fast as possible place in my chat. and try to position themselves a little bit closer towards who that bridge. So if they do is end up having to make that bridge. Oh, they are now have all this scouting done. They know if they're going to be getting bridge camp and they're going to be able to try to make a push if the circle does end up going north. Yeah, I think in a zone like this, information is going to be key because the teams aren't that all that concerned about getting themselves into the zone as we already do have quite a big portion of those teams well positioned. No, I, I think didn't. a zone like this allows the teams to really play out strategies, right? They can start looking, start hunting the, if there's a particular yeah, team a that they want to try and maybe focus on. So I'm curious to see how the play is going to unfold here. But I mean, we see Influence also now venturing all the way up in towards, no, uh, in towards Yasnaya. Where we then have the sweating, players here from Hura also getting themselves situated. So I think there's going to be a little bit of a step up, right? As soon as these teams feel comfortable here, Seven, I, I think they got to get cooking. <sighs> yeah, and Hura needs to be careful too because Influence Rage, we were talking about it, they do tend to be that aggressive team. They could try to make that push towards them if they do see an angle. And one thing that we're Sixth not seeing place. right now on the screen, at least when we're looking at those teams, is we that they more. did have Federal just kind of going towards the north a little <clears> bit on, <throat> on his own. And he could always end up getting some off angle on Hura if that fight was to happen. Now we have next Ruya in Old Glory Gaming. This was a team I was talking about here. We really haven't been able to see I think much. overall, we have Maybe to be overall this could be the chance. But with next Ruya, see we so can that possibly we can surprise him because on we're sitting out here. tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be excited as well because NHP is not playing and other two teams are playing. Because uh, the then, rest of the squad. You do have them over towards the west. That's so just, you know, if, uh, watch and pray. Does decide to do anything. They better hope that they are 
an absolute stealth master getting that play coming on forward. Hope but these, I, I hope these two matches really Glory Gaming. I mean, they did start gave them up those engines the confidence in the previous match. Confidence. So I want to see but I don't a little want, bit I don't more want them of that to be developing out onto the field. Things. And of course, being because about we developing, do see them it's going to be the over Xavier now looking things. to develop their position Yesterday. as they're heading up and opening Which cost of them like the whole day. DX securing trying to keep an eye on there on all Glory Gaming and DX with them being able to actually rotate this fast. It's nice to see. Remember, they usually a team that likes to take a little bit more time in Pochinki with those uh, all those hot drops that we saw yesterday. They haven't been happening today. They're trying to take advantage of it. They didn't work. They really weren't able to do it in that last match with only being able to get just two Crazy elimination points. Crazy how Falcon points. still had one first place, bro. They were consistent. position themselves a AF. little bit as next Ruya is hopefully and seeing kill, if they can maybe a get lot an of angle people. on uh, Old Glory Gaming, but Old Glory Gaming is absolutely gone. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> fast reaction. I don't know how to do that. will need to be coming through Can here. Barely uh, I'm hear also looking you, all the way up towards better? the edge. And the, I'm uh, turning side, down the caster voice a little bit. Zebra Master Squad, as well as uh, in hyper is hyping today. It's more like she finds hyping today with all the push-ups. I'm curious as to what their rotation is gonna be leading back in towards the zone. But one thing that we don't have to worry about is gonna be what Smoke Gaming will be getting up Where is to. Oh, what a sh oh there. my God, what a shot! We're getting ready, popping away over onto the side there, Alfarajan. Oh, oh, DX. DX. being able to find themselves once again down a player early on, and this is the second time in a row that this happens. And Perigen is gonna get sent back to the line. Oh, God, feeling says in this gonna go over the final gaming. And now DX, uh, I don't, I don't want to advantage once again. I don't want to just only being able to fight with three players. Say anything to, to change. I don't want to cast the all. on doing as Smoke is going to be able to confirm that elimination. And on top of that, Ludeman, on top of that, look at Smoke on the elimination feed. They're taking shots on Team Kessel. They're taking shots on anybody that gives them a chance to possibly turn them into elimination point. I honestly think that we've not seen <clears> everything <throat> that Smoke Gaming can bring onto the battlefield here. I mean. They are holding she don't up become a bodybuilder. Well I just want to lose so battle on my belly. That's it. Game number three could provide quite a bit of a turning point for them. As you can see, Team Queso. I think it takes it takes a lot of time even to, more pressure, uh, to maintain. But it is your, now uh, going to be the death balls knocking at the door you have to here. Go to often, see you whether know. not. Uh, have can actually get themselves out of the sticky spot because I don't know. For those of you don't know, I already lost a round. Backup, so it is gonna be, ooh, Six KG. An unfortunate anger, Death Wolves. During the past month. Death Wolves finding him there with his pants down as none oh, of sorry, his team guys. was nearby. Remember, they were currently taking fights with DX, with Team Kessel. They, was, they were definitely split around. Death Wolves, though, being able to confirm that quick elimination. And now Smoke Gaming, look how far away they were. Yeah, they weren't really gonna be able to do much. But you know what? They're just going to be taking some shots. They currently have two eliminations to their name and seeing what they're going to be able to do there towards the end. And Team Kessel, you were mentioning them earlier as well. They're going to end up backing off and trying to see if they can reposition themselves. Next, Ruya, we'll be talking about all these bridge camps. Guess what? Team Liquid decided to move a little bit faster instead of the east Here, you want this time. Away? They're going to be going towards the west. And one player is going to be making it through, forcing Next, Ruya Frozen to back off. And go up Cut off his little 70, lighthouse and see like if he can maybe find points. somebody else from Team Liquid whenever they do end up making that push. Yeah, but now the the, the, the element of surprise is. And if you need an emergency pickup in a bow. <laughs> here, as you can see the rest of Team Liquid but... trying to see if they can maybe find a different way through. But the interesting thing here is the zone has not yet committed to either the north or the south. So I think Team Liquid trying to assess as the zone. Oh my god, I hate this zone. Centering up beautifully between the we have no and entry course, at all island. So if the zone goes south the bridges are going to be quite essential <clears> because <throat> i think a lot of the teams that don't want to get caught up in the chaos erupting on that southern coastline of the main island are going to be opting for the bridges yeah for a team that right now is the only one towards the south team liquid with having three players still in the military this is island, a super bad zone for set themselves up here for green is as cordozin from Ooh. team liquid is trying to find a way back now to his team there we go. Next, Rhea taking some shots to Vampire Esports. Vampire Esports might need to be careful because they're going to end up getting surprised by Team Liquid, which is currently set up on the other side of this bridge. Next, Rhea. Oh, NHP is right behind. Pass by, and they're currently setting themselves I'm up here to cause a lot of damage. Yeah, next, Rhea essentially just softening players up for Team Liquid. To work I think the best path for them is trying to try not get some feed. kill points before they, go to the, before they go for the Chief zone. Now. Spots you can't really prioritize your rotation here because you never know the zone, if the zone goes south or north. Going all so, the right here, 
So try to secure as many kills as possible. Here. Team Liquid now just need to try and lock oh, and it in. I mean, Team at Liquid least if they are able to alleviate Tony K, that will open up oh. quite a bit of an opportunity now for Team Liquid to no. turn into the rest. But meanwhile, next Ruya 7, they are getting pushed by N, uh, by N Hyper. Yeah, next Ruya finding themselves there in a now particular position, as you mentioned it. N Hyper is trying to play make Play slow, decision. play slow. You don't need to rush to get though. the player. The are gonna be coming Stop, the play slow. If they can maybe... Find that player on the roof by surprise, but they need to be careful because other players from the next Ria are going to be moving up. There you go, oh! with switch up. Stars ends up getting knocked. This I swear, and now he's like an HP worse Hyper than Nightmare. decided to go for this push, and it's currently backfiring as next Ria is going to be able to reposition. No! Now, there you go. Just like that, you can have the highs, you can have the downs, and right now for this match and Hyper, is gonna be going home with only one point. No one's covered it. No, oh, while better is nading, no one's covering down. the roof. And that's a very bad teamwork yeah. from NHP. But there's still quite a bit of congestion. They only secured one kill. The edges of these are even looking at same. Bye bye, NHP. Back, back to the lobby. Go, go back and rethink. Is gonna be trying to just establish a little the bit of a for the next three games. I like the fact that we do see fire flux just up to the woods north of them as well. So there's always. So many angles that you need to be super cautious of, but up comes Ayala doing some Ayala things as they do secure another elimination. That's team. I appreciate the crash. Sitting on two points out. But the teamwork sucks. Are they going to be able to secure even more? Because I mean, looking at these bridges, right? Everybody over on the western side, they know they're gonna have to push across. Totally some communication way, issues. Shape, <clears throat> They are in Team Liquid right now, setting themselves up perfectly for this kind of pushes from the other teams. I mean, we saw them being able to eliminate two players from Vampire Esports, and you couldn't ask oh, for anything wow. better. The, the even if, less stronger you can make those teams, even if they win the a fight, at the end of the day, that they won't be able to cross for you if you but are able it's to better to get those kills on to NR. Off. Next Ruya, this is the second time there. NR wiped on. Next Ruya NHP. is going to have to end up making a move here, as it it did end up working out for them. They currently have five elim eliminations. Yeah, no cover game, for them, like the player either. Find a way to I think the problem right now is because Caprizi doesn't can really speak English that well, which at this point, and he can't really understand it. So, the but Caprizi is definitely the like the yeah, one of the better. I definitely agree with you. The South, just like, looking you know, young at players the that we with have like really good gun map, skills, right? but like communication is like uh, one of the things that the wiser these kind of issues well showed up. When you're in like some crucial moments like that, when it comes to team fights. All the way through. So like, there are definitely communication issues. Or the next Ruya now just getting himself prepped up. Looking to see <clears> how they're going to push on forward here. Okay, two, I mean, two the biggest ups. fight here is going to be with kill. the big bad blue zone, right? It is just slowly chucking away at those HP bars. But, I mean, the rest of the lobby, everyone is now playing a very, very kind of indecisive strategy at this point. Yeah, and for Death Wolves at this point, they're going to continue to hold this angle on the bridge. There's going to be just one player that we can see there from Team Kessel trying to figure out where those Death Wolf players are going to be hiding. But at some point, Death Wolves is going to have to disengage. They're going to have to focus a little bit more towards the other the other circles the later of the game because at this point they're going to be putting themselves at a disadvantage especially once everybody makes it through with smoke and now we have other teams swimming across as well well swim will only help for so long at least they are playing better than yesterday towards that eastern bridge finding a bit of an angle over into team queso here set a push but up we still have yeah. Hora also having to make that move right are they gonna try and push on through are they gonna maybe go into the drink try have a bit of a swim we got fire flux the next rear all the way over on towards the western front now starting to get things rolling here as they do start approaching bridges dx feeling the heat right on that southern beach line and up comes hura are they gonna maybe so steal i the think after pmgo what will the play be he burst again with a we'll lineup and see death wall they definitely need to play shots there they definitely need to improve their communications we'll force player, but now death wolves is getting a little bit more patient to here speak as english he needs to make sure really. he doesn't expose himself sam goes for that would be an easy knock FS. there for who are esports and who are esports fs can't understand english perfectly but they know that players are behind when it comes to giving out comms that's it's good for spot. them, and they could possibly end up making this push by Hurray Esports a little bit harder, as now Hurray Esports are going to have to start watching their back. Well, the blue is going to kick up a notch in damage as well. It does seem like Hura starting to prioritize that that bridge push, as they will need to cross on through. In the meanwhile, it's going to be Zebra Master and Foot now prepping for a little bit of a play. 
But, I mean, first, it is going to be Votus Pro. Let's see whether or not they can hold their own here. Gafuria Where's Nova? Check the ambush. description. Liquid you will have all the information about PMG. And Nova will be playing in the main I mean, event Yeah, tomorrow. sure, they, they are securely over on towards that southern island. But, I mean, like, there's so many teams that are yet to push in. The only team currently in zone is Could have kept DX, the Kindness doesn't speak English at all. And one player coming through from Team Liquid. Yeah, and Team Liquid are going to be looking to push out of that circle. But you know what? Let's focus on the fight that's currently happening here. As Virtuous Pro now has one player knocked. They were trying to I see if they were going to be able to swim across. That's not going to happen. As Zebra Masters is going to be able to knock them. Fireflux as well. One of the other teams that we had high hopes for is going to end up getting eliminated. And next, Rhea did end up backing off from that bridge. They didn't want to go across the bridge because they know Team Liquid was going to be waiting for them. <laughs> and instead, they are going to be going for the other play, which is just start swimming and keep on swimming until you touch land. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that Dory move having to come through here. But I think especially with the Zora now shifting down on towards that southern island, whoever gets a strong position close to the bridge, should be dead? Yeah. you know, with some decent coverage, they're going to like, uh, clear the soul smiling, right? They're just going to be compound. farming those eliminations because we've got so many teams now <laughs> Not only trying to swim across the way, but also just going for a, a slightly exposed position on towards that southern island. And here we go. Death Wolves finally decided to push out of that bridge towards the east and now starting to focus a little bit more here towards military apartments as well. Hura, though. Hura, that was a team that I was wondering how they were going to be able to make it across. And they do end up making it across at least with one player that I'm <coughs> only seeing. So Doctor Strange with the other prediction. Masters Next match going to be mid. Up the last two matches will be favorite. Land land to try to make it Let's across see. as well by swimming. They need to be careful, though, because Virtuous Pro has now made it through. And then on top of that, but it's going to be... One minute up, one minute down. Virtuous Pro. Look, this is exactly <laughs> what's going to happen. You're going to have to start <clears throat> dancing that salsa. You're going to have to start hitting them with that two-step. Because as soon as you step on that land, as soon as you step on that sand, uh, everybody's just going to be looking at you. <laughs> oh, that's not the kind of dancing I think they were hoping to do here. But in the meanwhile, oh. it's going to be Death Wolves. Whoa. Getting a Where's the support one, two, from D Dub? Two. Malik now having to try and pick up the Where are the support from D Dub sure players? Or not Malik is gonna be able to Dude, literally about one way three horror. Time. Like his player are still in like anticipation, but up comes the death wall. and run. We did see them being capable of bringing backing in quite a bit of that heat and the nades now starting to come in as well. Meanwhile, hurrah. Trying to take as much of a spread here, to bro. You watched her face, and then they should be died. The potential loss yeah. of the players here. Yeah, and Dead Wolves <laughs> making that push, stopping the revive there from Hura, and now Smoke Gaming. We we're talking about them earlier. This is usually when they tend to shine. They are gonna be set. They're gonna be able to take some shots on anybody that's gonna be swimming across, and they're looking to just get those easy points. They see foot. They're gonna start shooting at them. Zebra Masters finally makes it across too, and they're starting to take some of the players. Wait, use there DBS nowadays? So it's just some players' per per preference. Them, Most of the players do use DBS. Now I feel like. DX, we switch over to DX. They're gonna be chilling. I can't tell exactly how many players they are right there. Only just one, so it's gonna be a tough ass for them. Next, we are eliminated as well. And Zebra Masters. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, you're going to have to go from the aggressors on land to make that swim. But then once you get back to land, it is going to be tough. And I mean tough for them to be able to even survive this. And now iPhone lower side button. To see some of the Touchy shooting PUBG, bro. Well Any solution? The beach you know what? I, I learned this from my PMGC journey. You should have been with get a, your teammate. Get a black tape. Towards the high ground. And you put it have to push this. And now at your phone's corners reset, on the gonna, screen. It's gonna cost, and that will prevent touchy them. And you can use. Yeah, and also looking at the smoke gaming we can see use your phone to play games without a case. Side here of Zebra Master. I mean Zebra Smoke now in contention for the most Elims. As a must says, thank you so much. We'll just take that one in Does all feel matter? But no, doesn't really matter. Getting themselves All the players, the reason why they're wearing the a crystal bandit set here. because this is often the set that the official allows for PUBG Mobile competitive. So because last year in PMGC, we were also using a this lot of the focus, set. Though, from a lot of the other teams, right? The remaining <coughs> teams that we have here, five of them, is going to be over towards the eastern front. So, you never knew that? Thanks, Chiban. I mean, Great. Xavier, Obviously, you didn't check uh, my vlog video. Death Wolves, they're going to be having an <laughs> exciting time looking to defend their position in zone. And the Team MJ Liquid Elims, finally yeah. doing what I wanted them to do, which is fin finally being able to go back towards the mountain. They definitely get away with it a little bit there as we're looking at Rumul Solon. 
and he's gonna be I'd rather these top teams get as many kills as possible see if anybody is gonna be on the lookout instead of like I'm teams at the bottom you know on this you step past if I, smoke I gaming can you know get this chicken from influence right instead now, of like for example team liquid getting eliminated early and i might have missed that because that's a team that we're definitely looking forward to seeing how they're gonna be able to watch everything now that we're in the <laughs> game of the day. okay okay i i didn't mention it in my vlog video and like you can put the black tape magic you can use that to prevent touch issues because often the reason why for the touch you use because often when Let's we're playing the pawn of our like those plays. often touch no. touches the phone screen and that will Putting cause touch issues so if you use a black tape that will the block the touch point to between the phone screen moves. and your pawn but Malik so that works so realizing rather that they need to get out of that little shack because it is going to be an absolute bombardment but now the danger comes right moving out of the shack yes you might be able to evade smoke gaming but you're opening yourself up to insanity just on the opposite end doesn't seem like insanity has spotted oh, those angles just yet nice. but here we go clean up as Miyaki comes in, gets the play, gets the spray, and that is it. We are down. Is there any chance for an HP to make it top eight? They, they have to get a chicken if they want to make it top eight. And insanity, they are pretty focused in on the death wolves. Yeah, and great push there at Smoke Gaming, being able to cover that player from Hura. As now we're going to be switching over to Insanity. Death Walls, you were mentioning, we, they you have said that in the vlog. Yeah, I did. For, for the longest time You're too poor, you can't afford the tape. Like, that's literally the cheapest method right I found now, for you guys. Be seeing Before, I recommend you guys get a phone a case or, you know, get a desk fan. Or, you know, cut a hole, cut a big hole with your, like, on your case, you know. But now, all you need is a bare phone. As the and some black is going to be closing in, and who is it going to be going to? You can see everybody. No, Team Liquid wins this. Now Team Liquid is going to have they to can't control the whole west side. I wonder themselves. if they're going to be trying to make a push here to play this correctly. And DX, which they well, the I believe. Only player they have nothing in their building. team. It's look, it's looking around. It's waiting to see Three if more matches for to approach that building and hoping that he's able to clutch it up because he's the only one alive for that team. <laughs> wow, Team Liquid a, with nine kills. It is That's such already a challenging decision, but Smoke Gaming. More. Well, for them it seems easy as they just fl find play after play in. You already got more points than HP now. Away and down to four we go, but I'm looking at Death Wolves. We got them on that beautiful ridge. I, I think they're going to be looking to hold onto the high ground. Team Liquid, though, abandoning the tranquility that we had over on towards the west as they start to move on up, just getting themselves in a bit of a 2 2 split, leaving Ayala and one of the other teammates all the way over onto that far side. Of course, it is Ayala and Chief, but for how much longer are they going to be holding such a spread? I mean, Levis still alive and kicking, right? DX. Still having some presence in this match, but I think it's gonna ride on Smoke Gaming and the Death Wolves to really lock it down. It is, but they're gonna have to worry about Team Liquid because Team Liquid still has all the four players standing. Smoke Gaming now is starting to slow down after they were able to take care of the players there from Insanity Sports. And the player we were talking about, the DX player, that's the only one alive, stopping Team Liquid from taking over this compound. You were mentioning Death Wolves. Keeping that high ground, they're going to continue to stay there. There is one player in a vehicle. I wonder if he's going to try to make some kind of a weird push and hopefully get an off angle on them. But right now, it's going to be a bit of a stalemate trying to see where everybody's at, trying to find those off angles. And that's exactly what Death Wolves is going to do. is also a Pokemon Mobile Esports mod. You, have to, you gotta do your job. How did you get I mean, a mod on the uh, Pokemon Mobile Esports Death channel, Neptara? They said, right? That's it. Were you just like hang, out there, just hanging in the chat for longer? Everything that or something? moves around them. But you can see Godothan not satisfied with not being able to get up into that compound, trying to get the breach going. Your touch issue is Smoke caused gaming. by your thumb sleeve? Your sleeve is super old? Get, yeah. Like finger sleeves are consumer boats. Well, at the same time, you can't use finger sleeves for right? years. Eyes on the hills, to see get a new one. Get a pair of new ones. So we do find ourselves in a bit of a standoff, I believe, here, Seven. Yeah, and I think this is how it's going to play out there for a bit, unless a team finds an opening. I don't see Team Liquid. To oh, Team Liquid, Cardoso, and you're thinking about it? Don't tease me like that. I thought he was going to be a madman and try to go for that push into the building. But Razor, you We've been talking about it. Death everything is very huh? close by, and I think they had Team Liquid might end nice, yeah, up committing to this as the nades are going to be coming know. through. The smokes are going to be coming through as well. Team Liquid 
currently not comfortable where they're standing and if they are gonna make a push they need to make up their mind because they're gonna start getting spotted there by smoke gaming that standoff it stops as one of the players from team liquid ends up getting knocked well now it is gonna be go time death wolves just waiting for that zone to pop we got few more brief seconds left on the clock <laughs> But Smoke Gaming now looking to big brain the heck out of this position. The zone is going to be shifting in favor of Team Liquid. But looking at what we've been seeing so far, right? Death Wolves, Smoke Gaming, now they are going to spring into action. And I'm expecting them to just rush and just try and overpower their position into this next phase. They need to make something happen here because Death Wolves, they're taking advantage of all of this commotion going on here because they're having two oh, players. Oh, DX a solo player. And get those off angles. Wow. DX, the only player what a hard the tournament for DX. Live from his team trying to clutch up those extra points. They're currently sitting at zero eliminations for this match. And boy, this is a team that definitely, definitely needs any points that they can get. Levi getting a oh, little bit of a knock. Now, getting on closer Levi's. towards that door. Seeing if we can maybe get somebody with that TPP. If he peeks angle. out not gonna be able to spot anybody just yet meanwhile death wolves just taking advantage of all of this they're just chilling Brazilian right teams are good gaming. yeah one of the players does end up getting as i said one of the strongest in the region can mythic end up confirming this into elimination point i mean it's looking good though team liquid picking up some much much needed points so far this is the best game that they've had you're in having here such today. a hard time getting used to so 90 fps you will get used to it eventually i'm sure looking to push the envelope now still smoke gaming Trying to find the appropriate way, the appropriate angle to get themselves positioned. Oh. Malik. Oh, my got by zone. Miyaki. Oh, <laughs> they're getting uh, quite a bit of that HP ripped away from them. But up comes the Death Wolves. This is their opportunity to shine. As you can see, the rotations now heading along that southern side, going in a bit of a clockwise rotation. And this could really open up the place for them, especially over on towards this Team This is Liquid. really Team Lucas game. I believe it is going to end up opening up because they're just going to continue to wrap around and see if they can possibly find somebody out in the open from Team Liquid. Team Liquid now starting to eliminate some players there. Finally getting that elimination on this mode gaming player. The DX player is still alive. And you got Death Wolves. Looking to see if they can possibly spot somebody, but they need to be careful because guess what? Team Liquid does have three players up on top of that mountain, but they still have Chief trying to get that off angle. Here comes the push by Smoke Gaming. Myth is going to be making that push. He's going to oh. get the shots and beautiful play. Wow. By what Smoke a clutch. Gaming Myth as he's able meth. to destroy the player from DX inside the building. He's going to have to heal up and he's going to have to refocus as now everything is starting to let loose. Death Wolf is starting to get some angles. And meanwhile, Chief, the only player that was towards the bottom of of that of that mountain trying to see if he can help us nhp team. we got uh well let's see how currently this one six is gonna go the but after this will be i don't know nine of a showdown cardozen is still gonna be holding nice and steady on high team liquid it looks like this one could be turning in their favor but we've seen what death wolves can do if they decide to strike so I like the play here though, right? Both squads going for a 1-2-1-3 one, one, split, so it allows them quite a bit of flexibility. But now it comes the push, moving in here, obscure. Having his vision obscured with the smokes getting brought down here by Chief. A nice little bit of a distraction. But once that first hit, that first play is made, there could be a roll-up opportunity here for the Death Wolves. But of course, you still gotta watch that heal side. So, yeah, Death Wolves. Definitely doesn't needs to try and not overextend the reach at this point. Yeah, it's not gonna be an easy finish here. The thing that they do have going for them for Team Liquid is they do have a numbers advantage, and with Chief being down there, On the he's roof? still within the circle. Yes, which is something that Death Wolves can't say for the person that was holding that off angle for them. He's not within the circle anymore right now. Chief not really gonna be able to do much as he does have to end up laying down. The smokes are gonna be coming through for some of the players there from Death Wolves. I'm hoping and I'm wondering if maybe Chief is gonna be able to spot that player. Oh, he, he is gonna be able to spot him, and here comes the shots. If they can get this knock, oh. it's gonna be massive because it's gonna a little bit up and now it's going to become a 4v2 great stuff there from chief and also his team being able to relay the information we see somebody running make sure you knock him they do just that and he turns into a 4v2 and well speed about 2v4 it is about to be stage number nine right so no more shifts only blue it's all going to come down to this team liquid now definitely looking to capitalize on the opportunity they have at hand 
But let's see whether or not the death rules can maybe make a little bit of something happening here. Ooh, with how early NHP dying, this, feel, this game feels super long. Is it? Is, is it? Powerful. It is going to be a full on push. Team Liquid, they want to get that winner with a chicken dinner in hand. It is going to be a full stand as they wow. run the Wow. Team Liquid, and that is Liquid just passed an NHP the on the overall ranking. Chicken dinner. Way too much for that last player there from Death Wolves. Team Liquid, this is more like the team that we've been wanting to see. Getting those 13 el eliminations, 2100 damage. And as you were mentioning, it, it, whenever there was the top four, it was going to end up being one of their best matches. Well, guess what? They were like, you, we're going to cement it as our best match so far here in the PMGO with that chicken dinner. And that should help them out. Push up on the leaderboard because, man, this is exactly what we've been wanting to see out of these teams that are in Group B. 100%. This was a huge, huge chicken dinner for Group B in general. I mean, Team Liquid needed these points desperately, and they got them. My question, though, is, is that is it too late? Is it too late? I had to put my glasses on and stare at the leaderboards, do the math, because, whew, I mean, they still have a lot of points to get, at least in my opinion. 21 points? I mean, they're not going to be mad at it. And now is the time, right? Halfway point through the day, they're still going to have three more matches. One more. Science for a No, I'm just watching a team and see. A top three situation. Because now they're... the fragging powers there, DK. They need to oh. start showing it, though. They need to do exactly what they were able to do in this last Veteran game. Veteran was which, overextended. I'm, I'm put a bit of a, of like, a mark there on this side. Because the initial player up, was still in the driving. Veteran was not was exposing himself. The mountains, then then give all the free knocks. To be honest, Veteran knows better, I feel like. I mean, it was a close, close call here, but yeah, you're going to have to see a copy, paste, rinse, repeat play. And I think that's the beauty of having yet another Aaron Gale coming up next, right? It would allow for exactly that kind of strategy to be optimized on. But I got to say, though, I like the flow, right? The teams um, not having such a tough time really getting over on towards that southern island. And once they were there, it was just go, go, go. So, yeah, I got to say big ups. Team Liquid, they just flowed so nicely. 100%. The 13 eliminations. Yeah, this is Loop's lineup. And that chicken dinner is going to be huge. And so Smoke Gaming, so consistent here, Seven. I mean, I really love to see how they've been playing. They've just been putting up points on the board constantly. Zebra Master as well, uh, doing some good points. Um, doing some good points as well. Yeah, Smoke Gaming for them. I mean, it's going to continue on to the pattern, right? The good thing is that they were able to break the pattern from yesterday a little bit sooner. They ended up the previous match. I mean, five, fifth place, seven points. And then on this one, they're able to end up within the top five again and being able to back it up with Illums. I know if we were to interview Kunha, he's going to be like, wait, this is more like we want to see. This is how we're going to be keeping it. Virtuous Pro, you were wondering what they were going to be doing. Well, there's going to be gone. And then Team Queso, not looking good there for the new roster of Team Queso. Well, let's go ahead and take it on over to Carol Bombshell for an interview. And I'm happy to have here Michiki, the player from Team Liquid. Congrats on this last chicken dinner. And I want to know what it were the biggest challenge you faced during the matches yesterday. Quais foram os maiores desafios que vocês encontraram nos uh, nas partidas de ontem? Acho que foi se posicionar bem na safe e tal. A gente estava se fudendo muito com a risco, morrendo muito, foi mal. Ah. E acho que foi mais isso, em questão de bala a gente tá muito bem sempre. É só mais se posicionar melhor e tal para conseguir Is it? se destacar nas partidas e ganhar elas. They need to do to do now a better game to fit uh, in the late stages of the Method, game. Sexy they need boy. To get a better positions and they need to set Sorry, a guys. better strategy to finally uh, qualify for the main event the next week and that's exactly what I'm going to ask them what kind of the strategy they are going to set today uh, because they are running out of time quais são as estratégias que vocês vão ter agora para as próximas partidas já que o tempo está ficando curto para que vocês consigam se classificar para a semana que vem Acho que a estratégia é só não vai mudar muita coisa, só a gente se posicionar melhor, ter a cabeça melhor para pegar as posições. Porque igual eu falei, em questão de base, Is Horror Esports a, impor ele, a signed team? Vai dar muito bom, sempre Do they have an organization? Kill, e se não ganhar, a gente sempre Horror vai Esports. Kills, porque o nosso jogo é esse, a gente não vai mudar, só vai aprimorar ele para conseguir pegar a classificação no top 8 para a final. Perfect. They, uh, he said they just needed to adjust some things because they are a very aggressive team. So they probably just needed to, to get done uh, things like uh, position, 
sense in the maps and, for example, to talk better, to have a better communication with their team players and everything, for sure we go well and they will qualify for the main event next week. Thanks so much for the interview. Muito obrigado pela entrevista e boa sorte nas próximas partidas. Obrigado pela boa sorte. Vamos para cima hoje e é isso. Go Liquid. You heard it from the man himself. I love the fact that, you know, we talked about it. You know, he's so excited, of course, for a great game. You can just see it, though, in his eyes. You can hear it in his voice. He's like, we need more. We need more points. We want to qualify. We want to make sure that we make it to that main event here, DK. I mean, Team Liquid, it, it seems like they've thawed now, right? The ice has been sh shaken off. They're getting ready. They're approaching that flow state. And I think we could maybe have an insane play coming in the next few matches from them. I think so, too. I mean, you heard it there, Seven. He was talking about how much they needed to start playing aggressive. And we finally saw that aggression there as we take a look at the top five players. Ayala on top. Yeah, start playing aggressive, but... You know, <laughs> smart, aggressive, maybe. Because <laughs> I was saying it was a bit of a question mark there when it was just one player standing and then the other two were knocked and they were nowhere near. They decided to give their advantageous position. Maybe they got a little bit too high pop from seeing uh, that last Miramar match the from bowl yesterday. Of, uh, Team Fox being in. able to do that. Uh, it, let, let's not oh, get ahead Ayala of ourselves. The MVP, work. Ayala, no surprise there. Five eliminations to his name, 962 damage. Ayala. We're talking about... Players Play being able to get more damage than some of these teams. Has been I, I around the comp scene for like five years. One of those performances. <sighs> By far, let's take a look at some of his highlights here. On the bridge, throwing those nades, putting in some work against Tony K himself. Why is Loops in this done. lobby? You know what, because they are one of the partnership team got kind of invited by Tennis and just you know, like NHB. Squad. And that's what they got right there as we take a look oh, at NHB the overall place. standings. And finally... We see Team three Falcons games are crucial. get passed up by Smoke Gaming three games. themselves. Only problem is, you know, Team Falcons going to have six more games Like the tomorrow. second game and set. first game is great, but... <laughs> I was like, let me borrow them glasses. Uh, we don't have exactly. much. Exactly. I'm looking at, it might, Any more games left. Right? <laughs> yeah, you they're know. still going to have so much to work with. And now we're going to be looking at some of those other teams, right? DX, Loops, Tag was in motion. This is teams that True. are not going to be playing tomorrow that need to have that proactiveness Forget they need to do something and another team that i kind of yeah. wanted to mention as well is vampire esports we haven't really seen much of vampire esports ever since their win in sandhawk i, I don't want to say it's a one off because it's way too early for vampire esports but i do want to start seeing a little bit more out of vampire esports i want to start seeing more eliminations i want to start seeing more stuff out of them as we're going to be going into the last erin go oof three more matches left to go and that is going to be for the tournament for group b this is it three games left and uh for tino t squads <coughs> empire like struggling and hyper and they want to struggle oh, they honestly i'm gonna say this already it is not looking good for d xavier struggling and at this point i'm already starting to call yesterday. them out at this i mean because d xavier how, haven't how, really how, shown how us many points yeah, they got yesterday here and there, but we, had, we haven't seen that pop-off game that they just really, really need, DK. Yeah, I think if you're not comfortably situated up in towards Add at more least, I'd to say, like, top play five, <laughs> top four, <laughs> come day. end of day, and you're in Group B, that's your ticket, right? Because, I mean, tomorrow the teams are going to come back with a vengeance. They're going to be climbing that yeah. ladder. They're going to try to get themselves up into the top eight. The so there's a big the opportunity team. for points to get acquired really forward in these last few matches. The round, but it's going to be like tough. 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm honestly going to say top four. I really think you need to be in the top we four. We did like uh, really two safely if you want to stand a chance. Because it is just review. not looking good. Guys, remember You're the treasure lies where the fun begins. The sixth anniversary is out now. Go check out Inside Game and go check out that version 3.1. You're going to love it. The new mode is amazing. Test, it's honestly test. one of the most fun ones I've played in a while. Test. Seven. It is. Okay. It is. I, I still need to get some stuff down with the portal and stuff. I keep messing it up. Oh, man, dude. It's so crazy. I was playing with some squads that have it down. And it's just crazy the utility. They're out here teleporting. If Ayala can play for five years, why can't you? You're the most like, experienced player in NHB. Why didn't you go with the team? First of all, I didn't have my visa in time. You know, really take I didn't get my visa in time. And second, spark of joy when I'm, I saw it I'm much older than Ayala. Match. You know, you said it. You heard there from yeah, Ayala is probably twenty three. Has a bad maybe. game on the next one. So come I'm on. I'm literally you know, like so much older than him. From getting into that top four, 
Um, but at the same time, and also I have fourth place is fifty nine points and hyper. The responsibility of like managing the team and also that's a twelve point doing the content creation for my channel. <laughs> So day I don't, you know, I don't now. have a lot of time. Now, seven. And yeah, competitive that, takes like all the other teams that are towards the top. A lot more of times, likely they're gonna continue to get points. You're like 26. Yep, yeah, definitely. We'll no, have to continue to try and get as I'm many older points. Than but you know, while we're on the point, of course, we gotta give a big shout out to the Realme 12 Pro Plus, which elevates your photography experience. This with match energy was kind of unlucky. I wouldn't call it unlucky. I would call it performance in games better. So I feel like personally, better than being over. Aggressive again, How again. To be a portrait master. Like the easiest the way to win that is not to is not to take the guy on the roof. Like you know, it's not to like not knock the guy on the roof like instead. Instead, they should play patient. If their teammates trying to support the guy on the roof. Yeah, and that will open opportunities for NFP. But if they rush and try to, you know, get the guy on the first, like the, the roof knocked, they can't get knocked unless his teammates will be surrounding them. They, they should literally use the player on the roof as a bait so that bait for his teammates to support him and to kill the guy who coming support and fix the guy on the top of the roof. And we are back, baby. Just like that. We got more to talk I'm about 34. here. I'm not 34. 34 is much older. Wrapping up because we're now reaching the second half of the day, Seven. All right. So it's time to put on those uh, the calculator. And if you beat them, NR, right? I mean, Which just based on the matches we saw, match? NR already I wiped the NHB teams. twice. Okay. Three teams Yesterday, they did one. Match, we need to see first, second, and third, in your opinion. First, second, and third? Yep. Okay. Zebra Masters. I would like to see them in first. Uh, yes, please. Zeb smoke Gaming. I would Zebra like to Master. see them in second. Please get as many points as possible. I'm going by what you were saying there. You want to see teams finish in the top four. Realistically, those are two teams that definitely... They've done enough, but they can definitely do more and not leave it up just to chance. They kind of make it a little bit easier for them. And, uh, Joking. 29. And yeah. I'd like to see it in Hyper. Comeback day. Let's see it. Come on. Let's see it here. But guys, we're going to be right back right after this video. Well, in a second, in a second, sorry. Yeah, in just a couple more seconds, don't worry about that. But you know what? And Hyper, let's go, baby. Comeback day, Starlight, you know, I hope he needs to get on that buggy. He needs to get on that buggy, <laughs> drive around, do a couple more donuts here, and then we'll maybe see a chicken dinner in a bit. But guess what? Now it's time for that video, baby. Let's go ahead and head it over there. We'll be right back. Eu quero enfrentar a A7, a IF e a IG por conta dos meus antigos companheiros de equipe. Queria matar eles. Ah, não é nem uma rixa, é uma brincadeirinha que nós tem. É, o Cielo, da IG, o Magalhães da A7 e o Diego da IF, que a gente gosta de ficar contando quando alguém mata, alguém tipo, se mata, entendeu? Então é por isso que eu quero encontrar eles e poder me vingar, ficar na frente da, do ranking. Bất cứ đội tuyển nào này vào khu vực thôi thì chúng tôi sẽ chào kêu rồi đấy. Em nghĩ giải viên mở lần này thì cũng là Alpha Seven là đối thủ đối thủ cạnh tranh nhất với những team. Getting a revenge? No, I don't think so. Like uh, there is a lot of really good teams in here. Otherwise they didn't, they couldn't have made it here. So I would say there is a lot of good teams. Like for example Alpha Seven, Inco, Nova, Influence. So basically, I would choose Alpha 7 as this team because we had a lot of like back history and competing against them for 2021, 2023, and 2022 Alpha. Ah, there are many good teams, Bro, you're not much older. And this year, I'm about to turn 30, bro. You tell me if I'm older or not. I E é um time muito bom de bala, é, tem boa estratégia, tem ótimos players. E é sempre um time assim que eu gosto de matar, de passar por cima, assim, porque querendo ou não são bons jogadores. E eu acho que é mais por esse motivo, porque 
I look like ATN. I wish. I wish I'm ATN, bro. If I'm ATN, I would. I'd play PUBG Mobile every single day. To be honest, and I'm still competing. Oh, you turned 30 a month ago? Congratulations, Cleon. Why are you getting married, Cleon? 30 is young, still young, bro. 30 is young, but like it's not young. As the uh, pro player standard. Ah, o recado que eu quero dar para eles é primeiramente bem-vindo ao Brasil e segundamente que quando entrar em campo não tem tempo ruim para ninguém e se trombar no meio da partida é bala para cima. And we are back. Final. Last the Rango. The day and who. Oh. You can see the look on uh, 30 is when you need to start to get your shit together <laughs> and uh it's totally understandable why because this could this could be their final most likely is going to be their Old final Messi, if i had a farm i wish so i have far. a farm at this point for a team like this it's going to need a chicken dinner for the rest of three games in the row let's see if it can happen here we've been a year and a half you'll final. get married aaron gale for group are you B. in a relationship Final Aaron Gale Didn't you, were you, were you, for weren't you looking for a Chinese TMG girlfriend Brazil, earlier in the chat? And I'm excited no? to see which teams might end up taking advantage of this. Is it going to be Smoke Gaming again? Trying to repeat what they were able to do yesterday with the chicken dinner on the final, uh, on one of the Aaron Gales, or we're we not going to be seeing the chicken dinner. Brazil or Argentina? Uh, Argen um, I, I think they got to come in. Uh, I love both, right. to be honest. Uh, they're going to be smoking it up. Uh, they're okay. Gonna be such a push but i i don't think smoke gaming is going to be the oh only team to bring it i can in. barely like, lift I'm, I'm in my arm guys that to be oh, potentially a so painful push, on my right? chest a team liquid they could be looking to maybe play a bit of an upset here as well but surprisingly enough vampires they've just been i don't know playing a little bit of a shy game it feels almost today they are and, and that's what I was hinting at earlier. I mean, oh, not, a, not, not too good. Like, not too good for NHP. Like, okay, they need to find a vehicle. E Bro. To see. Uh, but I got a little bit too hyped there. <laughs> I got a reality check that by Vampire Don't Esports. Don't engage with Anar, right right bro. Aaron Gills haven't been going Anar is a way. curse to and NHP. They're going to be landing too. So it is going to be an interesting land here for Vampire Esports. I want to see more out of them. I want to start seeing more of that 20 kills. 20 kills chicken either for Shifa. Oh, yeah, not 20 kills. Maybe maybe 5 kills chicken. Now I will be happy. I will be happy in the zone. Wow. But there has been some changes here and there. As I swear, today's Urango zone in comparison to what is nasty. Last year. Well, I mean, uh, you know, a change up is sometimes as good as a holiday, they say. So uh, I don't know if these oh, what's a, a what happened with the full send? To work, but it Vampire. Will be pretty dang soon, as we did see oh. Zorin also taking a beautiful shift. No, Sky Horror. To the northeast. Virtus Pro, though, getting the first elimination right out of the gate. Oh, that's VP. I thought it was Vampire. I confused it for a bit. For a second, it's gonna be a good Sorry, start, guys. but it might not be Their attacks good are enough as hot jokes would alike. end up saying because oh man, the way they are currently on that leaderboard. If we want to see this team within the top four, they're gonna have to just win out. They're gonna have mm -hmm. to win out the next three matches, and with the way that this team has been playing, it's just gonna be so unlikely. And then for Hura Esports, I mean the team that is 84 the the today. points so far, for smoke enough, gaming see more out of this team. they are already qualified guys. even better smoke gaming because, so yes, smoke gaming the zebra one, master falcon these three teams already the qualified matches that they're going to be playing for the prelims but then tomorrow, and now leaves five and it's five slots left as much as we would like to hype up for competition for there is going to be for competition teams that are going to be for the rest of the team least within the top eight and if there's a team that can definitely make it within the top eight, so right now, has a history of doing if that somehow NHP got wiped and early, and over it'd be better if the top Inco teams, gaming, ZM and to Smoke that. Gaming. I mean, let's hope for it that. It would be right? better because, if they, uh, if they I mean, can, Inco, you know, they, they there, right? win they it and get the most kill points in the lobby. A good little boost so that the lower through, ranked the team as we know, well, we'll have to wait know, a little while to can't see really get that many points. They're and that would be a good here. scenario. They do find I mean, the best scenario would be if you just get a chicken. A little bit all the way over in towards Yasnaya Poliana. But once again, this is on hard for NHP. It is gonna be I think they looted Watertown. They're looting Watertown. But the Watertown, the vehicles the around Watertown kind of sucks. Because that's where we've got we play the Watertown and it's fire flux. in PMTC. Not exactly hot dropping, uh, survival stage. But I think literally that 
you know, not really if they would ask off. Watertown. I think, I yeah, personally think close, the drop spot, Watertown, Myanmar, another team that is needs to take one of the of worst Urango drops. We were hoping that we we're going to see a PUBG little bit more out of DX here within this, uh, within this match, since they weren't going to be challenged that much in Pachinki. We got a chance to see a fourth place finish, but guess what? Or maybe what? the that play style for our team game? at a Watertown just doesn't Zero really fit. Elimination. So at least didn't fit me for the placement and my NHP boo, back then. For, <laughs> for the eliminations, because <laughs> that's just not going to be able to cut it, especially with some what some of the other teams are able to do. Team Liquid putting out, what was it, 13 eliminations? And then on top of that, you had Smoke Gaming. They ended up in third place, and they ended up putting up 12 eliminations on their side. So yeah. DX, if you want to get a chance, which is looking very, very unlikely, to make it to the main event in the top eight, you need to do a lot more. You need that. You're 27. You feel so much older being a software and engineer. And wow. Nice. Oh, so you're in Toronto as well. Minimum. Fifth in the you eliminations. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Because that would make for uh, not only a very impressive show, but it, as you as as you said, right. You love it's Watertown with the, the PC. Points they so desperately need. So like it's gonna be an interesting the problem like with the Watertown is those live locations if you have a center zone. I mean, uh, you need to be careful yeah, with other teams, exactly like teams is, at a school, team but, at a Rose I mean, Hawk. The meantime, Sometimes they will, the opportunity for, you know, rotate really, really fast, zone, and they can catch you, ca category like split drop player. Speaking of which, of and course, we've catch got them off guard. Also, the vehicles are not consistent. Exactly that. You can't really so get a four vehicles Diego most of the time, with and then do this shit. Hit, that DBS going a long, long way, and they might be. That's why I really hate water time drop. Yeah, and for Influence Rage, we want to see a little bit more aggressiveness. You heard Team Liquid say it. We want to be more aggressive. Who's the I youngest on here? Be careful. This is the team. Are you talking about uh, to see, I, in I the chat see or the game? Out of, out of there because I feel like been able to see there got to be some players who are just like over only have 16. 11 points. Absolutely not what I was expecting out of them, and I'm hoping they're going to be able to turn it around here on the second half Wartime's of the day. your favorite drop? And competitive is like yeah. It's a different let's story. hope that is. I mean, because we we know they they surely are a, a team that is more than capable of doing exactly that. I think it's just about finding the right moment to have that happen and getting yourself into a little bit of a situation up in Saint Zone early on in the game. I'm not quite sure if that is uh, necessarily the most ideal approach to be taking, but it does seem like they've decided against that and they've now started to just slightly back off from that play. Of course, as we move up to, I believe, heaven it is, um, Five Flux, they just going to be perched on high, just looking all over the place. But what a nice setup this is coming for coming through from foot up in towards Mansion. Now we're going to have Smoke Gaming just rolling around, trying to see where they're going to end up parking themselves. If we know something that Smoke Gaming is good at, it's pretty much parking themselves, finding a place where to hide until all the commotion starts happening. And seeing if they can end up third party in Team Kessel, a team, another team. I was talking about Influence Rage. Well, Team Kessel, that's another team that I want to see a little bit more about. We haven't seen much of them. Five oh, AGG got knocked again. Happening. And I was talking about them being aggressive. Oh, Influence AGG. Rage, we were able to see it there in the elimination feed that they are able to secure some extra elimination. I know, which is with AGG. Gaming. And here we are, making sure that they clear the lobby. Influence Rage. Oh, fair out. The fight there to Old Glory Gaming. Wow. Be just a one clean wipe. And that's it. Oh, for Gaming, INF, five kills on the game, board. We're barely able to get a chance to see him and just, pff, they're gone. Wow. That is a super AGG unfortunate two play points? for them. I mean, we've only seen them secure two in points. In four so matches? Today. One of which came through from placement. <sighs> the other one was the elimination in the previous match. So it is proving to be quite a bit of a tough day indeed. But, I mean, you were talking about... Smoke gaming earlier, right? I wouldn't say they are necessarily the team to start the fire, but sure do they love to fan the fire once it's lit, right? I mean, just hanging in the vicinity for those opportunities to strike. But now I'm going to be looking over towards uh, teams that we are yet to see rotate up in towards Zorn. Coming in from those far th southern sides, uh, there's quite a bit of vacancy on the southern side as well as over to towards the west. And I, I want to see, are they maybe going to look to contest Teams like Next Rhea or D Xavier that we have situated a little bit further up into zone. And talking about DX, it's like you just summoned them, <laughs> showcasing <laughs> there on the screen as we're seeing rotations in and out of them. And then in hyper, I'm actually seeing an in hyper too here towards the west, trying to get. We just with oh, the but here we go with the next go north. Circle, and oh my gosh, go north. What a north shift as everybody wow. 
is gonna have to be moving north and we're not right now any possible fights here as they rotate up there's still some player player ball well, area for the place if they to go, go north and that and what, there, what a shift ball. It is gonna be Hura trying to pick up. A I feel like in this PMG, the razors. zone like you can see five flux. Everybody else now starting he's so to string. roll on through insanity. Also, he's, he's so extreme. Focused at this point, but let's see Malik. Nice. Yeah, but NHP should still have an interest in the zone. Also now trying to decide play whether or not they game. should move up or maybe just hold on. But it does seem like everyone is now trying to be the first team positioned way, way up north. <laughs> Smoke. They're also gonna be hunting down Virtus Pro. They are going to be trying to hunt them down, but with Smoke, they'll they'll make the smart decision. And we're just pro. I mean, this is a team that's just not going to be able to make it with the main event unless something insane happens here. They're going to find a compound, but if I'm Smoke, if I do end up getting a knock, if I confirm that elimination and I know that it's Virtus Pro, I zone? might just take my chances. I might just go for those extra points. And earlier when we saw all those teams rotating, I was looking at her Esports and her Esports. They were like, this is our time to shine. Let's PM rain down WC as much format havoc explanation? as we can here I don't even know what, what this, the, uh, police station. Well, what's that going to be? End up getting to be some they didn't end up getting any. You think the zone were try, and they're around Yaz? The team we want to see a little bit more out of. Only uh, if it's around Yaz, then it's going to be a the last hard for the NHP to get this in. end up working out for them. Other teams will be matched faster to well, reach Yaz compared with NHP. Positioning is going to be, again, one of those absolutely essential angles. I mean, you're talking about vampires. They do have... Kamashiki and Estelber. Bro, that would be right? the so many teams are gonna try and climb up this hill like one of the rare right here now trying to do rare, rare, but let's zone. see whether or not Raze is gonna be able to make it out alive in one piece Tony K quick on the reaction there spots the play unfortunately the terrain not working out all straight for them but it's not over just yet oh vampires though you want to see those points getting secured you can TP, hear the one of the few players on shots now going off in the background Raze actually getting found out and off they go swept Finds the hit, signs it out. Reyes, just when he thought he was going to be able to make it out alive, Shweb said, no, 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 I can still kind of see you here from this angle. <laughs> and he ends up getting sent back to the lobby. Tony K with the M249, that is a scary sight right there. Especially once the circle keeps getting more and more compact. Vampire Esports being aggressive, and they actually ended up making... Uh, the ship is still better for NHP. If it has shift the south, yeah. that was just if it has shift the east, bro, winner, that's like that literally game over for NHP. Now trying to figure out how they're going to be playing this crazy zone closing in getting. five seconds. Well, let's see. NR, what's NR's ranking? Now, next Rhea, above us. Also, let's see. just trying to get the, a bit of a oh, as they move up north, but the it is a Yaz zone. <laughs> in the works, putting all the way back into Yaziya. We had the whole control in the north. What a shift, right? Because, like, everyone was getting ready now, they need to regain information in the surrounding areas. But I mean, at, the, at their Naya. south, we saw players making they gotta players play slow now. Salsa now is the map. <laughs> And all these circles making the players dance salsa. You want to go forward now? Go back. Let's go back to Yasnaya. And the team that I was looking at when we were actually looking at that map feed is... Zone good control range. This is their place. This is usually where they end up landing. They were able to rotate earlier. They were able to go back to their spot where they might be comfortable at. And this could end up being a big game for that team. As next, Rhea now trying to find this off angles. Trying to find some place to park themselves at as all of the other teams are trying to put, find themselves a good position smoke we've been seeing smoke rotate so much i kind of feel bad for them i kind of feel bad for those vehicles they might be running us out of gasoline soon because boy oh boy we've seen them all over this map today yeah we've seen them be super mobile but it does seem like they are going to be taking the plunge and rushing right into yasnaya poliana and as you mentioned right influence they're there they are part of the welcoming committee but let's see just how many pickups and how many trades they'll be able to get along the way but this is where there's a slight bit of separation starting to happen in the zone with the teams right we've got our northern teams our southern oh, that, teams i don't and, i don't i don't think I that's mean, a spot you can play foot, there right find the position that is going to work best to your play style and this is really actually playing that players Zura, they are going to be trying to play the long game right trying <coughs> to play the nuisance card right just poke and prod at every angle that they can spot up ahead they are in hura i mean we saw what they were able to do earlier with those shots they weren't able to connect with anything they are going to be down one player hydra did end up getting eliminated <coughs> earlier in the match smoke gaming finally is able to find a building that they can call at least their home those tie 
the, the tires on those cars were absolutely gone. They were like, okay, we need to make it to a safe spot. They are, and it's not that much of a safe spot as they do had Influence Rage very close by. And then a team, a player there from Insanity Sports close by as well that could end up surprising them when the gunfight does ensue. And we didn't get a chance to see it, but Virtus Pro did end up losing two players on the overall right side. Vampire Esports still with all their four players alive. They're going to be looking to rotate wow. now even more. Smoke Gaming is sitting Everybody pretty in the data center of the zone. Down. I think it's, this is the way it's going to be. The commotion happened when all the rotations were happening. Now everybody still gets 15 to teams alive. A yeah. and see where everybody no one wants to go out. out. This is literally, uh, the, the big for some teams, for group B teams, is this is literally, the they will only is have two more matches after this. Again? They got to play gonna super caution, play with caution. That southern edge. I think whichever way that the zone decides to move in the snake shift will help in determining which team has the highest probability of locking in that winner winner chicken dinner and well in fact oh. it goes neither it doesn't go north it doesn't go Zebra south Master. Instead, it leans over towards the western side so whoever's in yasnaya they're gonna be sitting pretty and it's gonna be a challenging play for the teams up towards the oh, north here don't... they are gonna be sitting pretty and i'm gonna be thinking about influence rage because they did end up Please wipe DW. A spot. meanwhile Libra. bx finding some shots there parrying and getting some knocks on death, on, on death wolves can he confirm that into an elimination he's trying to and he does end up doing it perigin now trying to spot another player there from death wolves seeing if he can connect with that one he's not gonna be able to and i was thinking about dancing i actually almost ended up calling them dancing wolves there for a bit <laughs> i'm glad i didn't as zebra monsters is also close by dx could find themselves here in a good spot virtuous pro gets eliminated and death wolves is trying to make this push here Repeat you need that. to be careful you need to do it fast with all this mode going around guess what it's not only gonna be dx vampire esports might be able to spot some of them too and they're a team that definitely needs the points awesome they should be doing she found like well, this gonna get those scopes they were doing better than yesterday Finally down, so you have the Death Wolves also now getting three that months training results side. as a team. But again, but they still make mistakes. Maybe still make a little bit of something happen. And yeah, they I still like the need fact a big that game Lux is also just chilling to on the close ridge, a gap with the top eight teams. everybody to shoot their shot, and then Lux is going to be the next one to join the party. Great opportunity there, but the trigger discipline again is going to be short. Vampire is up on the hill though, moving in alongside the squad there from D Xavier. Let's see whether or not Nuzi. Is gonna get anything to happen right here, but I have I killed mean, the so best. Rude, it's gonna close up, so these teams Wait, need are to you guys like trolling or what? It is gonna how, how are you guys in Vampire Esports there? We, even though they were have the info the like in the future, there against DX, they do end up losing a player. And here comes the push. Zebra Masters is gonna get spotted. Can they actually turn this into a knock? And they need to because they're just letting Zebra Masters pass by. Firefox, huh? what are you doing here? We Ooh. need to start getting some nice. Oh, Firefox is going to be wow. finding themselves in a particular position. As he turns around, there you go. One knock goes towards the way of Firefox. Zebra Masters having like, to jump out of this vehicle, figuring out if they want to take this fight. Zebra and Masters are this fight. really? They have the grenades. Now is the time to take them. Oh, one Zebra of them Masters knocked. getting knocked. And here comes the name from Firefox as well. Oh, that was here just too go. many teams. Oh. Beautiful vehicle explosion to close Where is the now? door in their face. And that is it. Right down to 13 teams we go. Zero Master now having to settle with just that elimination point to carry them forward. Five Flux now going to be feeling quite a bit of heat as the Death Wolves. Are you guys, they you guys mean my blood. stream is they delayed? Oh, are they using they the cable car? The Vampire? Right then and there. <laughs> what? The player. Wait, <laughs> what the I'm hell? I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Vampire Esports That's... here. This could possibly be That's illegal, bro. Those little trains be used. That's that's the illegal it, it, they need to be <laughs> careful though because as soon as they go down as soon as they land that's right Influence dude was gonna be waiting for them luckily for vampire <laughs> that to is illegal time and not get shot that's my first anybody. time seeing this oh, cable car being used the, the, the joyride oh fairy i was like as vampires well, oh have newsy nearly getting finished right there it's not gonna be the reliant on Schweppes and Tony Gay, let's see Her if they can back it in. But up comes the push. Oh. Influence Rage now trying to not too bad. that northern edge. But like, if the zone shifts to uh, Yasnaya, we, we do not have any entries. Them. This is going to be a very tough spot now for the vampires to get themselves out of. And for vampires, they're going to get lucky because... If the zone shifts to Yas, we, we, we won't be able to have entries. We got to fight Anar. They created, but Influence Rage... We got a full send. Exactly what they're going to be in. It's not just Influence Rage. Smoke Gaming. 
all the other teams towards the top we also saw the circle close up even more so influence rates right now with this two two they even got the rest different buildings for they vampire up working out oh yeah they did smoke gaming would bro pass if we know they're gonna be waiting for the right time vampire esports <clears> does <throat> end up picking up that player and i'm gonna start looking at some of the more teams that were towards the top like death wolves we saw them play that out so well they waited for the right time they let the fight happen between fire flux and Zebra Masters, Nova and Zone. <laughs> we don't have Nova in the lobby. They didn't even have to worry about Vampire Esports because Vampire Esports was going for a for a nice view ride. Zone is going the side of the river. I, mean, at I least wish. they took in the sides, right? I yep. think that's sometimes something we forget about on Wrangle. It's it's also got some nice scenery, so you know you might as well appreciate it while you're there. And I think another thing that we got to get to appreciate is a bit of a city finish. I mean, it's on the cards, right? We are so close. To seeing these teams really having to duke it out in a lot of that CQC spray. I but, posted an uh, Instagram story and the Death Wolves basically promoting this live, the but I add a, like a crying emo. <laughs> I don't think he oh, can really blame is coming. Because, uh, I mean, they've got very slim options when it comes to a good rotation. Are they going, initi going for initi Oh, it's a SDW. Yeah, Death Wolves now have to make that push that they were going to have to Are they going to go and guess the NR? Yeah, next three is going to be the making some noise. More towards the center. Wow, little boy is going to be seeing if he can find an angle. Oh. Death Wolves somehow makes it into the buildings without losing anybody. Vampire's dead. Vampire so dead. Vampire Esports are getting spotted. Vampire Esports. Even though the cable car what they're gonna be doing rotation was like 100 IQ, but like they're dead. On them. Two players are they have no cars. Here comes the push. He's going to be seen if he can maybe throw a nade. Nope, he's not going to be able to, and they're going to have to back off. That's going to be one player there. Eliminated by, by, by Esports, it's gone. The stream is delayed? A wow. spot. They took a little bit too long, and one once second. again, Vampire Esports not able to capitalize here in Ariel, and he gets him back to the lobby. No, it's not. I mean, it's up to date, guys. My stream is not delayed. For the Vampires, but, you know... It is uh, survival of the quickest that we've got right here. Down to 11 teams left to kind of uh, lock in the performances here. And Hyper also going to be taking a nice little bit of a quiet positioning. How come my stream is late, guys? Side. We've not yet seen any eliminations come from them. And we can say exactly the same about the squad here from Smoke Gaming. But looking at Smoke, I mean, they are smack dab center. And Hyper, on the other hand... They I'm not watching the clean feed, guys. A little bit of that Even if it's a clean feed, it's like with ca without casters, yeah, so, basically. So many scenarios, because it's going to come down to this. I had access to that, but I'm not watching that. Happening. Is it going to just go straight down the center? Or could it possibly make us dance some salsa again and go towards the north where there's absolutely going to be no buildings, which I honestly wouldn't mind. DX wouldn't mind Please. as well. As Perry oh. is the only player towards the top, and guess what? They're, they're not going to go towards the top, but they are going to be going towards the left Huge. side, towards the west side. And that ends up benefiting one of the teams you were mentioning, which is going to be none other than N Hyper, as Insanity Sports tries to make this push out of the location where they were at earlier. That's huge. Let's see how these locations are going to unravel. Talent now getting absolutely bombarded. We got Mollies, we got Nades, pick a utility. And it has been sent across Insanity now having their numbers start to dwindle will influence suffer the same fate. Get some kills on DX. Are they gonna be Please. able to bounce NHP. back? Speed out, bounce back. DX, instead of going to the west, they push up from the north and now smoke gaming. Yes, go north. I see one of the players go north. Yes, go north and get the kills. It is DX now. Get the kills. Get the kills behind the wall. They can hold on for dear life. Yeah, and it is going to be a tough one with Chow I'm not only, wipe. Having, only being able to clean himself up. Actually, Nate was also alive. Look at that. Ooh. They were able to clutch it up. I, I don't think they're going to be able to pick up their teammates. Oh, nice! Caprizi! Up, but no, he goes over in grenades. Actually, the car exploded. Oh, no, Caprizi! In hyper, being able Big to IQ. Able to vehicle there. If he waited till the guy come out, bro, that's... There goes three players of DX that... Oh man, can they even pick him up? As Influence Rage now is going to be making a push towards this. And guess who's going to be on their way? Smoke Gaming. This is going to be a great fight. Oh yes, here we go. Getting ready. Oh! As well, alongside the rest of the crew. What a defend. Look at four players. They, each of them are holding a nade. Faria has no shot. Faria has literally no shots. Smoke Gaming, well played by them. They put down some smoke as well. They knew that they were going to be coming. Federal is going to be able to find one. Actually, Federal is going to be able to find one, but he ends up getting eliminated now. Smoke Gaming without Kusha. losing any players. This Can is I do it after the match, guys? Anything better out of Smoke Gaming. 
get to take care of Influence Rage, a team that you definitely didn't want to keep oh. on being hot as Influence Damn Rage it. ended up with it. nine eliminations. Definitely won't want to see out of Influence Rage there. But for Smoke Gaming, great stop. And now they got a lot of time and a lot of space there to work with as Insanity Rumble Ozen very close by to Team K. So Milo's just waiting and seeing what's going to be happening here. We're going to have some stealth mates here, but when the action picks up, my goodness, is it going to pick up? Because we, you could call it, right? A CD finish still? Mm. I can't. I mean, it's it's as close to the CD finish as we're going to get right now, right? I mean, a suburb? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It depends on, like, if it pulls more towards this western side, sure. Then we're going to have a suburban uh, suburban showdown. But so far, i got to say, it is looking pretty dang sweaty across the board. And I mean, at, at, at this point, it could still essentially be anyone's game, right? We're going to be seeing where this phase will be taking us. And, of course, Speedrun, where it could take us, foot, right? Foot, they've also been trying to get this ball rolling trying to see what they can get yes they were able to secure my trainer will literally hate you guys down to only two because i actually they have been brought uh, down to only two and it is going to be tough paid a trainer the circle ends up to like to do, we go when i go to the gym so he trained me like in hyper an hour space they got okay good and it's actually gonna go a and they have info on dx so no even if the zone so hard shifts to the yas they can force in the dx four versus two Everybody they gonna be trying should to not mess of that buildings up. Overall, this is going to be just absolute madness. And that one player, that's, that's two players that's still alive from DX, they could end up clutching up even more. They're using the... DX, which is a team that definitely I don't know. In PMGC, we use the HyperX earbud. Well, let's see how this one is going to go as we've now gone from the suburbs into the ranch. Only a handful of compounds and buildings remaining moving into this next phase. I mean, this is where the pressure is going to be, especially now for these teams over towards the south. Why they use much FPP? Right? Team Liquid over there. Because FPP can Aura. give you an uh, advantage Such a challenging in some scenarios. A bit of ground that they need to try and make up. But who knows? Maybe they can find a bit of a rat hole and get themselves positioned up in towards this next phase. Yeah, and then Smoke trying to find those angles. Then no end. Hyper is going to be looking to find their way in. And guess what? Hora oh, now not, having to fight please. there against Team Liquid. Meanwhile, Smoke, we're going to be going There's back no to reason to gentlemen. lose Hora any player for now cross. for NHP right it's now. Not gonna be working out well Team Liquid. Oh, it's Team Liquid are going to go all the juicy kills. With the DDS. Easy knocks for Team Liquid. Four kills on the board. There for Team Liquid. 57 As Hura points. Eliminated there with only two eliminations to their name. Oh no, Chief gets knocked as soon as he gets into the building, but luckily for him, his teammate is going to be right there to pick him up. And now we have some of the other teams. This is what I was talking about. Smoke, DX, all those teams that are currently within a comfortable location, they don't have to worry about fighting through. They don't have to worry about crossing the streets. All they have to worry about Position, oh, location, what was that? location, oh. location, Team Liquid having to worry about their location and they're currently just getting beam as Team Castle being able to spot them. That is going to be easy pickings there. For I think team the next Kessel. zone will go to Yaz. Waiting. DK. There's no Smoke. way the zone will go like is the river. Saying, okay, Team Liquid, if you want to I've never seen a zone like this go to the riverside. Yeah, are they getting those fans This will be a right? Yaz finish. The they got to crush the axe. is rolling. You can see Myth now. Hopefully, they don't, don't lose, lose as players. Well, trying to see if they can maybe just force a bit of a play at the expense here of Team Liquid. But I think this final bit of the game is going to come down between they don't have N Hyper, they don't have and potentially even Smoke Gaming. But the shift now has taken us even more over to that. I West don't think they have zone. So maybe a little bit of ad, a little now. edge. If your name is N Hyper, Smoke. Maybe a little I'm sure they'll be able to get themselves out of the sticky spot, but look at that. Or the, the compound down on the I feel like side, right? we got crush on DX. Literally. Crush on DX. Go north and the crush on DX. I think that's survive. the only playable but route if they don't have zone at all. Here. They obviously don't know if anybody's going to be within those buildings. They're just going to be assuming that there's going to be people there. You saw the smoke them that were throwing, but also the grenades. I saw a bit of explosions. Them thinking Better than knocked by DX player. They're crushing. They're crushing DX. DX. Oh, the better than the Overwatch got knocked. Being able to find some players there from Anna Hyper and knocking them. Oh, Alphys got knocked. Well, looking for Anna Hyper and Capri. Oh, Capri is here. He gets one knock. He's oh, Capri! Oh, Capri! My, my goat! Guess what? Capri! Capri is my goat! Lobby as Anna Hyper looking for some extra up. points, and you know who wants to make that push? None other than Smoke Gaming, clearing buildings back and forth. This is the opening that they were looking to get. Grenade oh no! Being thrown, and they're playing it so well. Whoever ended up calling Smoke Gaming mid-team, oh, they're please. looking like a top team right now. 
Hundred percent, hundred percent, and I mean they the rest, are just the toying with N hype at this point. Okay, some teams N hype help. down to two beast team. Guess are also gonna be holding nice and steady. But let's see whether or not Smoke can pick up those last few plays. There's gonna be Starge oh, on the approach. FSS also just FS, holding nice please. and steady. Miss the entirety of Smoke. You said that you were good with the nades. Uh, FS, you gotta show me. By floor, building by building, and eventually they are gonna figure out. That N hyper is gonna be chilling. Oh, oh that bus, that bus is gonna work. Uh, nice. He got one. No. Away, but what a nade though. A starch finds the opening blade. That is the angle now. Myth pushing on forward, looking to see if they can pick it. Ah! Comes in, but they're so. Oh, it's in. <laughs> N hyper. Oh my gosh, he had all the time. He didn't even have the player's attention. And he ended up missing so many shots there. But now we're gonna be switching over to foot against Team Kesso. Team Kesso getting obliterated here by foot. Chaos Esports are now, they're going to be trying to make a push. And luckily for Smoke Gaming, they might be able to reset a little bit here. They are going to end up losing one player. But if they can at least end up with three, that's going to be wonders for them. Team Queso still has one player alive. Papi Potro is going to be looking outside of that window. And Team Liquid Ayala trying to see if he can find some angles too. Papi Potro is able to find at least one knock, which is going to be massive for his team. And now Smoke is going to get three players up. And whatever ended up happening here, anything actually anything can happen here with what's going on i mean we have three players from smoke we have one player from team liquid and one player left alive as well from insanity sports which insanity sports only two eliminations but hey they'll take the points they'll take whatever they can get at this time i mean they're gonna be dealt a decent amount of placement points as well so that is all gonna stack up so we got stacking up insanity oh. trying to move up and look at that nade it is done and dusted. What a, what a chicken dinner smoke gaming. Claiming they thought what a chicken dinner. What placement did we get? Days. And Kunha, you did we got fourth? Him. He thinks he's going to the main event already. <laughs> he's thinking of the crowd saying, are you not entertained with this win? That is now three chicken dinners for smoke gaming and with that win honestly they're gonna position what pleasant so do we got great coming in tomorrow when they're not gonna be playing and group a is gonna be coming back seven is gonna be coming back and seeing if they can possibly take that first place great great day so far here by smoke gaming i think they made a quick stop over at the hardware shop i mean because they have just cemented their way through here it is insane to see smoke gaming just roll on through it speaking about insanity right Let's take a look at a few of these amazing highlights that we had in this fast game. Ace. I'm going to hire Ace as our Shogun tutor and to teach FS how to use Shogun, bro. Can someone clip that and send it to FS, bro? We got to clip that and send it to FS if they qualify to top 8. Even if they don't qualify, we still clip that and send it to FS. Honestly, I'm going to probably put the nail in the coffin for... For D Xavier as well. In all honesty, Smokey, yeah, Smokey was, was playing that right perfectly. Now, it's kind of tough to uh, perfect third party at this point, but you know what? The numbers oh, who, do not. Who knocked lie. the better? The Is gaming, it the X player knocked the better? DK, I think the, these guys are without a doubt good to go. Three chicken dinners so far. They really have been stepping uh -huh. up, and uh, they knew exactly what they needed to do in order to make sure that they made it to the main event. I mean, they don't even need the uh, cooking lessons, right? They just know how to roll with Baron was a cover and got knocked by the DX. From Ninho. Oh. Boom! <laughs> right on the money. Absolutely nailed. My Caprizi has 17 illums now, guys. So that was a uh, wow. Smoke game. My Caprizi no has 17 illums. Performing. It's good to see Mythic as well. The, he, this is the, his delicious. first ever uh, and PUBG Mobile official tournament. Really good he was not a PMPL that player. Really he was not a helped them out big PMCO time, player. This is his first ever PMPL PUBG Mobile tournament. Yeah, and I'm looking at Keen Ultra as well with those 20 eliminations for Next Rhea. Next Rhea has a total. I think before this match, they had a total of about 46 eliminations. So for him to be able to put up those numbers, that is great. I want to see more of the players from Next Rhea stand up. But overall, we only got a five? To this team right here on your screen. Smoke Gaming with those 18 points. Massive, massive points. Team Liquid as well. We were That's talking about enough. them. We wanted to see more of them being able to back up with 11 points. And then Hot Jukes. I'm starting to get flashbacks here. We're having high 17 hopes, kills each 17. Sports. I right. think they might have catfished me with that first win. Oh, 
man, it hurt my heart to see. You know, like I mean, they it's had not a enough. great game one. I was like, all right, now we're gonna see a little bit of that remake we saw from PMWI. But then, yeah, just not able to get it done in these next couple of matches. I will give them the last, you know, the Aaron Gill that we saw. I mean, because they just got into it. Bu, are you still in the chat? NHP Bu, please, uh, please freaking that, clip I mean, that shit it's and really send it to FS. See. I mean, yeah, this is their first day playing. Uh, so they will have six more matches tomorrow to make <sighs> it up. At the end of the day, all that matters is that they get top eight. But let's go ahead and take it on over to our interview so we can see what the winners have to say. The first chicken dinner of the day for Smoke Game after yesterday. They got two in their hands. Okay, so let's talk with him because he's going to tell us about some yesterday and today as well. Even though yesterday was a good day for Smoking Game, Team Falcos finished in the first place. What was the real strategy today to take the top? Uh, first, uh, we watch uh, our games that yesterday and we try to solve the, our mistakes and we got we came for the second day with the her dress with, changed with maybe the female caster is watching my stream because you guys were one. asking her to change because her dress or like something a, I, I already say uh, our goal is show to the world our power that we in what what we can do also Beautiful. And since it's the last game day for Group B today, what is your guess about the eight teams who will advance to the main event? Us, of course, Falcons, because these guys are the best team in the world. I'm sorry, Smoke Gaming, congratulations on the chickens, teams, but I just want to see the potato, man. First of all, I want to see how Petting got knocked. Sanity Sports. Don't tell me he's hard scoping at the X and got knocked, They'll please. take the points. They'll take whatever they can get at this time. Hyper smoke. I'm pretty sure. The but also, he's gonna get the finish here. Literally, Caprizi did the one way too by himself. Explosions. Them thinking that you know what? If anybody does end up picking, we'll be able to get it. Also, the grenades. I saw a bit. Assuming that there's gonna be people there, you saw. So they got it in the car. They were throwing, but also the grenades. Veterans covering. And Baron got knocked. That, you know what? If anybody does end Huge up picking, arrow. we'll be able to get him. DX throughout the players that are still alive. Being able to find some players there from Anna Hyper and knocking them foot as well. Looking for Anna Hyper and Capri getting in here. He gets one knock. He's going to get the finish. Here comes down the player from DX. And Ooh. guess what? Capri sends him back to the lobby as Anna Hyper looking to get those extra points. And you know who wants to make that push? None other than Smoke Gaming clearing buildings back and forth. This is the opening that they were looking to get. If we still have, if we still have better in there. Showed, and they're playing it so well. Whoever ended up. The third party from Smoke, smoking, Gaming, Smoke Gaming won't happen. They're looking like a top team right now. 100%, 100%, and I mean, they are just also gonna be holding nice and oh, on the approach. FSS is also just holding nice and steady. Myth, the entirety of smoke gaming. So, Star is cooking I nades. Searching. I mean, he hit the Clearing first of by floor, building by building, and eventually they are gonna figure out that N Hyper is gonna be chilling on the outside. So, uh, just a few plays away, but what a nade though! Like as oh, bro! The opening play, that is How the about pushing on board, looking to see if they can pick it using up, your TPP oh, advantage? How about oh, using your favorite. TPP advantage oh, and oh. check where the player is at? The angle now, Myth pushing on board. See? But what a Nator! As Starch finds the opening play, that is. If he just hold it, turn his camera to the left. The angle. He won't be able to see the guy is hiding the corner and he can just use one shotty, one shot, and he can finish that guy. He can finish Myth. But instead, he rushed it in blindly, blindly, and missed the four freaking shots. If they can pick it up, up comes they find the opening play. That is the angle that Myth pushed. Boom. 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 If they can pick it up, he missed the, the he missed the, the six shots. I feel like. The angle that Myth for Boom. This is why. We're looking to see if they can pick it up. Up comes FSS. So oh, it's in. <laughs> in hyper. Oh my gosh, he had all the time. He didn't even have the player's attention, and he ended up missing so many shots there. But now we're gonna be switching. I think to first Baron trope and then FS trope. <sighs> I think at the end, if they want to stand a chance, seven.
Yeah, they definitely do. And I mean, with uh, in hyper, it just comes down to being able to hit those shots because, man, there was a player there at the end, dude. Full health. The other player wasn't even looking his way. He just needed to get sneezed on. He was going to be getting sent back to the lobby for snow gaming, but he didn't every single shot. Hey, see, by the way, guys, you saw the lower third there. PUBG Mobile 6 anniversary is here. All kinds of new modes, new new guns. Guys, go check it out as soon as you possibly can. Version 3.1 has been a blast so far. And, uh, man, hopefully we can see some of these teams not have to worry about playing it as they'll have three more uh, days to play coming up soon if they make it on into those finals. Because, DK, we haven't really got a chance to talk about it too much of what's coming up. But the finals, we got even Can more blame teams better? Here, well, the FS need to be level. slapped. The both better, and the FS I mean, need the, to be like, slapped. Like, we were talking about the top eight moving through, right? Do you so have the info on DX compound all the time? Because we've got. If uh, you're doing the Overwatch, joining, right? you should not get knocked team, by the uh, team the you're overwatching. Does that make sense? Eight. I mean, you want to talk about that's a hundred percent. It is looming just around the corner. So whatever um, these teams can get done here, I think it would be some good preparation. You know, making it up in towards that final event, the main event itself. Got yeah, yeah, IHC, PMGC champions. <laughs> you got Nova. Paraboy at the end of last PMGC, he was there. He wasn't playing. Not sure we're gonna the cost. Chinese side for the Chinese talent. He was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna come back for what belongs to me this year. So I'm, he's gonna be bringing it. Alpha Seven is gonna be bringing it too. They're playing at home. They had a great performance in uh, in regards to the previous PMGC as well. There's, there, yeah. If <laughs> if we think fair, this fair. is a hard lobby, <laughs> I won't be too like. To the main event even if I said it PMGO, like on the stream, that's but like exciting. still like you know when we're doing the water room. review. No, yeah, I mean, if we qualify, I mean, I gotta give a big shout out. I'll to give the them a hard time. I'll they show the clips where, 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 where they throw. Team Falcons at the but, like, if they try, tried the it today, and you know, uh, we thought it's Falcons like a good shot. They made a good shot, they even though they made some mistakes. But you know. Hi Fi said, you know what? All at the last second, they dropped on them, were able to take them out early, and were able to secure that slot to the main event. And I wonder what, you know, them... Why the did the Caprizi their, not you know, get out of the house and wipe DX? Here, and I like, thought oh, Caprizi single-handedly you know, wiped the DX himself. It is. Come main event time, it's going to be another level. So, you know, teams, especially like we mentioned so many times before <sighs> in Group B, this is their last chance. But, you know, hopefully we can see them make it happen in Miramar and see their dreams come true. But we'll be right back right after this break. <laughs> Yeah, at least they're doing better than yesterday, true. <sighs> Two more matches. This smoke gaming man is is all is honestly making me smoking. After wiping, DX had the opportunity to get out of the house when Smoke was pushing. Right. I mean, he already did the 1v2. Like, we can't expect to, like... He literally turned himself into God of War and like, single-handedly wiped the Smoke gaming, right? I want to know one thing, when the crowd cheers, do players hear those screams? There's no crowd. They're literally, I think, you know, a warehouse or something. And they're streaming there. I don't think there's a crowd. Two games left. <sighs> Notation, so we're better comparing yesterday. Yeah. But like today Welcome they need back, a clutch. Everybody. They did the so PMGO bad yesterday. Brazil. They need a clutch. The about to come up the they need a clutch. The day, and it's gonna be me and DK leading off you guys into that one. So seven, since you're gonna be sitting back watching, crunching the numbers, all right? You know, uh, what are your thoughts going into this match here? You know, I told you told me what your top three were uh, for the last one, right? What are you thinking about this one? What is it that 7WG wants to see? Crowd comes in. I thought you were going to put me in this fight. Like, you said top three last time. How about the top bottom teams this time? Hey, give me, give me the top okay, 12. That, that one might be a All little right. bit easier. <laughs> Don't, don't let me don't let me flow through that toxicity all right but the top three teams i'm gonna be pointing out some that definitely need it 
you pointed one out earlier i mean in a hyper if they're gonna be wanting to even try to get in a chance i'm making it they need a chicken dinner here they definitely need to go for it i think uh, smoke gaming is going to continue to play really well at least i hope and maybe continue to create that gap between themselves and team falcons uh and then last but not least man that's a tough one i uh, you know what just because i've been talking about it just because i feel like i'm being catfish here uh, vampire esports i would like to see what vampire esports has to Seven offer because they likes ha we NHP. haven't really seen much i mean of these are english casters just, just like taking a NHP. nice little ride and join the scenery and then get to the uh, other side an and 18 absolutely clap and then we're using yeah. english-speaking you know, players say, dk you know it's one thing that uh vampires had a trend of doing is like during qualifiers having some of a tough time then men have made event time popping off that's what they did in pmwi but they did not keep that same energy when it came to pmw uh, pmgc <sighs> oh yeah but so seven, what do you think about that hmm? i think for vampire they just need to stop throwing man <laughs> like so many people will get their hypes up including myself I, i'll put myself first in that line i mean like okay this is the one this is the tournament where vampires is gonna show them that it's not just pmwi and then i just end up walking with like oh. hoping the door doesn't hit me when i exit the building i feel like they just for other casters they all need to like that's the, not the case Elgato, again because the pedal tomorrow i mean the team, we've been seeing by the way so, all these teams winning they're high-fiving a they're single step on the like, yeah, pedal baby, we won. they're muted what happened when team another won? step they're unmuted <sighs> yeah <laughs> Just straight so up. Can you can you so point it out? Cold, can you point it out? In their veins. If I mean, you're, so for example, if you're hot, you can you point board? it out? Oh, Guys, DK, you're muted. Can you point it out? They've the stream? Matches that they've held on for so long. I think so it really. We'll I think DK really muted. On here, but guys, here we oh no, go. Miramar. Match number five, first <sighs> Miramar of the day. And the last two matches for Group B. Seven, thank you so much. We'll get back to you in a second as DK and I are going to take over this <gasps> DK one. DK is casting and, and DK is oh, muted. this is a very, very important match. DK is muted sure. and he's casting. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I mean, back. I think this is going to be, this is gonna be a, Someone a should tell crazy him. rumble because, I mean, yesterday, yesterday, right about this point, as well as where we saw a, a very strong increase in performances. Better um, say but, that. It I looks... mean, if you are in Group B, smelling silently. this is going to be, this is going to have to be even more than that, right? This is going to have to be your best two games that you've had so far if you are looking to get yourself within the top eight after tomorrow's games yeah 100 percent. and honestly um i think if you are group b tomorrow you're gonna put on your falcons t-shirt and you're gonna hope they go off and soak up all the points you know what <laughs> i'm saying because it doesn't matter right if, if deep falcons get first place great for them but you know that you want them to soak up all the points as compared to the other teams please uh, east of, or west of circle up. please so circle god we can see that i'll serve my tomorrow. call please but you know for these oh, teams right Demar, now, circle they gotta do all they nice. can to secure please. it like i mentioned can we actually Xavier, see a valid Mar circle pro, please Puff. it's over i mean i just don't see it happening and hyper where they stand at points wise there's still a chance but like we've mentioned so many times, and we can't stress it enough, they need a crazy game here. And uh, they really got a great start here, DK, because look where the zone is, and look where they landed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a, a good play, right? So they've got quite a bit of a run-up that they can make Oof. at this point. So, I mean, they can when they drop the north, run, run the up, circle right? goes go south. When they drop the south, go the circle Alcozo, goes Do they want to go... North. North? I don't know, pick a spot, so, right? But it's all gonna come down to every single Muramar well extreme circles for NHP. The teams, because I think Chris is that real. is gonna determine how their rotation will go. Yeah, the hard part is is that they didn't really get to study uh, you know a lot of these teams here from group C because you know this is their first time they're playing against them and so not a lot of data when it comes to Miramar from those squads, at least when it comes to this tournament, maybe in the past. But, you know, with a zone like this and playing oh, path, knock on DX. And Hyper definitely oh, had their work two knocks. cut out from them. And that two knock, knocks on DX. Those two knocks on a DX Xavier. If there wasn't a nail a coffin before, like I mentioned, that's going to be it right there. 
Yeah, that's a that's a tough start to uh, an interesting knock knock joke, but I don't think it's a joke. They would have less pressure if they can get a chip. They can, if they can somehow get a piece in the points here. Ooh. Oh wow! How did he? Little boy also getting oh, hit wow. here. As influence rage are gonna be feeling the pressures come through. His next Ria Keen now looks to set up, finding the elimination there, locking in those points. But this is where I'm curious to see as to how the zone is going to be shifting because i mean jigs if i'm being honest nova qualify, nova qualify. i'd love to see something a little bit up towards the north you know La ladriera maybe up into oasis even uh how would that would be fun i haven't seen mm -hmm. an oasis finish in a hot minute you know um <laughs> that hard shift side could prove to be pretty interesting for sure as what the best player of day one today for NHP? I think so far is Caprizi. Remember, is top so far is Caprizi for my team. And, you remember, and I think Caprizi is actually top five for Edgar. 16 teams going to be playing tomorrow. Six matches. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Smoke, they have to have secured a spot. No doubt. You know, mm. first place, eh, that's going to be, I mean, Team Falcons have so many points. That Finals games win. Left, that Three that days definitely later. Happen. Uh, but, you know, for, for them, they're good to go. So that limits the amount of, you know, only one Chinese team in this comp left. Yeah. So those teams in that eighth it's place Nova. position are really going to have to be careful. Only one Chinese team. Nova. Yeah. And I mean, it's not eighth, eighth place today, as we said, right? It's eighth place after tomorrow's matches. So it's going to be a, a very scary day to look at though. So yeah, I, I think teams sitting like from fourth position upwards could be somewhat secure in their positions come end of day tomorrow. But as we know, anything can change here. It's good to see smoking, uh, Smoke Gaming, though. They've hit the century, right? 102 points up. And they are really trying to f f end their play here or end their day on a very, very strong note. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be coming through on that. The rest of the teams, though, uh, we are yet to see a bit of a play come through from Foot, for instance, right? I mean, yes, mm -hmm. I know it's only their first day. But still, you want to end your first day on a strong note. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about and next we'll be the drop last flash game, but I mean, we definitely got to mention these teams. I mean, they still have one more I mean, game. For sure. I mean, foot. They still have one more game. Flux, even they vampire, need a big game. right? Need to finish Lost this game off for strong DX. because. So let me gaming tell you can play for fun. Uh, now this just came into my head because I haven't even been really thinking about it too much. I've been so so focused on Group B, but the problem is, is if you're a team like Vampire, <clears> let's be real. And it's been easy to work their ass now. Oh my gosh. They were right, working real with here. their ass. Team Falcons had did so well. They know they're top eight. Pretty much oh. with just one day alone, right? If you're a team like Team Falcons, you could spend your an entire day tomorrow just hot dropping or making Vampire and the rest of these teams day oh. hard and make Falcon sure they hot dropping it. Vampire? Can you Imagine if we see oh, that. Damn. <laughs> Dude, make them oh, sweat. Oh, IF versus I mean, come on. Vampire. <laughs> That'd be amazing, but I mean, that is definitely a strategy these teams could look to adopt. Oh, Ferro got taken down. Games, but in order to do that, right, you can't let stuff like this happen, right? Being uh, influence rage. What's a prelim all about? Mm -hmm. Vampires, it's basically the qualifiers for PMGO main event. Top eight qualify. Vampire so Top eight strong. teams qualify. I mean, these the guys, main when they get hot, they're really Nova. hard to stop. And we I saw them HC. start off strong, so that helped out, right? The fact and, that they got a majority uh, of their points in just game number one allowed them to kind of, you know, have a few rough Nova, games. But uh, sorry. tomorrow uh, it's going to be really tough if the they blue. don't perform here and now. So uh, you can see them definitely. They should take their know, time, but they shouldn't be too sure slow. Trying to make sure that they have a great day. Or they great should at least the reach the sort of course by the last two Miramars. By the time, like, the second, the second sector popped out, I feel like. Place. But, you know, if they have a good couple games here, they'll be set. So I mean, even before, sure before, the, the, before third call three, circle. if they can get it's into the third call, that would be good. Yeah, that's going to be step one. They need to take their time, and, uh, but also they can to be too slow. Consistency like, yesterday's the Miramar, of the day. they took so uh, long as to, and to get in. These teams and also, really get themselves situated because if we're looking over to enough. the players here from Team Queso, I mean, sure, they do have... Uh, uh, you know, some kind of a positioning up close towards center zone. Um, but we still have quite a few teams that are yet to rotate on up. I think Vampire Esports here also sitting with a decent spread. I mean, that 2-2 two -two coverage. I think they, they wait. So there's already eight teams in the main event. Onto yeah. that road, and then they're just going to let it rip. Why well, turn up playing? I didn't get my recent time. An insane performance. But 
I mean, again, only time will tell. Yeah, only time will tell for sure. The pressure Why only one team every region, like but other, other there are more than six presenting teams? Because this is called PM like PUBG Mobile Global Open Brazil. Brazil. That's why. All four up still. Some of the viewers were. Points. They're in that sixth place position. Uh, a chicken dinner here could rocket launch them definitely into that kind of fourth place spot. If you're a team like Team Liquid. Like, you really, viewers were really joking, this should be PMBO, kind of so, PUBG Mobile, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Brazil, I mean, guys, Open, for those of you watching, if you look at the leaderboards on that right, yeah. you see Smoke in 102 <laughs> the PMBO points, you see Master there with 78, Team Liquid with four, with uh, 68. We could see Zebra Master and Team Liquid end up in 7th and 8th place, barely making it, oh. with how many games are to be played tomorrow. Can they show the yeah, map, please? I, 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 I want to see I'd where are they are. Are they depends rotating on or what not? what the team's focus is coming into this game, right? Are they going to be trying stream. to focus on placement points? Are they going to try and focus on a little bit of regression? Maybe a bit of a strategic play? Uh, it's a tough call to make at this yeah, point. They changing their strat. We definitely talked about some like, the best things, for mistakes them, they right? made because, I mean, yesterday. It's so challenging um, to decide on. But if they can adapt to that, the that new things, to that's up to them. Here. I mean, that's why I'm so happy I'm not an IG. It's because, actually I mean, not that. So like, like, they didn't yeah, even show what they were. They were. They were. There's a couple. We were about it, right? Like you want to play it in a way. Well, the main thing that you have to think about at this point. Is you just gotta think about trying Playing to get around to that the end game and putting like some major months. points on the board. They didn't even you show know, you yesterday. Um, you don't have enough points to just sit back and just get like four or five, right? You really do not. If you are even Zebra Master and Team Liquid, especially Team Liquid, I think that you're thinking, all right, we need at least ten points each game here. You know. Mm. So you don't know why, but you feel points, like this lobby is messy because this is their match. first time playing with each other. You know, in the last two games, the reason why you feel it's messy because this is their this is the first time the you know? two teams play with um, each other. But that's why I said if you're scary. in group B, way, you actually have a so, disadvantage. Um, that's where I the reason why I said it because coach, set group the mark. B like, has to play with minimum each game, and you, group you A really and group C. In the next one, so they can't really watch how other teams play. They just gonna play two days straight. Yeah, one I mean, that's two. gonna be the way to go, right? You it. wanna set that buff up so you don't have to this stress is why I too said much coming into in tomorrow's game. You actually are uh, but, not well, disadvantaged about stress, when it though, comes to the format like this. Machine with a beautiful reach here onto Hura. A great way to get the action underway. But now, I mean, Foot, they seem to be coming through with a really decent pacing here. Just finding the one, alleviating that, moving up to the next three, just taking it in a very strategic manner. So I think foot looking pretty good on this one yeah looking pretty good indeed so they have that outside advantage here that's going to be great is you always want to be on the outside of the building in this kind of situation because you know where they they could possibly peek from plus you could just throw all the utility you have directly in through those windows and if you catch a knock you're going to be pretty good to go so so far so good Ura, definitely you're going to have to play this one very carefully oh see kairos oh that nade though on the kairos is going to be pretty crucial and they they most likely gonna get this thirst and they get it so now it's a 4v3 situation kairos pretty out of position there and that's gonna cost foot for sure well as we know it is uh oh, it's not the end of the road for again? Either of these two teams a north right? shift and the hp is the north of play so uh they're gonna have a bit of an opportunity Hurry up, to boys. hopefully try and make up if, their... if not everything goes according to plan right circle here. three but I mean, this is really the zone, circle three. Quite a bit of a spread, and if you look up north, we've got someone lurking, right? And hyper now trying to sneak up into the NHP is so nice low, low. yeah. They wrap all the way. And we saw a very similar rotation. Rotate to the those quick, 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 take positions. Durangle. And I mean, they had a, a really good outcome with that. Yeah, they did, and I think they knew they know the situation they're in with only 52 Wait. points. That is not going to be play, that enough. That so player is it, literally it zero that HP. Team Liquid needs 10 per match. And Hyper need 15, literally. Mm. If they get 15, you know, in this one and 15 in the next, they might just be comfortable enough to make it on in to the top eight. But even then, that's going to be pretty sketchy. So that's going to be their minimum, at least in when I'm doing the math in my head. So we'll see if that's going to happen. And if you got to think about it, to get 15 points, it's not going to be with eliminations only. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to take mm -hmm. both eliminations and placement. So... Uh, 
I mean, the, the hard part about that is six second place is only six placement points. So are you able 15, to join MHP if they qualify? No. You're gonna have to have nine eliminations in second place or five eliminations in first, and then it's not gonna be easy to do in this lobby. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, so really very hard for casters. Just especially in stage three here, try to catch a couple players off guard. Maybe get they you know a nice little squad wipe, a third party. They're gonna need it for sure. Mm. I mean, you're gonna have to be some some kind of predator when it comes both to game top three. hunting for those points because you know. Relying on placement points alone, I think that is a very dangerous decision to make. You know, you've got more control when it comes to eliminations, right? You can focus all your effort on those elims, get those points secured, and then get blessed with whatever placement points accompany that come the end of the match. But now, it's still a tough call to make here as the teams are slowly getting themselves spread out all throughout the zone. I mean, just about every team has been able to make it in. Team Keso are also going to be coming through from that far southern side. Liquid, though, they just big chilling over here, waiting to see if Zebra Masters may be going to try something or another team could potentially line up some action for them. Here we go. It's Fireflux. They're going to get a Thirst onto a player from Virtus Pro, but they do get a nice little knock back in return. But I tell you what, the second Fireflux realizes who this is, they're going to hard push. They do end up getting... Oh, they know who it is now. Yeah, they got that thirst. So let's see. Fireflux are definitely going to push this one hard. And here they go. There's going to be a second knock from coming from him. Oh, I thought it was guaranteed, but he jumped out of that vehicle just in time. This is still early, so they could eat a little bit of blue zone. But the second it closes, what's oh about to do, God. that blue zone's going to start chunking a lot harder. I mean, at least it's good. The zone didn't shift too aggressively from here. Nice mellow play. And now... There's an opportunity for Malloy to come through with a little bit of that repayment. No, so is going to look at that HP bar. Can't get all too distracted, but Virtus Pro still have quite a bit of a ways to go. And I like That's this over. gatekeep play coming through from Fireflux, though. They need to, yeah. For they, they know who they're going up against. I don't know why against. this year's These global. Like, they were game, three points, but more they lose two players in the process, like which is definitely this is Brazil. not optimal like for More Fireflux, Brazilian teams so, means more aggression. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much a lose-lose in this scenario. The Xavier uh, looking to third party this. I don't even know why they're standing where they're at. They need. You look sweaty, but still like look 30, good. Like 30, 20 points. Uh, I'm actually match. sweaty. So they should be, be pushing this, like, without even thinking at this point. Well, let's see. Even if it's those the... two players. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a, it's a little bit of a, 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 a tricky <laughs> position they find themselves in. Lark's not going to be looking to see what opportunities could be available to them. We do see even more players also then starting to trickle on through through that feed but here we go furia hoping to find a little bit of something i, I would always say that is an ambush that <laughs> they're looking to set up there but it's gonna be a 1v1 it's gonna be furia up against lux reyes also just off away in the distance but here we go furia got the nades at the ready she found, Come on, i got you supporting nhp right. <laughs> thank you it, it seems like thank you guys for uh, staying up with me you can understand because and i support mean, the team i play they don't want to give it up well, I'll tell you what. Furia needs to start playing for himself at this point. He really does. Mm. Vampire go out. out. Wow. Another tough game for Vampire. Tomorrow's going to be a tough one for them. That's for sure. Oof. Not the best scenario. But I'll tell you what. Yeah, Furia needs to play for himself. He needs to just mm. pop off, have a crazy gun skill performance, get as many eliminations as he can, and stand out because you never know, you know, like come main event time. Oh, you know, you may have fighting. players that can't. INS? Oh my god, the double name? No. Out. You never know if you might get Where was that? for a game or two. Show you know the freaking saying? map. So that's the only thing I think you can do. Show the fights. Scenario, because you know your team's not going to make it. It's time. It's your time. Come time. Meanwhile, Insanity going up against an Hyper. Oh. Oh, and Hyper getting knocked. This is brutal and <laughs> thirsted. This is not what N Hyper needed. It's only one player up left, and that should do it with a dbs in hand oh oh and hyper's dreams looking ever so slim after that finish yeah but i mean that is still a good play coming through for insanity as we do see no. moves being made oh the nade oh Ooh. what was that though team Gesso. i mean surely they saw that nade coming over the hill yeah man the perfectly placed to fireflux is eliminated 
Fireflux having a really no. tough day. Five matches, only 17 points for them. That's not the performance that we they have. Were one more game. For. Yeah, my one more game. They have one match left to go, though. Meanwhile, Team Liquid. Team Liquid, last day that they have to play here. Why Turn did they take the fight there? Place. I thought that Kampan is all the way in the north, up. no? Looking did that fight all the, did that come on all the way in the north? Camp out next Ruya here on this edge. Let's see where this zone's about to pop, though. Seven seconds left on the clock. That's gonna make things interesting as we see all glory gaming on the smoke man smoke so consistent nice knock there though from fran yeah i mean a good follow that is literally that free all glory they're gonna have to push it on didn't they board. scout the it's compound be, like just be all glory or on nothing. the besides the now, road Miyake to the north of the the inf compound away. we also still see malloy there Convert the Spro off in the distance i thought they took the fight because they had no option here, but Merth now starting to ride the ridge they just need to crest that hill, and that could be the end of at least Fred. Okay, the but it's camp. not gonna be the end though for all, for all glory. There's no shit. They gotta be. They gotta have vehicles in the compound. Uh, I don't think they got camp. What, what I was talking about, like these guys are now starting to play. I think for they themselves. wanted to find that compound. The team in the them, compound. And this is what happens a lot of the times. You see a team that knows they're not, they're not gonna make it, and all of a sudden, all those nerves that they had just go away, and they start finally mm. playing their own their own. Oh my guys, two ins as well. And start popping off. You hate to see it. But it definitely does happen. Look at that. See, now Malloy is just <laughs> shredding players. Look at that. Three eliminations each. That's how you go out. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely starting to find their comfort here. But let's see whether or not Mirth is going to allow too much comfort to go unpunished. Up comes the push. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, beautiful. This compound have a lot of ridges around it, so they can't really see anything. I mean, that glory. gives some more Smoke reasons for them to first elimination. not and missing I mean, their vehicles in the compound. If they had the ridges, they should, they should have stopped around the ridges and check it out, right? You can't just like throw, throw, throw directly in. The pack. All the teams at the bottom went out early, so that's really interesting. I asked that to whom? That might give a chance for some of for these repeat? teams in that mid-pack to breathe a little bit tomorrow. But we're going to see what happens and how this is all going to finish up. Meanwhile, look at this. Ura with three players up, keeping an eye on Smoke. Smoke are so comfortable that, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do a nice little point sponge this game. Well, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of that sponge play going on through, but I mean, it's going to be a tough one to just follow up with as much as they can. But it's about to be go time, right? Team Liquid looking for a bit of a setup. Zebra Master also ready on the, the receiving end. But then next Rhea, they're also still just lurking and they know the teams could potentially be starting to move in their direction now. Yeah, here they go. Everyone's trying to take this 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 compound right here. There's so many squads. Miyaki, he's got that DBS out. Looking to make it happen against Team Liquid. Here he goes with the push. Ayala, though, he's got his DBS himself. Oh, he ends up getting one. Wow. Miyaki gets two. Beautifully done. <laughs> and that is going to hurt Team Liquid big time. Three eliminations on the side of Miyaki. Almost about to get that squad wipe all by himself. The I last mean, game, gaming at the end of the day, right? They've been just if showing NHP up. NHP can this pass Team Liquid in, in RX. So let's see whether or not they would have Zebra Master are going to be allowing for uh, even more of a continuation on that. Twenty Next kills, chicken, chicken. Looking to uh, jump juniors? at the opportunity I, I think that's they possible, are starting guys. to lock in, and DX and Hura just fighting on the back end. Here goes Miyaki, looking to get another nade, trying to catch the rest of Zebra Master. They know that this zone is most likely going to pop in the opposite direction Bro. so i'm wondering if we're going to see them press it it's actually not too far away i wonder if they actually go for this fight or try to circumvent them i think that's definitely the the second one is definitely the play two game wasted no hope well, circumvention could most be likely. a good solution here but now it's it is going to be up to points. oh dx just right nah, in ridges trying to see if they can, they can find the it. angle find the spray but it's going to be a Sadly. two v two but now the pressure is on, right? The mullies, uh, least, the mullies they put have, up been, a, have been let loose rather. The show today. You see flames now starting to cook things up. Nah, like uh, throwing so hard for yesterday. So Paragen, I definitely hope that they can find the play here, but the nades are just I getting the closer the XTL and closer. And yeah, NRX that's the hard part. Like when, you have, when you're so down on the leaderboards, you only have two players up. It's really difficult to kind of Which, like flip that The most aggressive region? I think happen. both regions are aggressive. So not too good for the Xavier. A zebra, zebra master, so look at him definitely solidify that spot as they're starting to put some work in against smoke gaming. Only Miyaki up left, so zebra master is having a good game here at the start of Miramar. 
And as we watch the rest of these players, hoorah, trying to take out the Xavier. I think the problem with this rotation is that uh, sometimes we wrap her around at the same time need to get themselves way much too far to that zone because the blue is when the circle there, shifts to north and they were literally now, about to entry north they were still wrap around to like kind of like north east oh, otherwise they would have the is compound done there so that is themselves Dave, you're done i feel in. like Pretty much out of the tournament at this point. They have one match left to go. It's going to be interesting to see what they decide. Because it's a hard shift. Here. Like, like no teams would like. another player's dreams as Smoke you know. Gaming go down. They have enough points. They're big chilling. Camping the compound like that's really nowhere. Even though they're in second place, they know, you know what? We do not want to leave this up to chance. Six eliminations so far. They might just secure that spot to the finals in this game right here, right now. Well, pressure is going to be on indeed. But here we go now, moving up. Zebra. Kind of played nice and cautious. We've got the Death Wolves just hanging on the edge there. I mean, it's it's an interesting push coming through there from Neil Zeta. Let's see whether or not they are going to be able to find those plays. The, the, the Death Wolves already having taken quite a bit of damage, but they've been able to kind of recuperate a lot of their HP here. Virtus Pro still in the mix. It's very hard for NHP now. Yeah, it is. Towards that far edge. But Zebra now trying to see. Can they find the angle? Because they can hear the noises, right? They can hear all the cues. They just can't get the spray. Yeah, indeed. Meanwhile, you got Zebra Master dominating this match. They have four players up. Death Wolves have four as well. Not a bad first day on the side of Death Wolves. You know, definitely putting up some points on the board. If they get a good one here, they'll be in a good position tomorrow to possibly make it into the finals. Virtus Pro, final player up. Nine eliminations. That's crazy. It's always crazy to see the last couple games. The team mm -hmm. that just struggled all tournament long finally put up some eliminations. Yeah, I mean, it's about time, right? It's it's uh, it's never too late. <laughs> to and too late. Some, some now. Point. I mean, <laughs> I it's mean, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe to, to get a secured spot in the top eight, but it's never too late to get points on the board, right? I mean, I mean Virtus Pro just showing us what could have been, right? Yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. to see it. Meanwhile, uh, we got Death Wolves with a great position in this match. They have most of the uh, the zone secured. Another team that's going to have a good sight line is going to be Influence Rage. They're at the top. They only have a duo up. But with their location, they could definitely cause some problems for a lot of these teams. So let's see what the play is going to be. Make sure we Oh, yeah, final player up. He knows that, man, I got to leave this hill. Bro, just start I wish drink, Falcon tomorrow saying good luck. Here he goes. Turns start themselves the into right God of War and like and literally slaughter every single one of the team in, in the lobby. If they see that vehicle, he's and getting popped out for sure. If they're playing like that, yep. then I mean, it's, 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 it's a, a risky goal to make, but you know, someone's <laughs> gonna do it. But like, meanwhile, for competitive, Zebra you can't really count out. A little bit of you can't really that count out other teams. Malik just riding back and forth, but well, it's like, the only back and forth they're gonna have to do is back into your that game. lobby. You gotta, you gotta get points. You can't just like, pray other teams get less points. Up, securing their eighth elimination. <clears throat> eighth elimination, final player up. That's influence I mean, rate, gone. And he is sitting in that shack trying to get some extra placement points for his Missed team. old energy players. Meanwhile, Death Wolf still in this. Malloy still alive. Finds the level 3 gear and a Groza. Just looking to steal some points away and ruin some of these other players' dreams. As I did say, like, hey, if this is at this point, play for yourself. And I'll tell you what, Malloy has definitely had some great shots for sure. He gets another one. That's 10 eliminations. This guy is literally about to double his team's points mm. in one game <laughs> out of all the ones he's played so far. Oh, I guess it's still I mean, surviving. Where was, oh, where was that's this, a that Shaq. This pro in, in he's gaming. Oh, that Shaq can oh. give them second place finish. Down. Nice run, though. Nice run. Way to go out. Way to go out. Meanwhile, Death Wolves, <laughs> here they are. Zebra Master as well. In a great position on the leaderboards, this game should solidify them for the main event. Death Wolves still have a lot of work to do, though, and they need to put some points on as well. So, let's see what the play is. Oh, a little stun grenade there. Oh, you can't see me. Ooh. DBS gets it done. And 
Meanwhile, he's going to start throwing some mollies. No, nice right player still there. These are so hard to throw. They have to be no, perfectly placed. No, he needs to die, bro. Decline here. And let's see what they decide to do is... Oh, Talon's oh. getting shot up from all angles. He's trying to hide as many points as he can. I mean, it's tough. It is super, super tough. So let's see whether or not Zebra are going to be hit. Though, are going to be hitting rather those double digit Elam counts. And the dark, the death wolves rather start to move on up. But I love the spread. Sue, Sue approach. Two players on high, two players down low, and up comes the play now. It is going to be Zebra Master trying to fend off the advances, but unfortunately, it will not suffice. Now a one v four, right? I mean, insanity talent. This is going to take more than talent to clutch out. Oh my game. god! Oh, you gotta believe! Oh, you can you believe? Stop! He's no! Getting, stop getting he kills! Gets the knock right there and the finish. That's six points. How about throwing some nades, bro? He says, "Nope, time to run out." DBS. Oh! ho, ho. Oh. Death Wolves shut it down, but what a, a game right there. Dude, Chicken dinner. He got a one more point. Six eliminations and no. a great performance considering that this is <gasps> their first day. I was telling you, right? How my little underdog team was the Death Wolves. I had a feeling. Yo, thank you. Thanks to the super chat. Off, and they thank did. you for the. Yeah, I mean, super they, they showed this, the Cindy. same thank you. kind of resilience back in qualifying Come on. last day. So, I mean, no surprise to see them do that, but a well-deserved winner with a chicken then on their end. <clears throat> Absolutely. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And we saw some great performances as well for some other teams. Uh, Seven, what did you think about that last one? I'm happy to see Death Wolves get that win. Oh, no, any team will ever be like the old NHP with the GKQZ ring kind of. team kindness. so far out of Group B, and we expected other teams to be the best performing. For them to be able to get that chicken dinner, expand on those points, setting themselves up even tighter for those teams in, in Group A, in Group B that are going to be sitting out. They're going to be like, you know what? Okay, if, if, teams like you were saying in Hyper, if they want to get a chance, you were saying 15 points, 15 points. They weren't able to get anywhere near those 15 points in this one, so they're going to have to absolutely pop off in this last match. And any other teams, Tibra Masters, I mean, another team that we were hoping they would do good in this match, and they do so as well. The better these teams towards the top end up doing that are not going to be playing tomorrow from Group B, the easier it might be to watch tomorrow and not so much as a nail biter. And it's crazy to think that out of Group C, all the teams, all the names that we saw, it was without a doubt the qualifier team that performs yep. the best so far. Insane. They're in, currently in 10th place, or they were in 10th place, right? Um, and it's going to be interesting to see where they end up here at the end of this game because man i mean another performance like this uh, the six games they have tomorrow they're gonna have so much room to breathe for sure look at that 1200 damage six eliminations that's how you do it tk oh yes oh yes but i mean they're not the only one on 1200 damage right insanity also back in the heat zebra master reaching all the way into 1700 and i mean virtus pro they there will be up. one more match after uh, this. They brought points on the board, right? Securing themselves. Those we have one more match left. Getting one the more match on board as well. But I need to see yeah, the points I would have table. loved to have seen that happen much, much sooner. Yeah, likewise. Here, as we take a look at the second end of the damage graph, uh, one team in particular that I'm starting to get a little bit nervous for, Seven. Uh, it's going to be Team Liquid. You know, they, they, I think they needed just a couple more points to feel comfortable for tomorrow. Yeah, I think for Team Liquid, they have played so far today really well. Bro, if and they're worrying about this next match, Team really Liquid, that NHP is out, bro. Hopefully a double-digit elimination match. If they the Chinese gods, the chicken I don't think he will Because answer. in my head, even though this is not mathematically correct, just from what I'm seeing when I was getting a chance to look at the overall leaderboards, looking at all the leaderboards when you yeah. guys were there, we'll have to win and see. That Wolf was the chicken dinner winner for this last match, and I'm here with the player Igor that's going to talk with How's us. How's your day been today? Up and down. It's been a tough match Zaxi, for if you go rewind my stream to game two, then I watch the, my previous bot. And also, I did nice. like. 20 plus push-ups already and I can't do no more Perfect. it was not a surprise for them they will definitely keep the same game because they think it's a good game for them right now so they will keep regular and then they will keep the same game style 
Um, what is the strategy now to make to the main event among the eight teams that will definitely advance the next week? Qual que é a maior estratégia de vocês agora para conseguir se classificar para o evento da semana que vem, para o grande evento, a grande final entre os oito classificados? Agressividade, sem dúvida. Agressividade, a gente não conseguiu aplicar muito essa partida porque a safe voltou muito para a gente, mas agressividade, sem dúvida, é o nosso diferencial. You said the difference, uh, the, the thing that is different uh, for the team, it's because they have an aggressive game style, so they will keep being aggressive. This last match, it didn't work for them because More push -ups the safe zone keeps chicken, for chicken. Them, but they will keep if being they get a chicken last game, I'll do push-ups for chicken. I'll do 10 push-ups if they get a chicken uh, and two kills, two push-ups per kill. Thanks so much for the last sound. She look like a Cardi B, yeah. Well, they definitely started off strong here. I mean, they are the best performing team in Group C. They have six more matches tomorrow, and I think they're going to be feeling pretty comfortable going into it. Let's take a look and see who the MVP was, though, for that last match. And it was actually Talent from Insanity You're Sports. doing two pushups for each uh, kill? Uh, Shivanya can take the rest seven? now? Yeah, I'm checking my bingo card. Yeah, that was definitely not on my bingo card. <laughs> not even close, and I think we're seeing why, as he was able to get use that DBS just to his advantage. Not See, only this is how you play, right? Man, Holding an angle. He gave us a glimmer of hope, and look at that. He ended up using the DBS to just take over this spot that ultimately ended up getting him an extra elimination point at the end. Yeah, we're starting to see some highlight plays for some names, right? Uh, at least they should be 70 plus the points. Match, ranking 16 total points on the side of Death Wolf is going to feel pretty good. Insanity 15. This is why, guys, some of that a little bit you can't really take and interviews and saying this is your comeback very day. Consistent so far. 14 okay. points. They're Navi. They're going to be really good the, uh, going into tomorrow. Who is it? As a yep, I mean, a Adder said it in the PMGC interview and, and they failed to of, make it to the grand final, the right? The board, Whichever hyper, player run as we who talked you know uh, best at some point so you need to draw at the, the line end, and say there's only so much qualify. we can do. And I mean, it's all going to come down to what ends oh up God, on this first page. Oof. Wow, it's Sanity Sports. <laughs> actually passed up in hyper and hyper there at seventh place remember folks it is top eight that move on right now the current cutoff is 49 points the problem though is we're gonna have whoo a lot of teams play tomorrow and they're gonna play six matches so that's gonna make things very interesting you're gonna have teams like nigma galaxy coming back some other big names as well that's gonna definitely but seriously though we throw so, yesterday so honestly bad. with that performance from insanity seven i think we need to see a like 12 to 15 elimination chicken dinner for them to feel somewhat comfortable and the same goes for n hyper what do you think yeah, I'm with you. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that too with N Hyper there because I was kind of hyping up N Hyper. Uh, you know what? If, if they do want to get a chance, this is what they need to do for Insanity. Now, with the way that they have positioned themselves, that's what they need to do as well. They need to be able to get those extra eliminations. And one team that we actually haven't really gotten a chance to talk about is going to be Next Rio. Never knew now we played yeah, PUBG Next competitive. Rhea, what do you think about them? Ooh, to me, Ooh. I mean, they're, they're just being too quiet. They're, they're sneaky consistently the first day in regards to they were able to get i think it was uh two top four finishes but they're just too quiet for me i want to i want to see like more eliminations so i want to see them being able to place a little bit higher i think so far today they really haven't finished anywhere near the top five Oof, that's tough you know dk what do you think but you back think like even if they don't expect a little bit more from so far? 69 cut of points i wish i would i would say but back to the topic I mean, that definitely going to be looking over on towards if we range, you know go back and you know watch the games I mean, sure we got them in that third can place. you guys they see potential in the lineup a of do you think on, but again not managing to lock this in lineup has potential yet. and it has room to grow yeah, and then of course, you know, for me, I'm for the future, for the rest fired. of the year. Uh, just seeing that last performance. Or do you guys need? Do you guys think there, but we need the time, roster one change? More match left to go. What one do you guys feel about it? Let you me know. know if they're able to go from. The, ooh, we'll be pretty uh we'll be pretty good but guys of course we gotta give a big shout out to none other than real me with their 12 plus pro guys it elevates your photography experience with 120 x if you can perform also, one pop proper yeah, push-up then well. and hyper so guys, will win what today. do you mean my push-up is not proper Happy what do you mean by proper push-up what's wrong with my push-up i'm actually gonna google proper push-up I'm 
gonna force you guys to watch it with me, okay? Shut up, stream. What do you mean? Your bumbo was in the sky? Okay. Is this the proper push-up? Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. This is gonna be an example of a pushing assessment. Shut up, shut up. Not pushing assessment. This is the last match, guys. Diamond push-ups. What is diamond push-ups? What? You have all the names for different kinds of push-ups? Dude, that guy's, that guy's chest is like as big as my head. I'm gonna show you guys because we have nothing to do, right? Dude, this this guy's arm. Take up two thirds of your arm. So his his chest is as big as my head. Really Jeez. Your arm that much bigger. A lot of guys think it's just by be very involved because you gotta keep your butt up. Oh, okay. This is this is a so-called diamond push-up. Set it on your tricep or bench. But body weight. I can't believe I'm actually searching for it, bro. This. How hard is it? I feel I, I personally think it's really hard. I think just by just by taking a look at the guy's muscle, I feel like that's gonna be hard. Diamond push-up is easy for skinny guys. Shiva shout out. Kaya, what up? What's up, everybody? We're back. I'm Hot Jukes here with 7WG and DK Casts. This is the final game of day number two. Final game. And the last game for Group B. So hopefully we can go beyond the top and see some insane plays here. Uh, and it has to be on the side of N Hyper or Insanity or they are going home. DK, what are the odds that we see one of these teams get 20 plus points in this match? Give it to me. Oh, based on what we've had, uh, yeah, I think what the what what Seven is saying over there, you know, uh, I'm, I'm into my eye. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. <laughs> Your name's way too long, Kia. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be low to slim. I would say. I mean. Get a membership. I'll consider pronouncing your whole, all of your name. Clutch up like they've not yet clutched up before. It's gonna be really tough for them to pull that one out of the hat. Oof. Especially in the last game with teams that are so desperate. Not to mention, you got teams like. Furtis Pro, who have nothing to lose, that can just all of a sudden go crazy just for the fun of it. That makes things extra spicy. We've seen that happen before plenty of times, right, Seven? We have seen it. And yesterday, talking about Virtus Pro, the last match was the one that actually they ended up playing and getting most of their points for the day. Oh, unreal. It's 1 a.m. for me. It's about that time, baby. Here oh, we go. Final okay. match of the day. Final DK, match of the day. Thank you so much. It's gonna be me and seven rounding this one out as we headed to the final game and here we go plane path on the south side let's get it going here seven it's the final countdown final. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of there but we we're talking about in hyper right we we're talking about uh some of the other teams like insanity sports but I, I, I want to take a second now that we actually have extra time here to talk about like next Ruya. Next Ruya, it's only at 66 points in my mind. And once again, for everybody currently watching, we're supporting Falcons. Falcons? We chat. don't even. Falcons doesn't need to be supported. But I think the is going to be They're between 75 They're to 80 points, depending on what some of the other teams do tomorrow. <laughs> so next Ruya is currently not safe. 
I'm going to be looking at Team Liquid. I know you called them out as well, Hot Dukes. <sighs> Those teams are not safe, even though it might appear that they are. Yeah, definitely. I mean, because it, it looks they look good right now. They look nice and cozy, but with six matches if nhp lose you will not go to brazil even if they win i won't be able to participate in the pmgo but we will be back they're going to know PMSL. exactly how many points we'll be back need, with so the they can adjust guys. their strategies at will so yeah next ria team liquid insanity and end hyper need to have a monster oh my game God. here if they want to stand a chance it's either north or east i will say already east. zebra master smoke gaming they're good I think they are definitely. I mean, we had one of the Miramar zone, but we were uh, doing the on that. Yes, yeah, right. So, yeah, a hundred percent. First zone, as you were mentioning, they're going all the way to the east. Okay, a little bit of water, a little bit of toxicity. Finally, thank you, thank you, Miramar. This is what I've been asking for. But yeah, I'm with you, Smoke Gaming. I mean, they have played so so well for a team that a lot of people, when we speak globally, have no idea who they are. We kind of mentioned them at the beginning of the show yesterday. They are just a bunch Game of zone. misfits players from Brazil, from the Brazil region. NHP play with those zones better? Waiting for the chance, and this is zones why competitive. I was picking them as my black boy. <laughs> You're like, like crying in the chat. Advantage. I know, I know. I feel you guys. I feel you guys. Able to get their what a zone. And also, I hey, even if guys. for some reason it doesn't end up working out for them, they're at least putting themselves in a lot of eyes for a lot of people. Do that situation could possibly end up picking done? up when it comes down to smoke gaming you think it's and done zebra masters 80, they have been 80s? a big surprise for me too because that team being able to start <sighs> off with the chicken dinner usually i'm like okay am i gonna be getting catfish here like vampire tours has been doing gg <laughs> yeah. be a little <laughs> bit more yeah, and Julie runs zebra. over i mean they you guys also gotten three top three finishes which is Oof. great too for that team consistency is key and that is when next through yet that's the big Biggest question mark for me and Hot Juke says we're, yeah, we're going to be winning here to see really what some of these teams are doing. I get a chance to talk about them a little bit more. They haven't had any like pop off wins, right? <clears> the <throat> good thing with Next Ruya is that sometimes even I love the way zone placing I group up with a weird competitive zone. I would zone. say what? a lot of teams would come down and end up with zero eliminations. My save if even one elimination, is that even next enough? Ria does Anymore? have one match that they have played nah, that's where they enough. ended up in 15th place. Unless I and NRX go seven out eliminations. Like now. So if I was to pick any of those teams to kind of just secure the spot here from Group B on their last game before we go into tomorrow <sighs> where they're not going to be playing, <sighs> Next, Ruya might be one of those consistent teams to be able to do that. Mm, it's totally possible. The only thing is that you mentioned they haven't had that, you know, that top two finish. But it's always good to see them. Because I always said this is what it takes in order to be a champion. I got to say, as long as NHP is annoying When you don't have acts. a good placement or just the zone's not favoring you, you got to put up some points. And next, Ruya did that, right? 15th place, seven eliminations. Seven points is nothing to shake your head at. You know, the problem is, is that when you get a good game, a good position... You got to get, you got to soak up as many as you can. Falcon, you 80 20, to 200 point points tomorrow, bro. That's, we've seen that's, from some of these other that's squads, crazy. right? I feel like and, 150, uh, that's maybe. That's not something we've seen yet from a team like Next Maybe Rio. 150. So this is their final opportunity to do that. Bro. Now, we have seen that from Team Liquid, right? And we saw that today, yep. right? A chicken dinner. Group C teams are points. struggling today. That Tomorrow's won't be game easy for them. Needed. And I think they could definitely use one more. I think they should be nice here. rotation and, uh, from Brazil to you know, NA. <laughs> Gino was Zebra Master. <laughs> These guys. Right. Man, it's the first game of the day of the whole tournament, Seven. 15 elimination chicken dinner. I think that after they got that, their confidence just shot so high. And they've just been riding that train ever since. They did. And I mean, that that's the main thing, right? Starting off with the right foot, starting off in the right... Uh, atmosphere as well with them 15 elims with the chicken dinner can they maybe they want to try to duplicate that right maybe they just don't want to be in the top eight maybe they want to say they ended up in the actual top three for prelims and have some teams whenever they do end up going to main event a little bit scared to try to make them as a feeder team because that's going to end up happening at some point right even though all these good teams we're going to have so many amazing teams when we get to main event some teams are just bound to not be able to perform Even well, the para just bought a bmw m4 series car team you want to kind of with, with hey, parabus money he can he can buy any cars against want. all these teams we were in the top three so you might want to mod delete everything us. i think if because you decide it's, to do that and you were spamming. talking about team liquid i feel like if team liquid team liquid they don't even have to get a chicken dinner here although it would be much much preferred if this team can possibly get anywhere from seven to nine points they will be in a much much safer spot but right now sitting at 70 points for team liquid Oof. if they were to go out 
man, tomorrow they're either going to be getting white hair, the players, or they're going to start to lose a lot of hair and a lot of nails because it's going to be a nail biter. Yeah, this is only so hard for uh, Right now, the cutoff is. Uh, where is it at? I believe it's at Royals of War. Yeah, in eighth place yeah. with oh, 49 what? points. Yeah, that's Didn't not hear it? gonna do it. 70 is gonna be a little bit too scary for sure. So let's see what happens here. Is uh, two teams that we know for sure are not gonna make it are gonna be going at it here. Don't feel bad, The Fragger guy has a potential. You need to work. Xavier, you need Curtis to work with IGL. Still have a lot of time for PMSL. They're in a lesser and a comeback stronger. The yeah. Try to throw that molly on the Milky Way. And yeah, these guys are going to just keep on pushing. So nothing really too crazy happening so far just yet. But like you mentioned, you said 7-8. Honestly, if I'm Team Liquid, I'm thinking we need at least 10 to 15 to feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. tomorrow is going to be just so sketchy. There's so many still monster squads, even though some of them haven't really performed as well as we expected. I mean, who knows? I think the best case scenario for these teams, like I'm talking next Ruya, you know, oh, we need a team looking to die now. I think I, I you're know. just hoping that Team Falcons destroy everybody and soak up all the points. Yeah, and even then, as much as we would like for that to happen, right? You're gonna have other teams, like you were mentioning from Group A, and one of the teams that's definitely gonna be coming to mind, at least for me, is gonna be none other than Nigma Galaxy. They're not gonna have mm. to worry about DX. Well, they're going to have three the the Hopefully the nobody ends Shifu. up challenging them in Pachinki. And they're going to be able to set their games up. They're going to be able to play a lot better and not just play it without knowing Ooh. what the heck was going oh. on. As Nate just destroys that player from Virtuous Pro. And even though DX the Xavier didn't give us a hot drop in this last match, they are starting to take an early fight, which I'm okay with. You know what? Trying to get those points. It is going to be looking very, very unlikely for this team to even make it. Unless unless dukes they end up with like 25 plus points it could be possible and they might be uh trying to go for the urgency but it's gonna be a lot harder considering that they already lost one player yeah Just you, you said kills. it right there you know losing a player like that is gonna pretty much ruin that chance so real real tough one there i mean man it's so crazy we saw this team perform so well at tmgc but come prelims time that those hot drops with nigma galaxy did not help them by any means so We'll see what ends up happening here. Oh. The next zone is about to pop. Oh, I thought it went all the way to the right for a second. Jeez. I was like, oh, water circle? But hey, we still got a little bit of water in play as we head towards me. You the here. F I for NHP already, man. Not nah, Bendita's going to be in there. I thought for some bye reason. Bye-bye, guys. See you guys you know back in I'll, NA. I'll take, this. I'll take this because it's going to force so many teams there to push up. We're going to be probably seeing a little bit of action there <laughs> as their rotations are going to be Every single down. time. Every single time. Even though they I think say, if you want to win PMGO, right? If you're playing with NHP, whichever, eight, wherever, when NHP drop, you just go to the completely opposite side and stay there. And you will get a chicken dinner. Hopefully trying to create an even bigger gap. Because imagine how much of a confidence booster that would be for peace, that man. team, right? If they end up being first place in this and they end up beating the Falcons, we don't know what the Falcons are going to be doing tomorrow. We can definitely speculate and do all this and that. Yeah. But if for some reason Smoke Gaming can finish off the day here with the chicken dinner, that will set them up even better for being able to get that first place and qualifying for that main event. For sure. We don't even know. Yeah, you're right. Team Falcons could go off, soak up all the points, and ruin some of the teams at the bottom. Or they could decide, hey, you know what? We don't even need points. We know we're getting top eight. Let's yep. just start destroying some of the teams that we don't even want to see in the finals, right? So uh, One of that's the something worst that a lot zone. of these squads have to consider <laughs> as well. I think that's why we're seeing teams like Death Wolves. You can understand my frustration. So well here. They have a really yeah. good position in this circle too. They're a qualifying like, the team. They already have 40 points on the board. A good game here. They're going to have a, a, a pretty smooth ride tomorrow because... There are those NHP, to be honest, playing like new. I feel like yesterday, yeah, games, seven, but today, teams know I feel like they've done it, and that's not a place better things. Where you need like, points. they've done oh, things I'm Liquid expecting from them. Going against Vampire, but yesterday, yeah, this is a like huge new. fight, and Team Liquid lose one. That's going to hurt, and they know it's against Vampire, so I wouldn't be surprised if the rest of Team Liquid just take off, and it looks like that's exactly what they're trying to do. That is going to be a massive fight there. Even though it was just one player, Vampire Esports taking at least one of the players from a team that needs to do something to secure, make it a little bit safer for themselves tomorrow when they're not going to be playing Team Liquid. Vampire Esports, you know what? A, a lackluster performance here in day one. Most of their points are coming in from that first chicken dinner in uh, in Sandhawk, where it seems like, okay, 
we're getting flashes the way that they were playing the way that they were positioning themselves spreading out too nothing was working everything was working out their way but so far here it's looking a lot different now we got a fight here coming up against dx and versus pro two teams that at this point we know that they're going to be end up going home with the way that they've been able to put up those points but you know oh. what? why not let's get something for the highlight and dx chew is not able DX. to clutch up you know who is able to clutch up virtuous pro because virtuous pro is trying to do exactly what they did yesterday in the last match get as many points as possible and stop those teams that actually need the points at the top from getting them hey you know what play spoiler right that's all you could do at this point because you know you're not making it to the main event so hey play spoiler oh, get some nice eliminations what? maybe put something on the highlight reel for yourself Pog is free who knows there's plenty of times where you see a like, team that doesn't man, make it like gaming this is seven, right in front of them but they had one standout performer do so well and then we see that player get picked up by a different squad that's what i'm saying leave a lasting impression on the crowd too they might be able to pump up their numbers on social media for all the players out there make sure you guys give them a follow if you do end up having a favorite player after this tournament and smoke gaming is going to be giving us one more oh i thought it was oh man i was ready gotta go i was ready for the <laughs> for Dukes. i was ready for yes. the car to just oh the first got knocked by you boy didn't end up happening the team that i was talking about next Ria. here we go next Ria being able to connect on some shots there getting those eliminations and then we switch over to dx and dx is just trying to finish richards pro after only after only just just one player this is the last player for dx right here yeah this is the last player last game we're gonna see for dx for this tournament and you can see him just go with some shots he's like peek me peek me come on you know you're not making it let's have do some it. fun let's won't. have a battle <laughs> and uh that nade ain't gonna do it he only has bandages left so, yeah, that's going to be a GG for both of these squads. I really want to see, you know, I want to keep an eye on some of these teams that are going to be on that cutoff. I'm talking about, you know, in Hyper, Insanity, and Xruria, Team Liquid. Those are what I have my eyes on right now. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to be looking at uh, Nexria for sure. Uh, I've been talking about them too, and I'm going to be looking at some of the other Rotation teams too from slow. as well. There's literally the nothing they can do, big, big bro. Way. Not zone, no, all the way. Be looking at death walls, but Harsh I shift to the north end, to the north end, north and north again. Best performing team so far out of Group C, which is wild to me because this is a qualifier <laughs> team. A lot of people might have not had high hopes for them. I know some of us, especially you guys, were saying, hey, this team could definitely follow up on the momentum that they were able to get last Saturday on the finals for those qualifiers. And so far, they've been doing so. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. A team that, if they even want to get a chance to fight for the top eight tomorrow, All Glory Gaming. All Glory Gaming saw Virtuous Pro going into the last match yesterday with just three points. And then uh, Old Glory Gaming said, you know what? Hold my real knee. Let me show you what I can do. And they decided to uh, one less them with only two <laughs> two points for the whole That's day. Tough. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that really is just insane. I mean, that's worse than what we saw yesterday, right? Um, yep. So we'll see how they decide to end the day off. Uh, they all the it's fine, up, You don't you know, have to, they, like, they get no, delete that. Sponge no, this the message, game. Who knows what happen, screen, but, would, like, talk ugh, that is a, an abysmal performance it's fine. for sure. It is really crazy, Seven, like, how we can't have well more, more opinions, these qualifier fine, teams have been performing here. I mean, you look at it. So well, AGG break two Zebra points. Master, <laughs> qualifying team, top two so far. I don't know, man. Uh, out of these groups, and then not to mention, uh, oh, you know, out of group C, South Shift, please. The Death Wolves pop off has been insane. But you know what? We gotta Bro. get this game done. This with is the kind of zone. If, even if you Sandler, give me the map so screen, really I won't here. be able to know how you enter to the zone. Death wolves are gonna be on that east side, looking good. And, and they have the they're up in the north, and one team in smoke gaming really needs those in front points. of them. It's gonna be next real. They only have one so far, but they do have. They gotta fight a smoke. Up. And that's the yeah, definitely that's the last right. team you want to fight in this lobby. Only sitting next real. Let me look at the map here. The overall 66 points. Man, 10 more points. That, that's what we wanted to see out of them. And there you go. DX getting eliminated. A team that a lot of people had high expectations for in this PMGO. Aren't even going to be making it to the main event. Tomorrow they're not going to be playing. So from now on, they're just going to be... They're probably going to just start going back to the hotel and start packing. Fireflux, another team that I felt like we, were, we thought, and I personally thought, was going to be one of the heavy hitters here from Group C. They're having an abysmal performance as well here so far today by only being able to get those 17 points. We need to see a lot more out of this team. But we can't, I feel I feel like I keep saying that out of a lot of yeah. teams. And there's only so much that a they can NHB do. Needs a Zebra AGG Masters is trying to take advantage here of All Glory Gaming. And All Glory Gaming is trying to finish the day off with at least more than two points. 
Uh, no, they already have one of their players down. Zebra Master, nice little return knock here. It's time to keep your tournament alive. If you're all glory gaming, you really oh, need they're to fighting. summon Oh, they're fighting. Oh, give me fighting NHP now. Star gun knocked. And start popping off. That nade looks good, though. Oh, yeah, and it oh my is. Gosh, the the fights, bro. Molotov's going to get him. So here comes out the pump shotguns looking to finish out the rest of all glory gaming. They only have one player up, and he's about to... To go for yeah, I thought he saw him there for a second. Nope, that Molotov or stun oh, grenade no, is gonna do it. He stuns himself. Start gonna unlock again. And they are gonna be oh, Smith. Get a FF both of the smoke. Does he see him? And he does. Third unlock okay, the two. Yeah, for a second, I didn't. <laughs> Third unlock the two of the smoke gaming. Which is kind of hugging each other. FS got Thursday. So that's Ooh. gonna do it there for all glory gaming. Three points on the day. But if there's one guy. And jokes, this is another fight. Caprizi and Benner left. Here. And Hyper going no, up Caprizi. Smoke gaming. Smoke gaming is pretty much said and done. They might not want to see And Hyper going to the main event. And Hyper. No! Oh. One player is still alive. And ladies and gentlemen, whatever hope, it is whatever all. comeback it we is were all. hoping over, for, guys. that And Hyper would have. It gets ended right there, and that's another team that if the points do end up holding and our predictions end up staying the way that we've been thinking it's going to happen, and Hyper is going to end up getting sent home. Yeah, it's over with. It's See, you over with. You See you guys back in the night. See you guys back in the night. They're going to have some easy points. Bro, it's Wolves. smoke they're gaming as well. Uh, 12 points in, yep. yeah, in well, six games. At so, least we have Nova in the yeah, finals, guys. And Hyper done for, I think, at this point, unless... Unless we see those top teams just do that, and these guys put up goose eggs, but it has not looked like that so at far. At least they got so one kill. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? Well, all we can look at is right now, and that's next Ruya, right? Bruh. Next Ruya is Better one of those teams the two. that can make it happen. Insanity as well, trying to put up some points on the board. They have four eliminations with only three players up. I love to see teams do everything they can to try and keep their hopes alive all the way to the last second. Yeah, especially these two teams, like you were mentioning. There At least NHP got 53 points with points zero synergy. Then, <laughs> I don't think they have zero synergy. Right now I think they're lacking well, synergy for sure, but I don't think they have zero numbers. synergy. The zone is going to be closing in. The circle is going to be closing in. Let's see yeah, what we're going to end up going. Vampire Esports still time. within the compound. This is what this team is usually good at. Being able to hold angles, be able to control an area. And then if people start pushing towards them, they're going to be able to just start eliminating them. So I don't know this specific area of the map well, but like, are there any spots you think you guys think they can close in? With not circle popped out in and they're in line zone? Saying, like, yeah, Vampire really needed the position here, right? <laughs> you know, this is what they do best. When they get an easy zone, all they got to do is just look at everybody and shoot at anything that moves. Yeah, they're definitely going to dominate. Smoke Gaming, though, uh, getting knocked here. That's going to be pretty big. Meanwhile, we're going back and forth. This is Influence Rage. Able to get the finish onto Smoke. What a performance from Smoke Gaming, everybody. You got to give them their flowers We'll be seeing Nova sure. we'll really in the main event. Pull out all the stops here in the uh, 12 games that they played. With Smoke Gaming, I mean, they've just been such a surprise. We're just First tournament together, this performance is to talk expected. About them, especially when we go to the main event. I just hope they great, wouldn't, great they didn't do, out of them. I they think didn't they wanted do too, to close like, that out a bad, little bit better. Like but yesterday. you know what, they'll, they'll end yesterday up taking those like, points. And here we go. Insanity now there. trying to jump, <laughs> trying to jump mountains, trying to jump little cliffs here and there. But they got to be careful because this is a team that needs the, the points. They need to slow down their play. If possible, as long as they get inside DBS nerf, the zone, people are still Zebra using Masters, it. Why, why, why there's a lack? Smack down the middle of, of the circle, so they're going to be just fine for a little bit until they have to push out of that. Insanity now gets the knocked. Curse. There you go. The More curse players being knocked there. And eliminated is from Insanity internet? Sports. That is not what you want to see out of a team that needs the points. Wait, is it my internet or what? What? Not what you want to see out of a team that needs the points, Hot Jukes. Oh, just such a tough situation. You could see them uh, pretty much panicking at this point. That's the tough part. Is like when you know you have so much on the line. This is your last game, and you're so far behind. You could just kind of have those little moments where you just don't know what to do, and you just try to figure it out. And I think that's what we saw that drive away. Um, really, that's how, I think that's exactly what happened to them. So we'll see what they opt to do. They are currently the have the most eliminations so far, which is good. But they're going to need a lot more than just that. We'll see what happens. Meanwhile, you got Vampire, like we talked about earlier, big chilling, just like saying, all right, yeah, with this zone, we should have... How many team teams going to qualify for main event? Uh, top eight. From Insanity, not and finished. That's only one player up for them. It's not looking good. 
Yeah, it's not looking good at all there for Sanity Sports. We saw them being able to get some eliminations. We thought maybe it was going to be a turntable. They could have maybe done enough, but it's going to be just making it tougher and tougher for them. One team that's looking to secure those extra points, Team Liquid. You see them there towards the bottom. They're chilling. They're waiting to see what's going to be happening between all these teams. And earlier, we saw Influence Rage. We saw Influence Rage being it was out fun in the watching open, our streams, if I I'll be keep, I'll, I'll be doing more of those. By the way, guys, I'm, I'm still doing the uh, PO watch parties every single open. week. So, Influence Rage, English translations. If they, if they are gonna be staying, if you guys want to hear you know, Nova POV, the team POV, and the translated English, absolutely make sure you trying to figure out like my stream and uh in this spot or what the, what's going to happen when the next get a subscription closes, as it's getting closer and closer subscribe to, to my shutting channel down and showing us what the new zone it's going to be where are we going Bro, this lineup uh, very make top much a. on what the side of vampire next? so you can see them now well start we will Newsy, definitely talk about mistakes have a pretty good and position in, in the meantime match. we will are, we are still we're recruiting rage centered up maybe the rest of the team because we're a partnership team well, we got directly invited to pmsl dead so we're literally still we'll recruiting players and uh do the potential adjustments and stuff hoorah for that northern position nice little knock there from newsy on a little boy but look at this location they have all the sight lines in the world seven yeah, and this is what I was talking about in regards to Newsy and Vampire Esports and Influence Rage just being out there in the open, even though they do have a shack now. That's exactly what I was scared about with Influence Rage, just being a little bit too How the seeing the teams? If Vampire you think Esports Nova will destroy them in the lobby? That compound that they were next. We Personally, I there. feel like Esports, Nova... They're trying to close it out in a good day here. They're trying, they're trying to finish off with some extra points as well. Fifth, I feel like around fifth Ria. place. This is a team that they're probably going to end up challenging tomorrow when it gets to the points. And when we talk about the top eight... But so uh, rotation is still like kind of... Sports, like Nova's rotation, I feel like, can prevail in this tournament. Oh, that's tough. For a second, speaking. I had a lot of. Are you doing watch parties for PMGO finals? Yes, I'm doing. Left, I'm know? doing every single him, day for PMGO. Making it happen by himself, but unfortunately, it looks like that was. So every day when PMGO starts, time. just so open my channel. I'll be Ugh, streaming. Not those doing as well. Even if NHP, either, my team didn't qualify. Good the main thing event. for these teams like Team Liquid and Next Rhea. They have a big opportunity here. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. As Next Rhea forced out in the open, Frozen gets knocked. Most likely gonna get thirsted. Here they come with the push though, trying to take out this last player. From Hura, and they do a, a, a perfect time. Is it Hora or Hora? That was or, absolutely like, beautiful because not only do they end up getting that player, they're their first be tournament, and they did a great job. With the player that was knocked, and we're just hoping they could full control of they could have done better, to be honest. and give them a little bit extra cover too. Now we have Vampire Esports. This is when they get the scariest. Are they have the same timing for main event as well? I believe shine. so. Yes. As he's going to be looking at everything and anything. Just give me a pixel. Give me a Hora? tiny bit of that head. So I can start hitting them headshots. Is it called a war eye sports? Nobody right. is doing that for him. Luckily for the other team. One hundred percent. Let's take a look here at Death Wolf starting to keep eyes on Team Castle. Honestly, in this position, they either need to push them out or just kind of work as neighbors. But instead, they head. Oh, they're splitting. This GG, is dangerous. Relic. They are starting to focus on a lot of different teams. And that can make things tough for them. How many Chin Chinese team will play? Uh, only one. That, hey, you know what? They're in trouble. Let's third party this. One team will play. They are going to try to third party that too. And you know what? Team Liquid finally ended up coming out of where they were. They end up getting eliminated. But I think they ended up with some points there. And Team Queso making sure that they make Wolves pay as they're eliminating all these players here. I keep thinking about Dancing Wolves, man. That's just stuck in my head. I know it's not. I know it's Death Wolves. There you go. Death Wolves <laughs> getting eliminated by Team Queso. And now next, we are trying to find their next position. Fire Flux, Death Wolves fighting. Everybody's just starting to fight here. As Vampire Esports ended up losing one player as well. Well, all this madness is happening, Hajux. Oh, it's an absolute war right now. But I'll tell you who's on top. It's Next Rhea. Next Rhea with six eliminations. All four players up. They're doing exactly what they need to do to try to keep their tournament hopes alive. They want to be able to pull, to do it at least a double elimination chicken dinner with this nade. If it's able to thread the needle, that could do Ooh. it. And he does get a one. That's Zwolf. Able to get a double nade. And that's a finish. So beautiful play he's gonna try to get back to his team and those points are gonna be horror at this time you got fire flux no idea dr strange personally i would just 
say it as yes, like horror where like there he was gonna try to be a bit of an anchor to his team fire flux so you see lux being able to spot somebody there from dead walls he's gonna be taking some shots it's gonna be hard to finesse those shots there through the stairs the as he ends up getting found there by influence rage he's gonna get eliminated death wolves taking full advantage of this third party here by influence rage as they're gonna be making the push here towards fire flux and now it's going back and forth now catch being catch. able to find an off angle he's gonna be able to get him team castle wants to get involved in this fight everybody wants to get involved in this fight right here hot Jukes. last match of the day you got to get as many points as you want death wolves they need them and they're trying to press the issue here they say you know what we got three eliminations can we get this one here he's got the ump Ooh, oh trying to get those this. shots they're both lit oh he get one knock, he he get the other, but it's not gonna work out as fire flux clutch that one at the last second but here comes papa blue starting to press the issue meanwhile next Rhea seven eliminations oh only one player up gets a critical knock there he does end up getting a critical team Keso gets eliminated as well next Rhea frozen ends up getting knocked there by vampire esports from the players that are still alive from vampire esports look at influence rage they were super exposed at one point luckily for them vampire esports ended up getting rotated they lost some players and now they are cr the current team smack down the middle in just a little shack with Zebra Masters very, very close to them, it's going to be two players there still alive. Shivan is English or first Ruya, language? No, it's not. Good. This team, the team Falcon's still third, bro. They got too many points gets yesterday. It's going to be just one player now from next Rhea, but I think possibly could they done enough? <laughs> Hopefully, NHB comes back stronger. In PMSL Americas, are you playing the PMSL qualifiers, Relic? Your team? You and your team? Are you playing those? Here, 2 1 split. Newsy trying to give him that all. I saw you doing content for NBA Infinite. Meanwhile, I've been playing that, that game as well. Squad. Me personally. That was influence rage. That nade though. All I right I main James Harden man. For nah, that card said, is. Oh, you know what? That card with the step back. Who cares about the middle matches? Deadly. It's all about how you start and how you finish. <clears throat> and if you can finish on a win, they're gonna definitely take that. I wouldn't be surprised if this team does end up coming out with a win, but it's not gonna be easy because they still have influence rage, even though influence rage is currently in a shack. Anything can happen here. GG Shifu. Pop all the tires. <laughs> I saw your DM by the way, Shifu, but I didn't have time to reply. I'll sort this out with the team and then it's gonna be so difficult to leave this shack. Vampires just staring at it right now. Um no smokes on the side of Diego, that's not good. But we do see one of their teammates has one in hand already. Meanwhile, next Rio with only a single player up. Just trying to secure possibly an extra placement. Any little point that they can get. Because where they're currently standing on the leaderboard, Seven, I mean, this could be the difference. Literally, one elimination here could be the difference between 8th and ninth place. Yeah, I mean, we saw it here coming in, into the prelims by the finals qualifiers. What The final team, Inca, was able to make it by just one point. So any point can matter. Vampire here, 9 and kills. going to be trying to squeeze them. Vampire Esports getting a little bit more focus here on in regards to Influence Rage. But this is the time. This is the time when if you are the next real player that's still alive, you try to move up a little bit closer. You try to get those angles. You try to set yourself up that if you are able to possibly knock somebody, confirm that into elimination and get those extra points as Tony K has to hit the floor there because he's starting to get shot by influence rage. It looks like we're going to go down to the final circle here. Stage number nine. Eight seconds left on the clock, guys. You better start having your plays in your mind because, yeah, here come the smokes. This zone is about to go well, into nothing. I think NRX qualified. And Vampire Esports now letting go of all those smokes that they have. Luckily for them, Ooh, they still so had a vehicle. Chunks. Did you see how much hell that blue zone is taking? Yeah, you don't want to oh, let it touch oh. you at all. And next Ruya is going to be taking some shots oh. here. This is what I was expecting to see out of next Ruya. Setting themselves up to get those extra angles. And if Influence Rage oh. ever had a chance to make this push, it's going to be now as Little Boy and the Influence Rage players start pushing up to Vampire Esports because they're distracted by next Ruya. Can you take it off his backpack just to kind of eliminate just any kind of Ooh. height at all? Here comes a big nade though for oh. little boy. Vampire. Are in a I have position, saved a lot of nades for a vampire. This absolute red zone coming towards them. Tony K dip diving and dodging behind those hay bales. But here comes Influence Rage. Next re on the other side trying to play as quiet as possible. I don't think ANF realizes that he's there. So let's see what they decide to do. Newsy gets knocked. Only one player up left and it's Tony K. And Vampire Esports, something that looked easy, like they were going to be able to close out the match. It's not going to be looking like that anymore, especially after this new circle. Tony K, we know what he's, he's on able fire. 
able to do but he is gonna be on fire his health is gonna be going down influence range truly getting themselves set up perfectly here and he is wow. just stuck look at where this next Ruya player is at and next Ruya ladies and gentlemen we asked for them to show us something in this last next match Ruya. and they're showing us everything even if it's just one player he's oh, some shots there new boy he's able to spot him with a quick he's reflex set back and it's gonna come down to influence range and this is oh. there you go he's gonna get that Tony K it's gonna come down to next Ruya oh, oh. Rage, new boy oh nice peek he has, he, he's on a mass, he's, he's on a mass, can this be a clutch? He has the, he has the cover, oh. he has to hit the shot. He almost oh. did that, but it's He almost Diego clutched that shit. That went that one, you can just see the, whoo, that side of relief Yo boy's like, man, easy, bro. What a finish, though. Yo boy's mad. Yo boy's mad, mad. At the last second, they finally stood up enough to hold in the last game. The main event. But of course, you cannot take the flowers away from Influence Rage. It's about time we see one of these partnership teams put in work here. We do, and this is a team that definitely needed a chicken dinner. They started off the day awful. They were able to get some points here and there, but we wanted to see more. We wanted to see the Influence Rage that we are used to. And yeah, point at it. Point at the logo because this is the team that we were expecting. But overall, man, even though Influence Rage won there, that next real player, Kane, my goodness. That was oh. absolutely beautiful. The peaks he was doing, if he would have just stayed a little bit longer with those peaks, I think he would have been able to clutch that 2v1 at the end. Imagine if he had just one extra piece of utility. DK, I know you were watching this one. What did you think about that last match? All I can say is boom, boom, boom. It was action. It was hits. It was insanity all over the place. But what a play, though. I mean, vampires, right? We saw them hit that high ground into the later stages. They just hung on there. They just stuck there and being an absolute nuisance. But you gotta give the respect to where it's due, right? Next, Rhea holding steady, playing such a strong game. And I mean, Kain, oh, that game so, so close. Oh, he saw there and Hyper getting finished out. Uh, it was comeback day. They had a great start, but just weren't able to get the finishes that they want. So they are not looking good at all. They're going to need a pretty much a miracle if they want to make it into the main event tomorrow. You're going to have to have a bunch of teams put up absolute goose eggs. And that is very streaming unlikely. Tomorrow? Yes, streaming tomorrow? Yes, I'll be streaming tomorrow as well, Empire. guys. Popping off. So I won't. I will. They try to get I that won't main stop position, streaming because my team didn't qualify so to the main stage. It's just so but I will be still watching every shots, single day though, of the like PMGO. So make sure you they were, they were so hit the subscribe close. button and hit the like button for the stream. Dude, right there. That and so we'll check the final leaderboard and we'll call it a day. It's already 1:30 a.m. for me, guys. Able to take it with 19 points. Yes, I'm, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Acting yes. like we wanted to, 17 points, and finally we get some signs of life. Did somebody hit him with the defibrillator? Vampire Esports. They ended up getting a beautiful spot. They were able to take full advantage of it. 14 points for them. That is a good little bounce back there from what we've seen in the previous four matches. Absolutely. I mean, they started off so strong and they ended with a solid match as well. They'll have six more matches tomorrow to be able to make it on. Of course, we got to give. A big shout out to all the teams that made it here in the first place. You know, for all the teams in Group B, this is going to be it for them. And unfortunately, there's quite a few of them that we know for sure are not going to make it into the main event. So big ups for them. Great effort. Hopefully we could see them put in some work. And, you know, we might see some of these players here in the future. Can so. you tell me how many oh, South for East sure. Asian teams will play in the main event? I don't a know. A lot of us were like having any hopes, any hopes, but it is a brand new team, right? I feel like they're going to need a little bit more time. They were thrown into the Wolves here at a PMG at a global event. I don't think they were quite ready for that. Give them some time. Let them cook. Maybe we'll end up going back to the NA hopes that they used to be. But back to the topic. The dream, how do you guys? Dream. What DK, do you guys think the lineup for to you here? Do you think they got uh, a potential in them? The do you think we should what? roster change? Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. We're gonna go ahead and take it to a quick interview, and we'll be right back. The last chicken dinner winner for today was Influence Rage, and I'm here with Federal, the player from Influence Rage. And I think after the whole PMGO, I'm gonna lose maybe another 5kg because all the push-ups, bro. For real. Today, work as a plan. Hoje foi um dia muito difícil também para o time da Influence Rage e também é um dia muito agressivo de forma geral aqui no campeonato. Tudo que vocês planejaram deu certo? 
pode falar. Bom, é, a gente não conseguiu encaixar nosso jogo no, nas cinco primeiras partidas, né? Teve trocação de spot, teve várias coisas, mas. It looks like a real game ali. about like e, 10 kg, é bro. Now that everything that we plan for the day work as we would like that have worked, but in the last match we fix all the things and we came all the way for the chicken dinner. What is the main thing you have to change before tomorrow matches? Quais são as coisas que vocês definitivamente precisam mudar para amanhã vir diferente no jogo? Cara, teve saves muito difíceis, mas creio que o maior ponto disso tudo foi erro individual. É, spot individual que a gente mais pecou. Kevin, please e recruit a Chinese é lineup. Please give up an A. We definitely Anis have worked out our rotations and the, sa the last safe zones and also but honestly, uh, individual uh, mistakes. But we're gonna fix that with the coach and the I team. I think the and we'll, team definitely we'll made a. Back tomorrow, like, we need, I need to talk with the team and find out what exactly the issues were. The last uh, and especially we'll in the later. The, like the. In these like four matches, oh, it's, it's great like, to be able to hear from Fed it out, right? Kind of like, mean, man, you know. these guys, uh, we it's that they're definitely a team that we want to see in the main event for sure, right? So to see them be able to pop Watch off, not playing because they, right they didn't get the Brazil visa is definitely exciting, but of course, guys. It's time we take a look at the MVP, and man, oh, this was right on time, DK. Yeah, I mean, next Rio, they were cooking, and it was, as you said, about time for them to bring in those plays, bring in those performances. But of course, now we got to see whether or not that is going to be enough to solidify their performances coming into tomorrow. I mean, they brought it in, though, locking in a bucket load of those eliminations. So I think this is a very well deserved play coming through here on towards Kine. And I mean, we already saw those clutch up plays coming right here at the end, finding the play. Uh, bring a beautiful contribution in on towards Sony K. What a day. Those peaks are just so absolutely disgusting as we look over to the performer of the day. None other than Miyaki from Smoke Gaming. 12 eliminations, 3100 damage. That's what you want to see out of the top player from the top team of today. Honestly, Smoke Gaming had just such an amazing day. They weren't able to mimic that those two chicken dinners that they got the first day, but a much, much more consistent uh, day here on day two. Whew, I mean, a qualifying player team. of the day. Team, he got 12 right? Illums. Doing so well here. I love to see some new names, new monsters coming on in here. It definitely elevates the whole scene as a whole. And look at this. You can see right here the overall standings. Smoke Gaming on top with 110 points. Yes, Master over. in second. Seventh place is not enough. 53, bro. It's, it's too little. It's too little points. War. They're going to be playing six. Oh. And our axe is safe. And they only have a four point difference and RX is between safe. them and in hyper. So uh, a lot of these teams we're going to see just go down, down, down as the time goes off here. Seven. Yeah, and I was looking there at that A team, Team Liquid, with those 71 points. Man, as much as I would like to say, okay, you know what? You're going to be able to relax tomorrow. You're more than likely going to be going to the main event. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a nerve wracking watch for them because they're not going to be able to decide their future tomorrow. It's going to come down to how Group A and how Group C teams end up performing and who's going to be bringing it and who's going to be wanting to be in those top eight. For sure. There's a lot of other teams that are going to be coming back tomorrow. Navi, we can see right there. They have 20 points, but with six matches, that's a lot that could happen. But you know what, guys? We got another interview uh, coming right up. Let's go ahead and take it on over to Carol Bombshell. Performer of the day in the hands of Miak from Smoke Game. I'm looking at. Congratulations, Miak, and welcome. And we want to know if everything that you plan for today work it out as you want it and what's your feelings and thoughts about today minha minha que eu quero saber se tudo que vocês planejaram para o dia de hoje funcionou como você vocês esperavam e também quais são os seus sentimentos é com certeza né o dever foi feito dentro do tempo que tínhamos né então, nós traçamos as estratégias de ontem para hoje então executamos é, é muito corrido né são três grupos então com o conteúdo que tínhamos nós conseguimos sim né? É o sentimento, é com certeza de dever cumprido, querendo ou não, estamos no top 1, né? Classificados para o um main stage, então, é felicidade. 
they are very happy that they can how much will be the cutoff above 70 above 70 like points qualify for the above 70 points next week so so far so good right now they have done everything they needed they apply everything they wanted and they feel like the mission is accomplished and um right now do you have any guess for us to say which are the other teams that will qualify for the main event Anyway, thank you all for watching. Sorry. I hope he's watching <laughs> the BMG uh, Day 3 program last day with you guys tomorrow. And uh, make sure you turn the notification on in my channel so that you don't miss. I'll be scheduling my live stream right after this. Are you planning coming back any kindness? No, I won't be able to. We're using an English lineup. I think the management is dedicated to using English lineup, English players, because we're an agent. We're not Chinese team. Of course, he said. Uh, so he's we want to, we want to find the new talents. And, uh, I feel like you know we to go to the main event with them like Caprizi, well, right? He's like so young. Thanks so we much, managed Miyaki, to find, and we managed to find him. And, we'll see. and uh, this is his first tournament, and he's event. like you know. Obrigado, Miyaki. A gente I think he's playing quite good, <laughs> if not the best thing in the team. And he has no competitive oh experience, boy. but like, Some more Brazilian give Caprizi more time. I feel like he ha he can he can shine and, uh, in this global stage. I mean, this could be just the first but anyway, we'll be still time. looking for players you know, and discuss the what, uh, discuss what we're squad, run in uh, the PMGO two the days of the, in really this two day. Well. I mean, they matches so and um, squads that we've seen perform come back stronger basically and thank you all for supporting nhp I mean, what a day, Lord. i'm I mean, really like thrilled game, to see, see like there are a lot of you guys are actually rooting for nhp right. i mean for me they um, because it's a really new organization and you guys are match. like not you know, like you know all the way up into those late and just like can appreciate you all and staying up with me and i'll be catching you guys up tomorrow and i'll be we'll be watching together pmgo finals we'll be mainly focused on nova as well to see how can they how, how will they go against the global teams i think there's a lot of excitement coming through from the brazilian thank you all for absolutely, supporting absolutely. and uh well, guys, i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow group b7 bye for now thank you guys we go into tomorrow <laughs> group a is gonna bring it baby i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready for this final day love you guys bye bye dk what about you and my chest hurts i'm right there with you i am i'm bye -bye. excited i need I to think take I'm a rest bring a seat belt and do some massage well on my chest because i might as well just need it get locked get loaded folks guys a lot more action Let's